PKA six six six. Fuck, Marcus Blindegrin Taylor. <laughs> 666, the, yeah, the spooky episode. <laughs> this episode of PKA is brought to you by Lock and Load, Ferro Distro, and Blue Chew. A bunch of wonderful sponsors starting the, starting the show off right. with <laughs> <laughs> You know, usually I pronounce all my numbers, in fairness. You're on such a good run. Who can even who even cares about this one? What, one out of 666 numbers you've beefed up? Who cares? You know, not, that's a great ratio. That's an A++. You round that off to 100%. <laughs> Wendigun, right. thank you for joining us. We all were very adamant about getting you for episode 666. Oh. And every time I go check your channel, like you, you've you exploded even more. <laughs> like the, the amount of traction you get on your videos, the amount I see like memes of you and I'm like, that, that's got thousands of retweets and that guy clearly doesn't even know who Wendigun is. Like you're just that big of a, so it seems to be booming the supernatural business. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And of course, boys, thank you so much for having me for 666. Uh, it's funny that I got invited because I remember like when I used to watch the show like a couple of years ago, like before I even started YouTube, I would be like, oh, yeah, they keep doing the numbers saying oh, they're going to hit the funny numbers like 420, 666 or whatever. Mm -hmm. So now to be here for one of them, it's an honor. Thank you. Oh, thank cool. you. Appreciate it. Of course. And your beard um, is on point. We oh, shouldn't just let you. that oh. go. Shit. <laughs> Wouldn't it be more perfect? That's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Trust me, it's not natural. I have I have like looked at this thing precisely with little it's razors manicured. trying to get so the that's cuts. talent. Yeah, you got not geometry on it. Yeah, you know, a black barber? <laughs> no, no, I've had to become the black barber for uh, myself. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's the move. I'm with you. Well, it takes a lot of trial of and error. <laughs> a lot of accidentally cutting one side too low, so you just look lopsided for like a week or whatever. But through through the fire, we've maintained somehow. Uh, that's very kind. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. that. You know what the most Clearly difficult facial hair rock skeleton is? behind you have a name? Uh, we we call her Skella. Me and my fiance. She She's sent me to. Uh, she sent me to Home. De <laughs> she sent me to Home Depot. Not the skeleton. My fiance uh -huh. uh, to get Halloween <laughs> decorations, and I saw her, and I just, I couldn't resist. So I just randomly post this thing around the house or whatever. Uh, she she keeps me company during streams. My stream really likes it whenever I'm playing games or something. If I like if I'm in Tarkov, and it's like a serious moment. And if I just randomly turn behind me and scream periodically, chat loves that. So it's it's a good bit. I'll see how much traction I can get out of it. <laughs> oh, just keep rolling those bits until I mean, if it plays, it stays. As long as they keep donating. <laughs> right? I bet that scale that wasn't a five hundred dollar skeleton, was it? No, no, I think I I think I paid like twenty bucks for that or yeah, something. Yeah, it's way ridiculous. cheaper than a gun. Bring the gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not even there anymore yeah, yeah, but, but, but you'll have that gong for decades to come <laughs> probably till i die there's no resale market for gongs. Dude, there's a chinese restaurant somewhere who would love that thing you, yeah, you can get mine. rid of it. it it can become an heirloom like you can have your kids lie about it say it was some like ancient artifact that was brought over or whatever yeah. have you Man, ever heard of youtube and looked at gong videos like people who play the gong it doesn't sound good. There's no good. They're, they're not musical at all. They just bong. The guy's well, it's like, like a, it's a complimentary sound. Like it can't be by itself. Around it. It's like, <laughs> like you can bang on it, but some of them kind of treat it like they're like seductively seducing a woman's nipple. They're like rubbing all around the perimeter real slow with this. And they're, they're, they got a stick, but it's all like padded on the end. And they're like, they're giving it this Q-tip like circular motion thing, and some, sometimes they're adding water to the mix, getting it all, lubing it all up. It's You're making it's me feel inadequate because I just bite the gong right off the bat. <laughs> that's, no, that's, that's good tactics. You have to play it like a, what are those called? Glass harmonicas, where you have oh. wine glasses with different amounts of water, and then you go, <laughs> and you kind that, of that rub your finger on it. me. Yeah, I can't remember. There's that one instrument that spins the glass rings for you, and there are, and I think you might moisten your fingers, or it might moisten for you. But you touch spinning glass; that it's always spinning away from you, multiple rings, and you're. You can like, like turn the the stupid glass thing. You into sure a you didn't? On instrument. You didn't? Are you sure you didn't dream this? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I did, someone get the fucking work. <laughs> you know, I want to find a video of it so that I can make fun of it as being stupid and lame. Because I remember <laughs> I brought up that video like a year ago of that dude who sits at the, the you remember that? It's like called the American Panharmonicon, that thing where it's got a million instruments and you're like tugging on things and, and beeping and also playing oh, yeah, piano yeah, yeah. with it. And and I, I thought that was so cool and so neat. And you guys shot me down hard on it. You said it, you said it was gay. You said it wasn't cool. That doesn't I, sound like me. It's I called an harmonica. <laughs> an harmonica. Called, yeah, it's called an harmonica. It's a it's a musician. It's a it's powered with a foot pedal. And it rotates 36 concentric glass bowls, and it produces notes by putting wet fingers to the spinning glass. Uh, it was invented in Austria. Um, Mozart and Beethoven would compose chamber pieces for it. That's how I knew. Um, I mean, that's uh, how I had like learned about it. Was like, you know, I, I know, I that. know now that you were reading as you said that, but yeah, the way, I was reading that. Okay, yeah, the way clear. you focused, I thought that you like sleeper cell activation harmonica machine. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's go. Yeah. yeah, just so we're clear, I was reading that. I, I had, I didn't, I didn't remember. Oh, what it was I'm called. pretty sure that's not an instrument. <laughs> I think that's I don't not how I pictured it all. I pictured like cocktail glasses, all of them on rotating. That's what posters. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a yeah. horrible video of a Chinese factory laborer getting sucked into one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not again. It sounded Wait, ghoulish. I, I have one of those somewhere. <laughs> yeah, the sperm thing? Oh, I thought you meant the layer. Chinese the life leak machine. No. The, 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 yeah. Woody has a Chinese dollar. laborer around here. Son. <laughs> <laughs> Woody, so, so let me get this straight. Woody, you envisioned like a lazy Susan with lots of glasses on it. A lazy... Mm, Helps if you know no. what a lazy Susan is. Yeah, I know, but yeah. m picture a, a lazy Susan. People know. For me, it's a cabinet device where you you open the corner cabinet and all the contents of it spin around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the, I, I think you also see them in like Chinese restaurants where you put the food in the middle and the middle everyone the table, gets yeah, access yeah. to it. Yeah. That. But um, yeah, something like that. But not one glass, not one lazy Susan. A bunch of lazy Susans the size of coasters that just rotated by machine and you touched each glass. Can you imagine how politically incorrect the lazy Susan commercials would have been if it were invented like in the 90s? Mm. Oh, Susan doesn't want to... <laughs> Susan, another piece of chicken, honey. Oh, I don't feel like it, Sam. Get up and get it yourself. Oh, that lazy Susan. And then it looks like a genie pops in. Uh. Yep. Women are lazy, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. After a hard <laughs> day of the, working, the, end of the commercial. lazy Susan food pedestal. <laughs> After a hard day of degrees. not working. <laughs> the, end of the, the end of the commercial is her bringing a beer over with a red handprint. Like on the side of her face. <laughs> oh no! Try, try the lazy Susan ice pack to take down that swelling. Bitch. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Go to the police? You can't even vote. <laughs> Johnny, get me my thumb with staff. Yes, Papa. We're about to put a little bit of. <laughs> yeah, uh, ah, the the olden days. Mm, the good old I, I days love the old timey talk, great. right? Like putting a little mustard on it. But people, I, I saw a whole thread today where people had never heard the uh, the phrase "the juice isn't worth the squeeze." Like, mm. it's like, like, how do you? How, is that not in common like vernacular? Does not? Does everyone not know that? I thought that was very common. Is it a southern thing? Maybe I thought that that's it's probably a southern thing. Really? It, it, if I had to guess, it's a southern. Yeah. That's a very like grandma phrase. I've heard it too, mm. but I'm from Tennessee, so that's probably. I feel what like it is. I've always heard it, and I'm from Jersey. I, I don't know. I get really well, applies to confirms. anything and everything. These people just don't it's not get just about it. juice. <laughs> <laughs> They're just dumb. That's all it is. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, on the on your beard, let's not stray too far away. I was going to say the most difficult <laughs> facial hair to 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 take on is that tiny, thin little line that dudes will put at, like, the perimeter of their face, mm -hmm. like, framing their face like a little the artist or something? Chin strap, I think it's called. Oh, right? my God. Yeah, okay, but a chin strap, I imagine being, like, at least the width of a pencil. But yeah. I've seen those laser-thin lines on people that kind of come up and do a... How long does that take? It's It's got to take forever. There's One no mistake, way. and you just... Ah! And you shave it all <laughs> off again.
Nah, I, I choose to believe they have a stencil they just put on their face and shave around it. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a football mask guard. <laughs> I mean, that's like a facial hair style for someone who has a good jaw and wants to have facial hair. Mm -hmm. So that's I don't, just showing off at that point. Yeah, yeah, it's showing off. I don't like it. Beards are for those of us who want to add a little. You say that, hair. but I'm not sure this applies to Skinny Taylor. I want to see the beardless Taylor now. Maybe I've, I haven't trimmed it in like two weeks because I'm get, other than like the top part here because I'm getting a haircut tomorrow and they always offer. They're always like, you want your beard trimmed up, too? And I've always been for the most part like, <clears throat> no, <'cause> I, <laughs> I'm like worried they're going to fuck it up. And then it's like, no, they, I trust them with my hair. So tomorrow I'm going to let them trim me up. So if I come back Tuesday looking like a tard, <laughs> it's because the lady fucked up. I do, I do have to say I like the beard. It's looking looking solid. I dig it. Yeah, Thank you. I'm just imagining different iterations like you're a Fallout character or something like bloop, 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 like Mr. Potato Head style. And and you may have you may have nailed it, but I would like to see I, if I had like a big, bushy, full manly beard like you, I would want to do that thing where you sit in like a reclined chair with the steamed up, almost burning you towel like wrapped around it. And then they really mop that old timey like they mix it. They mix the fucking shaving mm -hmm. cream right there. And then they mop it onto you with that little fucking. Have you thing. had that done, Kyle? No, no. Uh, I no, had it I done. have had like uh, the guy whipped out the straight razor before to like do the back of my hair. Yeah, I've like, had like, that. like back of my neck, I should say. I'm not, but, right. made me nervous I've, I've no. been shaved by my barber. Straight razor. I Yes. Yeah. He had a straight razor and he had that like mopping, you know, the shaving cream stuff he put on. I, I'm trying to think. I think honestly, it is the gayest thing I've ever done. It, it was so gay. Aren't you a it, blue belt in jits? <laughs> way gayer. He was like cuddling no, my head no. as he as he as he held my face and like you know touched it and did sort of this thing. And this guy mm -hmm. is a man's man. He's like a forty year old Italian barber. Mama and media. Yeah. yeah. And just the way he, I don't know, stretched my face and held it and touched it and Delicate. shaved it. Like five that's minutes in, I don't I, think that's the shaving you're describing. The way, the way, he slipped that what he one told you? finger inside of me, does he? <laughs> Has he caressed my no my newly shorn? <laughs> yeah. I, don't I don't think that's what, standard procedure. Is it what is suck on a ah, you were gonna be a bella, woody, bella. <laughs> you were gonna be so I'm beautiful. <laughs> No, I, I, Jackie gonna come to the door. She gonna say, "Who are these? A man that come to my house right now?" I can barely put my finger on just, just why it was so gay. Like the way he held my head, the I way he touched my face, hours. the slowness of the of the like the cut. Like it, it wasn't like a uh, when they do the um the back of my head. Like I'll ask, I'll get in number two or something. It's just like rah, 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 like he's mowing yeah. my head. Sure. He didn't mow my face. He caressed mm. it with a blade. It was a gentle experience and super gay. Of course, Enzo, a gentle man. <laughs> so, that's yeah, a great I, episode. I think it's the gayest thing I've ever done. No, uh, you, Kyle I, was right I, about the Jits thing. Jits is, <laughs> as as someone who has no experience with having my face shaved by a masculine Italian man or jujitsu, Mm. It's much straighter to let the Italian guy rub on your face for a bit than to be like, all yeah. right, day four of the gooch grab practice. Like, <laughs> you, ever been in another, you ever been in a body triangle? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. It's just it's it's a little bit gayer to roll with a man. Um, I'll, I'll, here's how I know, because I was always like mm. hesitant to roll with a woman because I, 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 I was like, at some point, like I, you could fall on me and I like if it was a man, I would have my hands here on your chest and then and then maybe mm -hmm. I, I can't use your titties and your, your titties are like this no-go zone that I, i'm avoiding mm -hmm. so is your ass i mean i might grab a man's ass to reposition him I, I don't feel good about grabbing your ass what if your boyfriend is over there and he's he definitely knows what he's doing because he's here <laughs> And yeah, I don't because okay. I'm under you. I've had it. There also a, doesn't sound like you're describing jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> there is a super lovely husband and wife couple where I trained, and uh, they were Mormon. They were really like sweet and nice. <laughs> Mormon jujitsu. Yeah. yeah, it's true. <laughs> and I really liked them both. Um, and she was pretty good, but I don't know if she had more skill than me. But it wasn't close because I was so much bigger and stronger. Yeah. And uh, um, but yeah, you just like. 
she'd lay there on her back, knees spread, and you'd get in her guard. And if you don't know, that just means missionary position. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Mm. And it's just like, this doesn't seem right. But here we are. Yeah. A Mormon yeah, who can do that. Yeah. That's good tactics. It's like, I it's, demand a moment of your time to talk about your Lord and Savior. <laughs> <laughs> Just you know, federal you government agencies, full Nelson. federal government agencies recruit um, extensively from, from Mormon, uh, like Mormon groups. It's not a joke. Like, like they, Wait, they exhibit. What? When you say government agencies, you're talking about like the three like FBI, 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 CIA. Yeah. 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 They're, and they, um, they, they find that Mormons are, the perfect agents they they, they have oh, I they have this good. stable background they have this this established history they're they're often from the correct like uh socioeconomic groups like they tons they of family right into that agency in case they get out of line the cia can be like hey ezekiel and isaiah and jeremiah and jedediah and Susie and alan and you know the the other half of your siblings are in trouble you if you don't do this yeah. Hey, if, if you if, if you mess with us, we'll destroy your house. That'll be at least sixty-seven people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're they're people with roots. Um, as another yeah. way of thinking of it. Uh, mm. Whereas Enrique, who just like, hey, I'm not here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Like, <laughs> we don't give him top secret clearance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> he seems happy card. about it. <laughs> I, I mean, like none of us know shit about the CIA compared to to Wendigoon. Is that true? Are the Mormons filling up our intelligence apparatus? Do we need to be worried? It it makes a lot of sense because like the CIA, they've been reined back in in recent years, but primarily like Cold War times and stuff. They were their own like dragon. Like the the FBI didn't like them. Other agencies didn't like them. Even at this day, I know people in the FBI who are like, "Oh, those spooks! I don't want to work with them." Like it's an entirely that's super different racist. machine. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. They're all late. <laughs> and, and then they're like, and don't get me started on the CIA. Like, <laughs> like, damn, these guys are straight from the 50s. <laughs> just, just wrap the show 17 minutes long. I'm loving it yeah. so much. Yeah, good, good game, boys. <laughs> I think you are liking it now. He's not going to make you love it. <laughs> want to keep doing the Italian hairdresser all the time. Now. <laughs> the new character. He's in the, don't know how to do the voice. So good. The, the closeted Italian hairdresser. <laughs> yes. You're a hairdresser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I've been, that's in the I've been watching this. videos about about video game speedrunners all week. These people who play the same. 10 minute level 10,000 times until they're finally the yeah, greatest in the like world. An autism documentary. Oh my <laughs> fucking God. I, I think it was a Contra. It was the hit. I watched an hour long video, the mm. history of the world record of Contra. And it was like up until now, and this is like 20 years into the game's life, every record ever had begun with 10 minutes until, and then they show the record with like music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like 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 montage music is playing and the contra man is jumping and he's like mm -hmm. not only did he try the three pixel jump he got the flares on the mid level in the in the factory level he got a perfect crane and like like all these things are going right for him mm -hmm. and he has to make all these risky jumps i love that shit mm -hmm. i love that shit and and i'll start rooting for a screen name and a guy i've never heard of but penguin slayer would not be thwarted he came back and the music starts playing again. You're like, fuck yeah, Penguin Slayer, you can do it. You can take the record again. These people play this same 10 level, 10 minutes of a level, like I said, over and over and over. When they finally do break it, my favorite part is how happy they are. Mm -hmm. They're like, no yeah. more Contra! No more Contra! No more Contra! <laughs> <laughs> well, so two days ago. What's the um, Contra World Records? Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, this Neat. is a uh, summoning salt you're talking about, right? He makes the uh, yeah yeah that's yeah, the channel. yeah yeah that, man that that, that that guy's videos like I'll never have heard of this game before and like you said midway through I'm like can he beat ten minutes <laughs> he would have to have a perfect crane and perfect flares back to back it's never been done before like, yeah. <laughs> dude I I love his videos too I watched um so I got into Doom Eternal a little bit ago mm -hmm. I finished it now and. <clears throat> It was a video where the developers react to speedrunners, which is usually fun, right? Developers are experts in the game, but the speedrunners maybe even more so. It was the worst. It wasn't even Doom. There, here's how it works. I, I I can't do it myself, but I guess if you're near a surface that's an incline, 
if you jump repeatedly while like on that incline, you get super high. Like, I don't even know, but two miles high and you can skip almost the whole level. And they bind their jump to their scroll wheel and just, you know, you release it and it goes zoom. So now they're like spamming jump. And then they open the uh, weapon selection screen, which puts the game in slow motion. So now the game's in slow motion. They're jumping, and the developers just never expected someone to hit jump, what is effectively like whatever four thousand times right away. <laughs> and I'm looking to see someone who's amazing at Doom, and that's not what I got. It's no. So okay, so what you want? So what you saw is called an any percent run, and that means. Finish the game, get to that last uh, screen. There, there's different ways of starting and stopping the time between the nationality and the records. Japan does shit weird. But that's an any percent that often takes advantage of complete level skips, weird glitches. Where Oh, if you warp tunnels in Mario is a good example where that's built into the game. But there's a record for using the warp ten- tunnels and skipping like from four to eight or mm. whatever it is. And there's a different record for just playing the whole fucking game and not warping. <laughs> so I bet. Well, I know there's a record for the guy who just played the game the right way, if you will, mm. um, and just powered his way through, probably taking advantage of all sorts of crazy shit, but not mm-hmm. flying off the map. That would be yeah. fun to watch. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. But, but I, I, I saw the same video as you and I felt the same way. It's so like, I don't care. I bet this was hard for you to hit, but it's it's not the game that we play. It's you breaking software. It, it, yeah. It, it, it's fun to watch like once, right? To see like that you can break the game. Cause I remember sure. watching like uh Mario 64 speed runs, like the speed runners figured out that if you can like put Mario on the staircase and like angle him just right and keep like back jumping. And it's really funny. Cause Mario's like, yeah! like making the noise <laughs> over and over when you let go, it's the energy of every jump charged up at once. So it goes from like Mario, like hunched over like this and he just teleports to the other side <laughs> of the map. Like it's hilarious, but yeah, you, you can finish the game in 16 minutes. It's not like apparently, playing Mario. Apparently going up that staircase backwards like that is a difficult button combination or mm-hmm. something. And I've seen that meme over and over the boyfriend sitting there and he's like, clearly clumsy at it but he's getting up the stairs backwards and he hands the controller to his i think maybe japanese girlfriend and she's like why are your controls set up like this what the fuck and she <laughs> uses his weird control and she goes <laughs> and like perfectly like rapid <laughs> fires up the goddamn <laughs> stairs and i don't know what perfect looks like but that's perfect like it didn't miss a beat it was just so consistent she's like here and he's just like, fuck, shit. <laughs> i would be deg- that would be kind on of- a speed run I've never been on the opposite <laughs> side of that. No, it wasn't a speed run. Ha- like, having like an Asian girlfriend's cheating at a speed run. Yeah. 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 That's what having, saying. Yeah. I think it's a, it's always been like a girl like here. We we beat the monster. <laughs> we beat the fucking monster, man, with two swords. Like, oh, there's two of them this time. Oh, huh? yeah. They do that shit to you. And like, I'll kill the two guys with two swords and hand the controller back. It'd be kind of, yeah, look at this. It, <laughs> like, man, man that, I got so frustrated at that game when I was nine or whatever the fuck <laughs> that came out. I wish I had known that trick to just finish it in 15 minutes and go back outside yeah. instead I, of being <laughs> aggravated as hell over that game. Being the other guy, the one that hands the controller to someone else is so it's rough for me rough my whole life i was that guy you gave the controller to right and not the best gamer in the world but I, I think i was a little underrated because i played the objective and i was pretty good at call of duty i think no pro but better than people say and uh but it doesn't matter what game it is it could be fucking some spongebob platformer you hand the controller to me and i'll get you past your hard level now colin is the best gamer in the house clearly mm. you know mortal Kombat, whatever he loves watching me play Fall Guys because it's hilarious to him. Just like if I get past the first level, that's fine. You know, the second level, it's kind of rare. And Colin's autistic. Everyone knows that. But like he wasn't verbal until he was like 10 and he's still not great at it. So he messes it up. He's like, you're so hard for Fall Guys. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm hard for Fall Guys. <laughs> no, he knew what he meant. <laughs> Just fucking with you. He's like, I'm the tallest. I'm the best gamer. <laughs> hey, oh. short stuff. Take a take a take a run. <laughs> well, one day, one day when he's gonna open the door of his office, and Colin's just standing there, like, get out. <laughs> get out. Yeah. I, when you die, when you die, does he offer you like a father son? 
Do you need a father son hug? Oh, he's so <laughs> big on hugs, and it's so when you told me that, that was so heartwarming. <laughs> now I, I do this thing he doesn't let me but I, I try to stand on the first step when we hug so I have my old height advantage back oh. <laughs> that's so sweet the, he doesn't allow it he's gonna start picking me up by my armpits and putting me down that, that's gotta be like slightly encouraging though it's like the equivalent of like old you know frontiersmen who would talk about you know they could give their son a rifle and he could guard like you know the wagons or whatever now it's just mm -hmm. like you know your son beat you at fall guys it's a different <laughs> a different yeah. passing of the torch just as important mm -hmm. i'm sure don't worry about it <laughs> the, the modern frontier the, the modern guys. frontier exactly <laughs> exactly so it, it is episode 666 i want to talk about mm. some spooky things so as as far as demons know your demon knowledge wendigo mm -hmm. yes you've looked into it a ton mm -hmm. what's like a an indicator to you when you're reading a demon story that mm -hmm. you're like, this is made up, this is fake. And what are the ones that get you like, oh, I kind of buy this. I think this could be a real one. So the thing that's like, as someone who like, you know, believes in it, like I'm a Christian, I'm not, I'm not like some levels of religious Christians will get to where it's like, like recently I covered a video game called Faith that revolves demons and talking to the creator, he's like, yeah, I get emails all the time from people who think if you put like a pentagram in a game, you're going to hell. Like, obviously, that's not the level I'm at. Yeah. You've seen the content I cover. Um, but as far as like reading stories about demonology or whatever, it's typically the theatrics of it. Um, for that same reason, I believe possessions can happen, but I believe that like 99% of them are fake. Uh, because a, a demon's MO or like in within Christianity, right? Like the devil's MO isn't to scare people or be weird and strange. <laughs> like he, yeah. he's not just creeping around like, hoo ha, they're going to be so afraid of this one. Uh, that's mm -hmm. what most like demon stories revolve around. It's just to divert people. It's just to point them away from God or Christianity or what have you. Uh, most examples of demonic influence throughout like the Bible or old like, you know, religious traditions aren't even people who are like, you know, frothing at the mouth, possessed, yelling obscenities. That's not even what they do. Most of what they do is just being like leaders, people who will, you know, take the poor and the hungry and push them back to some righteous way until eventually bringing them into cult mm -hmm. activities or what have you. Um, I would I would say that there's, in my belief, there's a lot more possessed people in places of power or what have you than there are like, you know, satanic cult members. Like the the Church of Satan and the satanic Bible, and that's, that's just poser stuff. That's all a joke. But yeah. the real stuff, so to speak, is just manipulation. Um, $50 wasted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime membership fee for Kyle. Taking There's like Rube. I pay dues. Th God damn it! This is horse shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one thing that like I've researched lately, there's kind of a white whale for me in demonology of like something that I think would make a really cool video that I think I could dissect, but I'm a little afraid to. Uh, mm. Is this thing called um, the Lesser Key of Solomon? Are you familiar with it? Is anyone familiar with it? Mm -mm. So I have heard of this. Yes. Yeah. So the lesser key of Solomon is a book that was its final version. Like the version that exists now was assembled around like 1720, like just pre America or pre, you know, government America. Uh, but the writings of it supposedly trace all the way back to like 800, 900 BC. Um, so in the original, like Judaism lore and by extension Christianity, but primarily Judaism, uh, when Solomon, the son of King David, built the temple in Jerusalem, uh, he used all of his wisdom and power to do it. Uh, it's believed in most uh, Abrahamic religions that Solomon was the wisest man who ever lived uh, because he asked the Lord for wisdom, the Lord gave him wisdom, blah, blah, blah. So Solomon, being the wisest man who ever lived, was able to use a lot of powers of spirituality to build the temple. And again, in Judaism, it's believed, maybe not in their canon, but at least in, you know, Judaism adjacent beliefs, that he effectively enslaved several demons to commission the building of the temple. That's how the temple was built in record time. There's all this weird stuff with the temple, like the geometry of it is so perfectly done, like the way the walls are cut. It doesn't make sense for something done, you know, in, in BC time period. It's mm -hmm. like an architectural marvel for the time that it was built. So one of the beliefs is that he used demons to do that. The lesser key of Solomon 
uh, was supposedly assembled by his workers, or the human workers at least, in the construction of the temple. The Masons, as they were called, <laughs> which is where the Freemasons eventually get their name. They use a lot of the symbols oh, okay. and stuff from Solomon's builders. And there's whole connections between demonology and Freemasonry. That's, that's another can of worms. But <laughs> with the construction of Solomon's temple, it's believed that perhaps he enslaved demons. So a book called The Lesser Key of Solomon is the traditional beliefs of supposedly how Solomon managed to enslave these demons. So it is a book that is made up of 72 different demons that describes their name, uh, their MO, what they do, what they look like, how they appear, as well as summoning rituals. So like the things you're supposed to draw, the things you have to do to bring them in. And going back to what I mentioned earlier of like the thing that tips me off demon stories are fake is the theatrics of it. The way that like you summon most of the demons in this book is like, forget to pray for a day or, um, oh, no. pray, or, or yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, <laughs> which is so much more menacing than just like, Oh, dude, you know, cut yourself and draw blood yeah. or whatever. I need a it, bunch of chickens. And you exactly. Know. It, it'll be like, forget to pray for a day or, uh, don't spend any money today. Instead, leave it uh, leave it uh, near your bed or like put the money under your bed or stuff like that. Like these subtle things that you don't think about at once, but it slowly lulls you into this idea of either self-reliance or trusting a demon in some sense. Stop, stop looking to God for all your answers. Just you can take care of yourself. You should be looking to yourself for answers. Mm -hmm. And then by the end of it, it gives you summoning rituals and what you can ask of these demons. So there's some that will give you wealth. There's some that will give you love. And again, the most demonic stories in pop culture are around, you know, oh, this, d this demon wants to damn your soul to hell. They want to curse you and blah, blah, blah. But again, the way it's normally given throughout Christianity's lore is they want to give you good things. They want you to trust them. They want you to come over to their side because their ultimate goal is to put you, to point you away from what's mm. true and holy. So because mm -hmm. of that, there's nothing in the lesser key of Solomon that says, and if you do this, uh, your house will burn down or you have to sacrifice your firstborn. It's all like you'll get money and then <laughs> everything will be good. Look at that. You did it yourself. And because of that, it is the most menacing. It scares me so much. The concepts of it, <laughs> it bothers me because like. Yeah, you hear all these stories, like you want you on YouTube, how many, you know, oh, summoning the devil at 3 a.m. videos, whatever. Like, sure. all those are clearly fake. But if someone was to do like a lesser key of Solomon, they're like, oh, look at that. <laughs> My stocks went up this week. How <laughs> lovely. Absolutely not. <laughs> it, it terrifies me. So I've thought about doing a video on that. But again, as someone who truly does believe in it, at least to a degree, I am so afraid of like, being like, okay, hey kids, so this is the demon's name, uh, and here's his sigil. Be sure to draw this on your bathtub or whatever. Like, yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Power that a demon could 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 have through you with your audience. Exactly. You could, yeah. You could you yeah. could put something out there that was seemingly innocuous and and get thousands of people around the world to do it. Rituals, mm -hmm. incantations, blood, all sorts of things, sacrifices. Yeah. He's already made me yeah. decide to spend money every day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just I haven't safe. remembered to pray in a minute. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little worried about that. I just look, the thing is, if there was a demon out there, like uh, I like the crossroads demons analogy or, or not example in uh, Supernatural. Mm -hmm. Basically, you go somewhere to, to the crossroads at midnight on wherever the fuck demon's going to show up, make a bargain with this guy, sort of thing like save my baby's life and he's like all right but you know i get your soul in 40 years that sort of thing mm -hmm. if that were available we would do there'd be a line <laughs> there'd be a line <laughs> there'd be a line of people tick-tocking their deals right? absolutely like, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it would no be joke. a reality show where the the devil could make his own reality show with horns and like hell in the background here's last last season's losers and they're back there screaming and 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 eternal flames and people would come <laughs> right on the show and try that yeah that's yeah, terrible yeah. like basic macroeconomics tells us that as you increase the supply right this line that the deals they strike will get worse and worse you'll be <laughs> trading your soul for like a tank of gas <laughs> <laughs> it's a tank of uh, gas economy's getting out. tough Woody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah i got had by the crossroads demon because of inflation soul inflation <laughs> <laughs> 
eventually yeah, they I mean, shut off the markets because the supply of souls is too much and they don't need to intake anymore you know the exporting is already enough of a hassle it's oh like, <laughs> yeah the demonic fed is raising <laughs> yeah. rates you can have you, <laughs> you can only have so many people who are rulers of the world you know so like that, that's getting complicated <laughs> yeah. yeah you got the demons have to be like who wants something like less like way 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 <laughs> less like we'll take senator, a part of port, a state of senator. i got plenty of souls around here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Senator, I don't know, how about senator anytime just let me know we've, we've got a couple positions we can fill out uh midwest states if you're cool with Kentucky's that he's about to open up i think <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you can be the president hear me out <laughs> somalia <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd rather I'd rather be a middle class person First here. President like of <laughs> Dude, well, what I'm learning from this, you're saying the demons, they aren't traditionally scary in that way, which actually checks out with Christianity. Like they want to imbue you with pride or one mm -hmm. of the, the sins of, of thinking you can get ahead. But they also help people. They do things mm -hmm. like curing the blind by the thousands, curing the deaf, mm -hmm. the deaf by the, the death, thousands the death the yeah, de yeah. curing the death yes the death so is this does that make you give any more thought to the mr mark of the beast theory oh yeah yeah are you wait miss mr mark of the beast you're talking yeah. about the mark of the beast from revelations right yes with mr well, beast you've uh, seen those people on <laughs> yeah mr mark of the beast have, have you, had you had seen those people i did, on? I did have not you i should have picked... yet <laughs> have you taken it into your body yet have you taken, the, like have you seen those people on twitter beast? There's a bunch of people on Twitter who are. I should have known that's where that was Christ. going, but that blindsided me. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> yeah, they, they, there's a lot of people online that are convinced that he's trying to pull the wool over people's eyes by <laughs> pulling the wool off of their eyes. <laughs> Uh, it, it's it's interesting. No, I won't say to Mr. B specifically, uh, but, but I don't think so that, that man, I have to give a good transition before I talk about this, or else it could get clipped so easily. Yeah. But not <laughs> Mr. Beast, but insert another person is similar to a lot of Christian ideas around like the Antichrist, right? Like <laughs> the purpose of the Antichrist is to unite the nations. It's it's not that the devil needs to win, he just needs God to lose, right? That's that's his whole purpose. So mm -hmm. not, like for one, the devil's a losing battle. The devil knows it's a losing battle. He's just trying to get as many souls as he can while he's there. And what's the better way to get people souls by, you know, tormenting them, making their neck spin around and like float off beds or to be an administer of wealth and you know knowledge prosperity what have you um sure. and it's interesting to see like the shift that that had because previous to i would say enlightenment era all stories around demonic activity were about that it was always about like deals with the devil that were made of like the devil was portrayed as like a, a false member of the clergy or perhaps a ruler or a king who'd come to people and give them you know wealth and wisdom the stories like faust you know capitalize on a lot of those legends mm -hmm. but then after the enlightenment era after the in time where um it, it like the religious tone shifted from you know, God being prosperous, the devil being prosperous, but God being a true prosper in like the afterlife, once it shifted to these kind of black and white ideas of good and evil, like the devil, you know, pitchfork, horns, going around trying to torment people. Once that cultural idea shifted, then our stories around the devil shifted. It went from, you know, kind of this, this person who wants to give you what you want into someone trying to trick you or someone nefarious looking to uh, cause harm or kill as many people as he can. But again, to Christianity and Judaism, that's, that's not what that's not his mo. That's not what he's trying I to do. I can believe that about the devil. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. If you've got some sort of figurehead, he's got he's got his own plans. Yeah. But what about a rogue demon? That seems more interesting to me. <laughs> so that, that's that's an interesting point. It's something I think about a lot with these things because there again a lot of the stories in the Bible around demon, like he's described or, or uh, around the devil. Satan's described as the morning star, right? He's described as beautiful, conniving, wise, and stuff like that. But there's also stories about unwise demons seem like you said rogue demons just their own things like for example the story of the maniac from gadare uh he was a guy said to be to be possessed by thousands of demons uh and he would wander the tombs cutting himself he had broken chains because the people of the village tried to chain him and he would snap the chains and run into the countryside uh and whenever he approached jesus uh, and jesus looked at him and he fell to the ground jesus said who art thou and the maniac replied, legion 
we are legion for we are many yeah which is where that that's why that line gets pulled into every you know demonic story or whatever mm -hmm. and it says that uh jesus banished the demons from him and the demons went into swine that were in the countryside and the swine ran off a cliff like they were crazed so that's very different from like you know the conniving dealing devil that's just like wild animals. that's what constantine does if you watch the movie constantine with keanu reeves now i'm sure mm -hmm. they made this shit up for the fucking movie they're like so maybe we just throw the demon in like a pig and then kill the pig. <laughs> no, that's they threw it in a mirror and then shattered the mirror. Mm. I saw a movie recently with um, who who used to uh, the gladiator guy. He's fat now. Um, Simon Russell, Russell Crow. Crow. Russell Crow. Russell Crow uh, made this movie like this year called The Pope's Exorcist. Yeah, I'm sure it's yep. based on probably the last official Catholic exorcist or, or whatever. Probably. I don't know. But it's you know, it's a, it's a silly movie. But at one point he takes the 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 demon puts it in a pig and then kills the pig <laughs> and i i can't remember if it was a real demon but or if it was just to you know go through the ritual for the yeah yeah mentally ill kid there i i can't remember if they said which it was but i like both of those ideas a lot mm -hmm. i like the idea that we could maybe and you know that's what happens in the exorcist spoiler alert is father Karis, was it mm -hmm. like, like lets the demon into his body and then uh, and then throws himself Flies out, out the window, window. Yeah. yeah did he throw himself out or did the demon throw the body out because it couldn't stand to be within the pure body of the priest. I think the That's demon threw his body point. out. It but, couldn't cohabitate in a body so you know that also had God in it, perhaps. Yeah, I this, like because, that. Like, because Pazuzu the... shows up in the sequels, right? So then canonically, it well, would be that the demon threw him out. Uh, what's his name? Blatty is the writer, I think. Mm -hmm. It's got he's got three names: William Fla 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 Blatty or whatever the fuck. Exodus 3 is the true kind of sequel. Yeah, if you've yeah. ever seen that, it's tremendous. It's very it's good, movie. good. Good movie. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and I don't know. The demon, of course, wouldn't tell you whether he lost or won in the first movie, I suppose. But if you know what happened, it seems like he pretty much won. The priest yeah. is dead. The demon isn't. <laughs> yeah. And the priest, yeah. like, suffers for, for all that time. <laughs> like, like this, just having to watch behind the, the eyes as he like, kills children and yeah. does all sorts yeah. of, like, horrible things. Are there any world leaders now, maybe of like religious groups or whatever, that you look at and you're like a little wary of? Like, ah, oh, you seem, you seem a little Taylor Swift, a little demonic. <laughs> I think Taylor Swift. She does She's have a, a good of reputation. The she did. She did the thing. She did of. the thing. <laughs> hmm. Did she, she? Wait, what does that thing mean? When oh, it's it, that, that's a that, that's just an Illuminati. Or that means she's gonna eat that Sherlock, redhead yeah. from uh, from Game of Thrones' pussy. That's what that means. She's I was mixing it up with Kyle. I thought that was Jonas the vagina sign. I, I, I see it slightly different. I, I, I thought it was a o only slightly. Ah, <laughs> <so. laughs> uh, yes, because it's evil. Because you know, uh, <laughs> ox is dangerous. It, it is Bird actually interesting. What is a <laughs> it is interesting how much in like old folklore that like we you're, like I know we're joking about it, but in a lot of old folklore, it was explicitly described as demonic. Like it's it's an evil. It's uh, it's part of women's curse, like of Eve that like a part of the devil in, is embedded with her. There's a lot of imagery around like <laughs> this being explicitly demonic. Yeah. Oh, that's that's no good. <laughs> yeah, we've all seen alien okay and we mm -hmm. know the vaginas are bad they mean death what about the pope what's he up to do we need to keep an eye on him uh i'm not i'm not a big fan of catholic i mean i've been open about this before i'm not a yeah. big fan of catholicism i don't like the idea of you have a religion and now you're like all right we got that whole god thing but let's let's just well, we can run it <laughs> let's yeah. put ourselves in charge you know so um I, w I wouldn't say demonic or anything i think that uh Catholic beliefs still it, at its core align with Christianity as far as the beliefs of Jesus and redemption. It's everything after that that I'm not a fan of. Um, as far as I think there's a ton of religious groups from out history that I would describe, if not demonic, then like demon adjacent. Uh, mm -hmm. Whenever they take like ideas of Christianity and completely flip them around, like, for example, Church of Satan, the Anton LaVey and all that posers jokes it's uh, the, like they were just edge lords the entire synopsis of the the uh satanic bible is if god real why bad thing happen that's like that's their whole that's all yeah. they got <laughs> um so i i'm not considering him some mastermind or whatever but i think instead religious groups who have like taken like large groups of people and then been like yeah oh you like god and jesus that's cool but what if what if you did it this way what if you changed a bit like for example um i would say jim jones 
uh, I would definitely consider him adjacent. Uh, I would consider um, Ervil LeBaron. He was one of the early me- members of Mormonism who brought a bunch of people to the desert, ended up being a serial killer, like had his cult kill mass numbers of people. Um, wow. Yeah. Was I, I was, I'd say when was that? Better. I'm interested in that. Uh, Ervil yeah, LeBaron. I Ervil Redenbacher. S- he's, the, <laughs> he's the popcorn guy. I want to say it was... Hold on, let me just type it in. His name's Ervil LeBaron. People joke because if you take out the R, his name is Evil the Baron. Oh, uh, shit. But <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, like 1950s, 1960s it happened. Um, so there, okay, there was this... Way more reason than I thought you were going to say. Yeah, there was this big skim- schism within Mormonism. Uh, I believe the disagreement was over polygamy, if I recall correctly. Not a lot of people know this, but core Mormonism, like the parts of it that exist now, are actually super anti-polygamy. Uh, it's that there's a bunch of offshoots who have left the church because they're pro-polygamy. Um, and Herbal LeBaron was one of them. So he brought like him and all his sister wives out to the middle of the desert. I want to say it was Nevada, Nevada, New Mexico, one of those. Um And there was a bunch of other Mormon leaders who would preach against him, who would say that he's a, you know, he's a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, Yeah, well, that too. Uh, But whenever someone is trying to divert people away from the church. um, Like a false prophet. kind of. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was a false prophet. He was a a heretic. That's the word I'm looking for. Heretic. Uh, That he was trying to push everyone away from the truth. So he would have his members like roll over to that other church at night and they would like stab preachers to death. They were, there were, there was one point that he was going to go on trial. Uh, the, the big event of Herbal LeBaron's life is right before he was finally caught. Um, there was like three people that were going to go on, uh, uh, testify against him. And within an hour, all three of them got executed like around the state at different locations. He had planned it that at the same time there would be men in each town. Like one got ki- shot with a shotgun. Another was stabbed to death. Like it was like a breaking bad level hit, like all at the same time. Like uh, cause, c- cause Herbal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cause, cause Herbal LeBaron had such a grip on his followers. That's what happens so. to liars, Taylor. The Lord, <laughs> the, the Lord uh, struck them down. They were smited by God Almighty for Smote. their filthy lies about the great Kevin Spacey. I'll tell you what I would sell my soul to a cross were, uh, crossroads demon for. Go back and have make Kevin Spacey fix that last season. I want to see what was going to happen. Uh, for I, one I season what, of a show that was one already season bad. of a show that was already downhill. I want to know what Doug was going to do. I want to know if he was going to kill that that bitch wife of his. I want to know. I need to see it. Bring Kevin back. Hashtag safe Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's all of his accusers are gone. either dead or gone. And I'm not sure that reason. proves his innocence like you're implying. <gasps> It, it does not. Dude, the well list of this guy's act. wives and accomplices <laughs> on Ervil LeBaron is insane. Like, yeah, he yep. had like 60 kids and they included in that and also raised a couple of stepkids mm-hmm. as as though they're like pumping his tires a little bit here. It's like, Thank you. it seems, it, seems like a bad guy killed on behalf of the cult. That's a whole column in this enormous table. Killed on behalf of the cult. Why, 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 why? Like a lot of yeses that they yeah. killed on behalf of this cult. So how did... So how old was he old enough that his... Here's my question, because this is... I'm imagining... I know y'all haven't seen it, but that... that um, the, 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 the TV show about this, where the guy had... Uh, his under the Banner like, of Heaven. Um, and were his children, like he had 60 kids or whatever, does that mean he had like an army of sons? Because yeah, you can imagine did, when that would that's be very most formidable. Of the killing. Yeah. If yeah. you had 20 grown man sons, that would be difficult to deal with the guy who has 20 sons who are like yeah. 18 or older. Yeah. That would be a problem. Right? Not as difficult as a guy who has 41 sons. <laughs> Again, I, grew up, I grew up without a big brother, but I hear about this circumstance where like someone would beats up your little brother and then the big brother goes and beats them up. If there's 41 bigger and bigger brothers, 
<laughs> like if you start on the totem pole, it's gonna be a long fucking day before you get to the dad to, yeah. to, to say anything about anything. It's like a video game. He like sends out the C team <laughs> first. And then, you have to be, like, a, then you have to be like the boss son who he, had, who he had with like an enormous Mormon bitch. He just sends two mean girls. He sends his two meanest daughters to get you first. Yeah. It's, it's it's funny too because this is going back to like medieval times thought. It's like I have to have so many sons because if not, this castle's getting destroyed. Like we yeah. gotta have more kids. Yeah. Yeah. Thought, yeah. Like, all right, I need like 15 sons because eight of them are gonna die in the, the wars they're conscripted into. Or at childbirth, like like a quarter. We don't understand how gone, germs right? work yet. So that's gonna take <laughs> a few. We don't know what they are, but we're really afraid of them. <laughs> like people just die. It's weird. <laughs> They can you imagine no how like, we pray? Like <laughs> back in the day, it was just like the only conception you could have of germs was like even them being airborne was just because you would get sick even though you didn't touch the gross person. Like that's the only way they could know. It's like Bro, okay, it so something stink. something's clearly going around here. They and I mean, it was they the were stink of the dead body. Yeah, like, like oh oh no, like 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 the the vapors of it got mm -hmm. me. That's that that would make you ill. Like. They're almost which, close. Which they, they were close. That them, was like, like, they were close yeah. enough. <laughs> Just yeah. Put it together. yeah. There was um, this thought process. This was right before germ theory came around. I want to say it was like American Civil War. I think it lasted to like Spanish Civil War. So like 1880s. The idea was if you were a doctor operating on living patients, right? So like someone, an amputation, gunshot, whatever. Mm -hmm. The idea was that the blood of the living is good, right? Because they're not dead the dead bad life good so mm -hmm. if you get a bunch of blood on your hands and you let it cake on and harden that acts as a protective layer against other things so the idea was if you were working on people like in a medical tent never wash your hands because you're supposed to have as much coverage from one person to the I other and then they tried yeah, washing yeah. their hands during World War One, and they're like, oh, we're having like a 98% survival rate yeah. <laughs> over what the last year's demographics. This is incredible. Isn't that like uh, the Florence yeah. Nightingale story? Or like she was a big advocate of, of washing your hands. Yes, a lot of yeah, people at the time yeah. were like, shut up, you dumb bitch. <laughs> Where's my Meanwhile, blood bucket? <laughs> Meanwhile, a bunch really of pussies, Muslim. really. They don't understand how inoculation works. <laughs> you need I to bet there was a Muslim dip guy your hands somewhere, in before surgery. Like, oh, yes. Really washing up that same year, there was a Muslim in the desert. <laughs> oh, those fools. <laughs> <laughs> like, they knew, didn't they? Like, like, a lot, a lot things. of Middle Eastern countries did. You're right. Yeah. Jesus. A lot of cultures figured it out way before <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. And and uh, working just, immune system. Healthcare Thank sucks. You. I mean, the the Romans great. figured that shit out. They washed their hands. <laughs> I, they, I was they watching did, a yeah. thing. They were talking about that device that was invented apparently during World War One. When you break your up, uh, what's the bone from your hip to your knee? Is that a femur? Femur. So mm -hmm. when you break your femur, that the biggest bone in your leg, the muscles pull the 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 hip to the knee because they're you know they're under pressure normally, oh, yeah. and the bone is now break, broken. So that bone slips past the each shaft mm. slips past the other, and so. Ugh the death rate of someone who had broken their femur was massively high. It's like a career wound. This is a career ending mm. wound. <laughs> yeah. You're muted, Kyle. Oh, we lost you, Kyle. <laughs> it's a career ending injury. Mm -hmm. If you're, you know, your career is fighting in a trench or Being fighting alive. the unions or the Confederates, <laughs> all those, all those guys. Man, he got so mad. He was like, I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> He got so pissed that he's that he's being disproven that demons exist. <laughs> I have a suspicion that it's hardware. You're still muted. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're, there no, you're not. There he is. So, um, it would be a career-ending wound to say the least. You'd fucking die. And uh, they they created this hmm. device that just stretches the leg back out. It looks like it's kind of like a superstructure that goes over your hip all the way to the end of your leg, like a birdcage type apparatus. Is it like a yeah. Chinese finger trap? No, but mm. more like a, a long I think that's what the leg around does your, around in that situation. But, you know, stretch <laughs> the leg back out so they can get those two shafts together so they can mend. And then um, the, the the death rate just plummet. Like like that one hmm. thing was the, was what they needed to do. Can you when imagine I, growing up, like, like getting hurt in a time where the bone saw was the doctor's most common implement? Dude, I would be, I, I've broken every limb Bones. at this point. <laughs> Do you know what I would look like? I'd be a worm. <laughs> no, you wouldn't be Woody. You'd be Stumpy. Uh, yeah, no, he'd be Woody. 
<laughs> he'd, be, he'd be the guy with two wooden legs. He'd, he'd be like that like day, oh, come Woody, he'll when never I, sink. When I, <laughs> when I broke my left arm the, to set it, they had a thing that was basically, you know the Chinese finger toys. You put your hands in, yeah. and when you pull them, they get tighter. Uh, it was a device like that. It was for six fingers. I'm not sure why, but it had like six little finger traps. They put your hand in it, and then they put weights on your bicep, and it just pulls your form apart. Hmm. That's Very how they. Interesting. That's how they set bones. Yeah, I've well, been trying to find like, I've been reading a bunch of horror anthology books and shit recently. I, I bought the the Necronomicon, the mm, compilation of all of uh, H.P. Lovecraft's his short stories. Like any anthology book, a lot of hits, a lot of misses. What's what's a purportedly true story, Wendigoon, that you would you would point me to? That has a shit ton of lore around it that might actually scare me. It doesn't even have story. to be it doesn't have to be demonic. It could be anything in your like the spooky realm you inhabit. A true story though, right? Yeah, something that like I could look to it and it could even be like we don't we don't even know why this happened, but it did. Mm. The ones that always freaked me out are disappearance cases, like you know, got into thin air type things. Mm-hmm. Um I recently did one about the Yuba County Five. That case freaks me out a lot, but I think I have a decent explanation for it. It's not a fun answer, but it's like a, a, something that doesn't involve supernatural, right? Is that like a murderer case? A murderer uh, case? Maybe. <laughs> it's Five yeah. guys went up into the mountains um, under very weird circumstances. They were never supposed to go up there. It's a long story. Um, but four of them, their bodies end up being found. One disappeared. A lot of beliefs are that the one who disappeared was the guy who murdered. I made a video about it recently. I don't think that's what happened. Instead, I think that he was forced off the mountain. I think the boys were chased by someone up there, um, which isn't a fun answer. That's, that doesn't make you yeah. feel better, but it's it's not explicitly supernatural. Like a lot of uh, explanations around those stories tend to be. Some of the ones that I would say are more creepy in their unexplained nature are the case of Dennis Martin. Um, I made a video about that, uh, and my conclusion at the end was like, oh, who knows? <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know, but it's scary, isn't it, guys? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Anyway, that's weird. See y'all next week. Yeah. Um, uh, the case of Dennis Martin's up there. The case... Uh, oh, what was that boy? Hold on, hold on. Let me let me type this in real quick. You're good. Uh, boy. Dennis Martin. Missing, Such an blah, innocent blah, blah. name. Yeah, he was six, I think. He was five or six. Oh. Uh, Garrett Bardsley. That's the other one I was thinking of. This this was a Boy Scout. He was out on a fishing trip with his father. Uh, and it, I can get into the details of these if you want. But if you just want the names, Garrett Bardsley, uh, Dennis Martin. And then there's one more. Um, carried, let me. I can put in like the highlights of the case and typically it will pull up. Uh, Jared Atadero. Spanish show Jared J J A R Y D and then Adadero A T A D E R O. Um, those are ones that it, it's kind of like, yeah, Taylor, go read that and tell me what you think because I have no idea. That's weird. That's creepy. <laughs> so <laughs> the into thin air stuff tends to mess with me a lot because typically the like details around it are so so bizarre that it's like I don't know. Maybe maybe his entire family decided to kill him for no reason. <laughs> like yeah. that's the only thing that could make sense in a lot of these. Um, the, the unexplained stuff tends to keep me up at night. Uh, so yeah, I, I have fun. <laughs> There's some... I, I wrote all those down. I'm going to listen to all. What about the little uh... Jared, Garrett, and Dennis? <laughs> what about the events that Fire in the Sky are based on? That that logger from Oregon or wherever mm. who was disappeared for multiple days three to five or something all of his bodies saw the light they were all out there working logging he got separated went or went to investigate the light goes missing days later naked and passed the polygraph for whatever that means you know yeah yeah but 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 still passed it um and says he was abducted by aliens and they did gruesome experiments on him so that that's another one of those cases that's kind of like yeah i mean whatever you say <laughs> like it's a, it's such bizarre the, the circumstances i can't pin it down i haven't researched that one the way i would like a video topic because i haven't made it but from what little i do know about that case uh my idea around it was always either an intense 
psychosis <laughs> like from him like maybe maybe he decided to fake the lights in order to trick his friends and then like can make up this whole story or whatever either out of some level of wants to be famous i guess or psychosis like i said but even come then on. that's yeah, exactly come when, on when you like, say like, fake, uh, when you say fake the lights what is can you exactly me like i got story? a little experience in, in pyrotechnics and such i'd have a hard time fooling y'all that the aliens were over the hill yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> exactly so in this story there were alien lights or you know, supposed alien lights that people claim to have seen. Oh yeah, Kyle knows. Like, uh, like again, I, I haven't researched in a while. Kyle probably knows there the details better than I There was a bright light over the hill, like a blinding light that they didn't want to investigate because all the other grown men were afraid. And this guy's like, ho, 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 and runs off and doesn't show up for days. <laughs> and when he comes back, he's like naked in a phone booth somewhere calling 911. Um, but, but yeah. The aliens uh, are incredibly sexually aggressive. <laughs> they were. That, um, if you watch that scene, it's so upsetting because they're very matter of factly like it's like when you see the crocodile hunter with a with an animal, like, oh, look at this fucking measure, staple this through its fucking ear. Yeah, they don't feel pain like we do. Fucking roll them over. Let's shove a finger or two up his ass. See what yeah, it's the cloaca. Yeah, that's, mm. yeah, she's almost ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you wash your hands? Fuck it. Roll her over. Like being <laughs> peeled alive on an alien table, screaming, and they're like, that's just air releasing from its <laughs> They just feel a sense of pressure. Like a bitch. <laughs> You're just, ah, stop that. And it's like, wow. You know how it's all high pitched like that? Yeah, that's air escaping. They breathe it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then they inhale, that's air escaping back in. <laughs> it escapes the other way now that scene in the movie is one of the scariest movie scenes ever like it's it's terrifying it's one thing to for someone to have you and want to inflict pain on you because they understand it but but to be kidnapped by something that doesn't even have the concept of pain that's just there and, and treating you like another like i don't know like a chunk yeah. of aluminum to be oared out or, or or like an animal to be weighed and measured and cataloged it's real scary and and the actor and that so the aliens don't look like super realistic or anything, mm -hmm. but they're scary. They're yeah. scary to look at. Like they have those. It's the traditional gray aliens with the big heads and everything. But something about them is more predatory, predatory and mean, for lack of a better word. It's like they're aggressively like at one point he's like, Arr! and one of them's like, oh, yeah, give me a handful of this brown muck to shove into its mouth. And he's just like, no, and I'm like, da, 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 da. okay. Well, that's awful. not even that's not even science. Can you imagine? If, like, if you <laughs> have science, a lemur, we can't understand. If you See, have like a thing. lemur on a table that you're torturing, and you're like, we need to get the information from this lemur's uh, biology and its <laughs> metrics, and it's just like, wah, 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 and you're just like, no, nah, that's obnoxious. Put this quick crete in its mouth. Shut it up. <laughs> like, no, now it's not even do. science anymore. That's just a tour. That's just saw six. Like when they really lost the plot. <laughs> that's just mean. I, that's all that I is. It is. I like the idea that to the lemur, a syringe, they're just like, he's just poking us with a sharp stick over and over. Like they don't see any scientific benefit to you stabbing them over and over. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when, when the thing like, puts a handful of axle grease in his mouth, which is what it looks like. It's yeah. like, uh, it's like they have no idea that this is that max, ma this is magical yeah. axle grease. It tells us everything you need to know about a human. <laughs> 10 out of 10 lemurs hate having their eyelids cut off and mascara smeared into it. <laughs> we had to know if it was going to sting. We, didn't, we, had to we we had educated guess, but <laughs> turns out New from L'Oreal, yes. sensitive of lemur eyes. It turns out ten out of ten lemurs hate it for some reason. <laughs> we give it eight yeah, out of we... nine terrified lemurs. I, I feel like we should really limit our our bad animal testing to reptiles. We've got a ton of reptiles. No one cares about them. What did a reptile do to you? What yeah, you right? <laughs> Would you prefer monkeys? Only have products that are, no, if we only test on reptiles, then we only have products that are safe for reptiles. I swear to God, if, if, if Biden suggested something like that, Everybody would be like, reptilian. I told you they're reptilians. No, <laughs> no that would be evidence he was a reptilian. He wouldn't want to <laughs> like, experiment on his brethren. Or would he? 
He's just trying to leave both the ways, way. right? Maybe he wants, he wants to know that his medication that will work for him. him. <laughs> <laughs> We're testing no, we'll new test dementia what? medication for snakes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very promising. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I, I still don't think he's going to run. Um, I, I, really? I think we have money bet. I, I think you and I have a small bet of some wager mm -hmm. of some kind. I don't. It's, How much I'm did sure you guys it, bet? Like ten bucks. I, who, who knows and who cares? Right. You know, I probably, remember a hundred was a number. I don't know if they added to a hundred or if we had two hundred dollar bets. It was pretty significant. Yeah. Whatever it is, you know, somebody will let us know when the time comes. But but who do the, you, who'd you think would be I the don't primary? Think, Gavin Newsom. Oh, so I don't even know what the. If I recall correctly, Kyle had Trump, and I had everybody that wasn't Trump, and then I think there was another bet about who would win the general. And I had oh the the Democratic primary is that what you're talking about or what? No 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 we're talking about on the Republican primary. Kyle yeah. had Trump and I had okay I see I got, yeah gotcha yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And then oh okay so Zach is going from his memory so it could be off. He thinks it's a hundred dollar for Trump to get the uh, nomination and then we have another fifty on the general. That's not how I remember it, but. You know, I'm I'm known for my great memory. <laughs> that thing, again, whatever it is, it's on record. Um, mm. but but what I would say a is a record we will not check. <laughs> a record that we'll be notified about. Somebody we'll that's for the here. comment if, section if to we figure wish out. To. We're better than them. Uh, but <laughs> comment the thing... a much larger amount than they actually bet. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, depending on the outcome, of course. Um, <laughs> of course. But I don't think that Biden is going to be the guy that you vote for. I don't think he is going to be the guy campaigning and, you know, when it's game time. I don't know what the protocol is for when you have an incumbent president who bows out. I, that's never been done before, as far as I know. Maybe there's, maybe somebody got shot in 1897 and, right. I, and I forgot. Coolidge, Coolidge, I believe he stepped down after one term. Fair. If we're talking about Coolidge, then it's shenanigans anyway. We're in this crazy modern era where anything's possible. You right, saw right. the era. The USADA area uh, era of American politics. The yeah. strict so I think that <laughs> I think that uh, anything could happen. I don't know what the protocol is for Biden saying, you know, I've after consulting with my doctors, my family, and uh, Mr. Epstein. I mean, um, <laughs> shut up! You just had to get through tonight, Joe. <laughs> um, I've decided to. Get my that, friend Jeffrey used to go to his island and, and have the best time, <laughs> and, 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 and and leave the. But but I, and, you know, maybe he says something like, "I'm no kingmaker. I can't tell you who." But but mm -hmm. I, you know, Kamala is going to join the 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 hunt for the the presidency, the the Democratic primary, even though you just narrowed it down to two people. She's joining it now. <laughs> and she skipped that whole interim yep. part where you expose people and find that and do your hunting and research. Forget all that. Here we go. Final four time, final three or whatever. Um, yep. And Kamala's going in and uh, this will happen and that'll happen. Blah, 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 blah. And Kamala awesome. will go. And I'm not saying it's Kamala. I'm just, just right. for example, a name. I don't know who it would be. It, Kamala would be a disaster. Donald I think Trump it's Kamala, Kamala Harris, by the way. It's that's up for debate. It's not, though. It's Kamala. What am I saying that's different than Kamala, Kamala. is incorrect? Yeah, it? it's like comma. Isn't what? this like caramel and caramel? No. I think it, it is like You that. know why it, it matters? Like it For it some reason. Similar. Don't let him tell you different. The Republican Kyle, pundits it. mispronounced her name as like an intentional disrespect for like oh. a year. And people are like, it's Kamala. It, like Tucker Carlson got called out on it famously. They're like, this is your job. You do this every day for a living. You get paid tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars for this. You know her name, but you're intentionally mispronouncing it. Why? Why are you doing that? Are you so sure? I didn't know it her was name. a point I of contention. Yeah, us. you're not. Oh, not yeah, yeah. I, but, I didn't mean but, to um, suggest you. Were. Not. I mean, I think she's a fucking. Kamala adult, sounds better. But uh, but you're telling me that she wants Kamala. us to hit that Kamala. Well, it. I don't know. Believe versus believe. Like I don't, you put the accent on the wrong one. It's Kamala. <laughs> The Kamala, it, yeah. The emphasis I meant to say. The emphasis is on the ka, like Kamala. Anyway, Kamala. I I genuinely still don't know how to say it, but I will. I will <laughs> it is endeavor. a made up name, as far as I know. VP <laughs> Harris. Sure. There you go. All names are made up, Woody. Well, no, there's, there's a precedent. <laughs> I call her. I call up. her KH. We're tight. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Anyway, it's interesting. Both presidential candidates kind of have a thing hanging over their head. With Biden, it's like. Is he going to live? Is he going to bow out? Like, what's going to happen with this age thing? thing? With Trump, 
I, that exists too. Um, he did just say that he beat Obama and Biden's going to lead us into World War II. But um, he also has the prison thing. No. So Biden's mastered time travel and he's taking us back to World War II. There was Trump. Trump. Yeah. Oh, Trump. And, so I, I would love that. Clips That'd be great. Of Trump golfing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I've seen golf. I've seen Trump golf Dude, poorly and earlier. well. I've seen both. And uh, but who are those guys that do like the back off, like like challenge oh, thing at the tee? I don't know, but I know of them. What yeah. is that? So, so but, you know, they, they they crack the the funniest fucking on the spot riffing jokes. On um, they're like, this guy looks like he doesn't pay his child support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, during golf this, yeah uh -huh. like this guy this guy's a professional at cheating on his wife wet hair and everything look at those socks <laughs> like 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 as they're teeing off and yeah. like i saw him giving trump some and it was great they're, they're like what did he say oh that that drives shorter than your second presidency <laughs> 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 just, just some good stuff um how, how long's joe been seen out long time long time and he's fucking teeing <laughs> up over there. and like half the time it's like all right, fucking late. You know, they do the thing where they draw the red line because I can't see the fucking ball. That is helpful. Supposed to go yeah. anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't care where that fucking little ball goes, but he hit it in the straight line and it went there. And then another time they're like, ah, oh, fuck you, shanked it. Oh, <laughs> go Brandon <laughs> or whatever. Like, I don't know. I, I've definitely goes. seen clips of Trump golfing where I was like, that's better than I thought he would be at golf. And then I remind <laughs> myself, like, old tons of old people are incredible at golf. Yeah, like he's yeah. he's not good enough to go play Listen, in the, the old person tour, the senior. Donald tour. Trump has the advantage of having probably played more rounds of golf than than most people who aren't professional golfers, and yeah. having being 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 able to have probably played with some pros and gotten professional advice. I bet he's had good trainers and stuff. Although I imagine with a narcissist like that who actually believes this the smell of his own shit and everything, it's probably mm. hard to hire a pro because immediately he's got that Steven Seagal <laughs> thing where he's like, oh yeah. I'm a mask as well. <laughs> Actually, let me show you something on your grip. <laughs> oh, really? I would go the other way. That, like, if I was doing something like that with a pro, I feel like it would open me up to be like, well, <laughs> I'm no professional like you. I, I, I miffed that one. Not you know? someone like like them, though. Like, like yeah, when I guess you hear I'm about not similar to him. This guy was talking about he's a stunt coordinator slash actor because sometimes they'd be like, yeah, you'd look tough. You stand in the background. You're henchman number three. He's that kind of actor, and he's on the Steven Seagal thing, and they're like, Sensei Seagal will be here in a minute. Here's the thing. If any, even if he asks you, do not tell him you have any martial arts training. He will challenge you. <laughs> 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 he will challenge you. And it's like, that guy is such a piece of shit. And, and, and sure enough, like, like when they when you talk to him, like, I think he bowed <laughs> to Seagal in, in, a, in a way that Seagal, like, you train martial arts. <laughs> he smelled it. Yes, sensei. I'm a fucking th third degree yokotan at fucking blah blah blah. He's, ah, you know what? I was supposed to beat this guy up today, but no. I like you. I like you. No fight today. Move the cameras over there. Lighting up here like this. I'm just gonna. Uh, I don't know. Pull out a knife and stab him. <laughs> He's just like that. Steven Seagal. He decided that like my key wasn't right or my energy was off, and he didn't want to fight me that day because I was a nice guy. Like, like, but then you also hear that he actually beats up those stuntmen. And if you watch some of his shittier movies, it's like he hit that guy in the face. You just punched stuntman number eight in the ear, you son of a bitch. Like, like he's actually hitting and kicking these people. That's why his kicks and punches do look good. And his fights can look actually violent because he's yanking their joints and fucking twisting their fingers backwards like it's middle school and shit. Hard <laughs> as fuck. Trump is a better golfer than I thought he was according to sportingnews.com he's a 2.8 handicap dude which means it's, come on I don't no i'm um, see I, I have a hard time getting past my own bias right but he does shit like this now listen he'll hold a golf tournament the tournament runs like saturday sunday and then he will claim the win and say on friday before you guys got here when nobody was watching i got a better score than all of you i'm counting it as a win for me that's serious horseshit that sounds more like tax what evasion or something. Like maybe he's filtering here. the prize money to himself <laughs> or something. And, and like everybody who's there knows that Trump always wins the he Trump. He just Open. recently posted a score. We talked about it on this show with PKN. Yeah, Kim where, you know, he, his score was like, uh, it was the same or better than the score for the winning PGA tournament PGA. there. And see, like, this perhaps like the a, course is different. This is a good, know. this is like a really good either. handicap, but this isn't like, 
like a scratch golfer. Like he's not claiming like he's that elite at it. Like what's like if you went and sorry? 2.8, it says, which is, is like, does that mean you're giving him 2.8 on the round of nine or round of 18? It means an 18 per shot. He'll be 2.8 above par. That's yeah. insanely good, right? It's that's very, 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 very good. good. It's not like, like PGA level, but for anyone yeah. casual, that's great. If you're like a casual golfer, that's excellent. But like if he went out there with pros and like the senior tour, he'd get smacked. Yeah, PGAs are always in the negative. Mm-hmm. Um, the, like at the top, you know, 50 places are or whatever. That's, but like, I think that's what Kramer, they asked Kramer what his handicap was. And he's two over par. That's what the pros shoot, right? <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> 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 like my, my dad would beat trump very easily in golf now would he's he? got yeah my dad golfs all the time he's like a scratch golfer he's very very good okay he's like he's like one of those people like when i golf with him i'm like kind of annoyed like the sound the ball makes when he hits it with the driver is like it's like a video game can i ask you a question <laughs> do you always play on the course that he plays when you visit your dad no, he'll play. Uh, he'll play on any course that's close enough to play on. Like he, he play. He See, just that loves would be the golf. thing, right? He plays a lot. But, like what's if your handicap? If I were, mine would be unbelievably high. I'm not good. But like 11, uh, 14, 25? Give me like if I'm playing nine holes. Give me, give me an extra twelve shots or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm one of those golfers that like, fair. like with irons, I, I feel like I can mostly get it to go pretty straight. Mm-hmm. But then putting is just an exercise in futility. Be, and people will like, I'll watch someone else putt and they'll be like, hey, Taylor, watch me. Like my, my friends with more golf mm-hmm. than me. They'll be like, hey, watch me. And then you can see how the green lies and like how fast it is and everything. I'll be like, OK, OK. Mm-hmm. And like, I'll watch it. And, I'm, and they'll be like, ah, this is slow as mud. And I'm like, is it? <laughs> like is is this a slow one or they'll be like oh there's a big break right here aim for this area and like my dad will help me with stuff like that and he'll like hold his club in between me and the pin and he'll mm. be like don't aim for the pin aim for my club right here like hit it huh. with like medium power towards my club right here read. and he'll do the read for me and make me feel like mm. i'm i'm better at it i'm still not sinking long class. i might be better than your father at golf? I, I I've it. never played, so there's no <laughs> telling how good I am. <laughs> there's, there's no way to know. You could be an absolute natural. You could be par on the first it, There's such a, a chasm of how difficult you feel golf should be and how hard it is. Yeah. Where yeah. It, you watch someone who's good at it and you're like, I could I could do that. No, you can't. Well, really you hit good. a ball with a stick, cool. <laughs> good for yeah. you. Yeah. I don't know how to know which club to use. I always have to ask my my younger brother or someone. Because they'll be like, "What? What? How far do you know where to go?" Like, "Oh, this is a nine iron shot." Okay, I'll take your word for it. I like oh, the turns idea. Out, oh. Turns out, the nine iron sent it right into the woods, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> you call <a> moron, <laughs> idiot. I thought you played golf. <laughs> yeah, like, a seven iron would have been straight as an arrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's fun, I bet you're uh, due fun. for like beginner gains because I know you kind of got into golf recently. I bet yeah. 2024 Taylor's twice as good. Definitely, I couldn't. I, I if I start getting worse, I'm gonna quit. <laughs> <laughs> That's and I'm 2024 like, yeah. Taylor won't be worse. I take plenty of mulligans, <laughs> like you know, off the tee box. You know, that's a bad one. Do it again. That's a bad one. Do it again. But yeah, it's there, it's is fun. there like a number of mulligans per game that people like? kind of common like do people like hey one one mulligan per round boom when i've played like usually it's an overlap where like my brother and my dad are avid golfers and so they're keeping like real track of their strokes and mm-hmm. for me they're just happy i'm out there spending time with them and so yeah. like if i beef it badly into the water they'll like be like take another one no that yeah. one's in the water too yeah. take another one my dad will be like <laughs> I've got like 40 low quality range balls. Just keep, you know, yeah. you can get it over there. And then eventually I'll be like, I'm just not, it's not going to go. Let's, I was going to ask that. Do you always throw the ball away when you take a mulligan? Uh, like, what do you mean? Like, so if it goes into the woods, you might be tempted to find it, especially if it's on the edge of the woods, but now you're going to take a mulligan. You're not even going that way. So do you oh. just use a new ball and, no, you, you swing to lose? by, you swing by okay. and like grab the other balls you hit. So unless you like, like, but sometimes it's so bad that like I'm slicing it out of my hole 
over the forested area and like onto the fairway of the adjacent hole. And then, there's, and then you can like see people golfing up there and it's like, I don't want to run onto their hole. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. That's their Sorry. golf ball now. Idiot yeah. over here. Sorry, my stupid uh, partner did this. <laughs> did you guys? I bet Kyle did. There's a Reddit golfer. <laughs> I, if I understand right, the group behind him caught his group and like hit the ball <laughs> towards him, which I guess is a huge faux pas. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, he was there and he like refused to move. Like he was going to confront the people by their ball. Did you see this, Kyle? Yeah, he took his yeah. shirt off and growled at them. Yeah, he's oh, and he's like my kind of guy. He took his shirt off and he's like, "You've now witnessed the body of God." Or something <laughs> close to that. Yeah, <laughs> on the golf course. And he's yeah, like, yeah. He's like really like 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 eight and mugging them. Like, like he's doing that full. He's full he mode. Went, you know, like flexed and everything, and er, uh, and and everyone else is like, "He's crazy." Let's just go. And the comments were shredding him about how, like, that was not the body of God at all. That guy was just <laughs> fucking ridiculous, and he looked terrible. And I'm like, I, his body fat, I think, is a little higher than mine, but our bodies weren't far apart. And for the comments to just, like, tear him apart, <laughs> I was like, no, you're so strays here. No, Why you're, isn't you're, that guy on the show? so wrong. What are y'all doing? Yeah, so wrong. That, that you're God way bigger. Monster. You're way bigger and stronger than that guy. He was like... At, he was like definitely average at best, but but it was a it was more about the the the, the ferocity that that he was bringing to the table. I read they had struck him with a ball. I thought that was his beef, oh. and he was like, "No, you can't go past me. I'm right fucking here." And like I, I, he was definitely mentally ill. It, but I'm if, I'm down for that. If I know? got hit with a golf ball, I'd say I was God too, yelling at people. <laughs> I'd be pretty <laughs> upset. I'd hit him it. in the head. That guy was, was just probably having. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would fuck you up getting hit with a golf ball. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're you're supposed to to wait before you hit the ball, and you can always tell who the worst person in your group is because like my dad will be like, I can't hit yet. My brother will be like, I can't hit yet, and they'll be like, Taylor, you can hit. Like there, <laughs> you can hit five times. There's no there's <laughs> no world in which you reach that guy with no shirt on the green. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> like, <this> is, <laughs> uh, because I, I have a very tactical slice. I get about a hundred <laughs> yards of lateral movement. <laughs> <laughs> so I like I, I aim way left. The people at the hole over there think I'm coming right for them. They don't know. They don't know it's not coming at all. Uh, <laughs> did you guys see uh this was some some hockey news, but I thought it was interesting. So Spitting Chicklets, my mm. favorite hockey podcast. It's a Barstool Sports Show. It's got Paul Bissonette, Ryan Whitney, some other guys. So they are like a a players podcast. They have tons of players on the show to talk. You know, are they retired players themselves? They're retired players themselves. Okay. Yeah, and so they have players on. They're they're very connected. Um, because they were players themselves, they tend to get more scoop directly than like a journalist at the athletic or something and biz broke a story about a week ago now that mike babcock the coach of the columbus blue jackets was bringing players into his office privately and then having them give him their phones and give them the password and then go through their photos like air playing it up on his office TV so he could like see the kind of person they were apparently. And everyone in like, like traditional media, they don't like the spit and chicklet show for some reason. I think that's ridiculous. And they were like, Oh, this, this is probably like hullabaloo overblown. That's crazy. There's no way that Mike Babcock is that makes cool. millions of dollars a year. One of the most famous <laughs> NHL coaches of the past 20 years, like that he is, having his players come in and then air playing their photos up onto a TV to scroll through. And if he wants to see their dick, he can go to the showers. That's their professional hockey players. There's going to be dicks. There's going to be, you know, uh, probably nudes they're sending back and forth. And no, it was true. He was doing that. He was bringing players in, forcing them to give him their phone, unlocking it, and then running through the pictures and, as soon as it like fully came to light, they fired him. This, they they fired him, got rid of him. I think that his contract is guaranteed, so he gets four million dollars for this year <laughs> and next year. Uh, so that guy that guy's got a Genius lot of business lot of bands. maneuver. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what he was looking for. 
Like, it, like he gets Taylor's phone, puts it up on the big screen, and he's like, Taylor, you're a chubby chaser? You're a chubby chaser? <laughs> <laughs> Second string for you, bitch boy. <laughs> uh, there's an enormous amount be- of racist grass. What? <laughs> first of all that's ridiculous like, like that's a huge invasion of privacy i wouldn't expect that however I mean, however however although i could imagine being part of a team environment where that was understood if that was sprung on you that's different but i could imagine like if 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 it's like look no fucking distractions this this year a eh? or whatever those people sound like <laughs> yeah. that picture's a bit of a doozy yeah. No gosh darn <laughs> distractions this year, gosh darn it, eh? I, I, last year, last year. Uh, How many photos uh, you got of your cock? Last you know, year, Eagle Op, instead of coming to practice, he was at the fucking apple picking orchard with his girl, okay? <laughs> uh, unacceptable, you know? They're probably looking for, like, drugs and strippers and, like, late nights that don't involve going to bed and practicing and studying hockey film, right? Because if I'm running... A different sports, if I'm in a different sports league, I see that that's like 50% of the issues that they have is guys who want to go to a strip club and and do that more than they want to like study film or learn whatever game that they're part of. And that's like yeah. every ma- professional sport, right? And you can't blame them. You know, they're they're 19 or 20 years old and you give them millions of dollars and then Where their teammates aren't exactly that, yeah. good influences usually. They're like, let's go to scores. Dude, yeah, I would to love to be on that team. I would have a decoy phone filled with Mike Babcock Photoshop pictures. Just him <laughs> on like Napoleon's body, George Washington crossing the river. Like what they did with the Trump pointing NFTs. forward leading us. Pointing forward leading us. Or just like you it give just him says, a phone. Truck, m- trust Mike. That's your screensaver. It's just like <laughs> it's my lock Mike. Just trust it, Mike. All what are you God. talking about? Uh, no, no, no. Here's the, here's the, Mike would go all right son put your passcode in it's like it's your birth date sir (laughs) (laughs) scan your face sir just scan your face it's it's, it's mike babcock's face to unlock the phone we love you coach i'm I'm impressed it's just 64 gigs of the same wayne gretzky quote <laughs> it's just, just over and over. You miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take. I'm proud. Yeah, that's that's insane true. True that he that did that. Now, sir. And like that, I mean, that's a horrible way to build trust in a locker. What was room. the like, purpose hey, of it? Me. Was the purpose of it to like shame people for doing stuff like that? Like you said, drugs, hookers, or whatever. He, he said it was to like to build, you know, knowledge. I guess between him and the players, and like get to know them better and stuff like that. But it's like. No one gets to know yeah, go to your Facebook. by like, go yeah, exactly. when, when, when again, I'd love to get to know you and I'm in a position of power over you. If you say no to me, maybe someone's not playing in, um, for the Detroit Red Wings anymore. Maybe they're playing for the Michigan. Who gives a fuck? It's in the minor leagues. Hey, by the way, open your phone up for me. Let me take a look. Like, that's, it's it, so that it's so funny you behavior. mentioned that because that's exactly what you said when you invited me onto this podcast. So you know, yeah. it makes it, yeah. I want to see the nice kind of dick, guy by you the are. Way. And by the way, this is not—he's not coaching the Georgia Bulldogs. There's no excuse for that behavior at all. But at least you could be like, "Well, the Georgia coach had to make sure everything was working because they're on the cusp again of repeating. They're the best team in the league. The best, you know, and Alabama's old hat. Right? Yeah, they and might need a I would do if I was the coach. Of a These are the University. Columbus Blue Jackets. They have. No chance of having any success this year. If I were the coach of, of the, uh, if I was UGA's coach, um, whose name, whose name's escaping me right now, um, is it Kirby? Kirby Smart? Um, I would, uh, I would, I would have a rule like, like you can own whatever cars y'all want. I know y'all have that NIL money or whatever. You can afford basically any car you want because you've got a quarter million dollars a month coming in or whatever crazy numbers it is Good now. Gosh, is that close? So, yeah, for like a star, I think it is. Like if you're in like, I, I think they're getting the money from like games and all sorts of other stuff, merchandise stuff. I don't know exactly how it works. I haven't looked into it. But I know they're getting huge amounts of money still playing college ball. And the fact that they're driving around in those 800 horsepower vehicles around town, it's like 18 years old is shockingly irresponsible. I would say, look, limo service for everybody. You, Everybody gets a limo. Everybody gets a limo. You get a limo. I have an Oprah day. You get a limo. Yeah. You get a limo, and you get a limo. First of all, limos are cheap as shit. Those are rundown old town cars that they chopped in half and put some aluminum in between. We can afford thirty limos at the University of Georgia. I promise you. Just yeah. 
booze cruise these guys around all night. Everybody gets their own fucking limo. Get them out of those quarter million dollar sports cars. Get them out of Ferraris and Trackhawks and shit that goes so fast. It's just a race car. And Athens is a real condensed area full of drunks anyway. And then the highway there is these fat is these two lane highways that are, you know, omnidirectional. Not omnidirectional. They're, they're, you know, two lanes going north and two lanes going south is what I'm trying to say. By it's a dangerous play, place to drive is what I'm getting at. It's a real dangerous place to drive really yeah. fast amongst other drunk 18. Because everybody there is drunk and 18 years old. Everybody is. Yeah. So you would, if you were the coach, you wouldn't look through Georgia players' phones. You'd just give them, well, you'd be a more limos. Coach. Everybody yeah. gets a limo. Yeah. Yeah. If I were a coach... I would want to maintain like a level of authority where it was like, I'm not your social friend. Like I, we are like, we're friendly, but like Bill I'm Belichick esque. You want to be a Bill real piece Belichick-esque. of shit. Belichick all business. Yeah. All business. You get, and look at him. He's been coaching for a million years for the Patriots. I bet he's the longest tenured coach. He's not, you know, playing, uh, you know, patty cake with his players. I assume he's not looking at their phones. He's just he's like a real yeah, piece if, of if shit. You're a, is he? Uh, yeah, I can't remember which player. He's he's like, you know, you do the little Oh, well, thing, you would you know? say that, Mr. 28 to 3. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's like, coach would be like, that's an, interesting, that's an interesting way to catch a football there. Interesting, interesting. Everybody see this? Rewind play. Look at this. Look at this new technique that Mike's invented, guys. Rewind play. Look at that there. He, he's like dropping an easy ball. Look at that. See how he doesn't look at the ball? He just sort of waves at it. Rewind play. Rewind play. Whole team's watching. He's like, we won that game by 30 points. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, that would be frustrating. <laughs> That's why his team was good, though. He's, he's Did you hear the story the of uh, Peyton Manning and the guy that caught it? So there was a rookie, and he was good. And uh, Peyton Manning throws in the ball. He catches it with one hand, pulls it in, runs. Successful play. It's terrific. They go back to the huddle. Peyton Manning, no words. Points at the guy, points at the sideline. Go. He's like, what? What, what, what's, I don't know what's happening here. And he no doesn't even talk about it. Double points. Go, go. Sends it back to the sideline. The coach is like, what are you doing? Get back to the game. So he goes back and Peyton's like, go. And uh, he doesn't even know why he's mad at him at this point. He just <laughs> Peyton Manning is overruling the coach and telling him he's not allowed to play this game. And uh, then when the defense took the field, he explained to him, you don't catch with one hand, not on this team, never, ever. You catch with two hands. And uh, point was made, I suppose. And to like yeah. to put a little more comparison on, like, this guy, this is not the first shitty thing this coach, Mike Babcock, has been. There's a bunch of stories of him being accused of being just kind of no. shitty. He's the guy no, not that Woody knows who Mike Madonna is, one of the best American NHL Played players of all time. And he, he was at... 1,000, he was going to hit 1,500 career games played. 1,500, that's a big milestone. That's a lot. And Mike Babcock, who was his coach at the time, sat him intentionally one game so that his career total at the end, everyone knew he was retiring this season, so his career total of games would be 1,499 instead of 1,500. Like, everyone (laughs) knew what he was doing, and he just spitefully sat Mike Madonna, who had had a you know, won a Stanley Cup, like very successful player, very That's well liked. Shitty. Yeah, just, just shitty. Uh, at that time, that wasn't Dallas. That was, you know, that I only ask, it doesn't really matter, but, but I only ask because the Dodgers a few years ago did this thing where a former player was doing poorly. He was mentally ill and they like signed him for a day or a week or something so he could ac- get access to their mental health facilities that are provided oh, to the Dodgers team. That's and everything. a good thing, yeah. And it's it's like, God damn it, whoever it is, like the Red Wings or name a team, should be like, hey, how about coming in for a game, dude, who played so many games for us and did whatever the fuck for us? Like, get your round that open. Have your 1500th game here at yeah. Anheuser Busch Stadium, sponsored by <laughs> Bush, the smoothest of beers. So or nice. whatever they Taylor, do. Like, find a way told, to make it work. You told the tale last year of John Tortorello. How close did I come on? John that? Tortorella. Yeah. Tortorella. Uh, taking over the Flyers. He was going to impose discipline and turn them around and become winners until the team eventually mutinies and hates him so much because he works mm-hmm. them too hard. How's it going? Well, the Flyers are still really bad. And so, uh, but I haven't heard anything about the whole team rioting yet. And so okay. what will likely happen is he'll be the coach for either this year or this year and next year. They'll like start to turn around 
And then once they're like on the track to turn around, he'll get fired and they'll bring in a better coach because that happens to that guy all the time. Like people get so his players get so sick of his shit that they just can't deal with them. So they should bring in Mike Babcock. <laughs> yeah, careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah, they're they're not gonna bring that guy back anymore. I don't I can't imagine and I don't I can't I don't think he cares. He he made like well, 40, hang on. 50 million dollars from the Toronto Maple Leafs. All right, but 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 like besides the invasion of privacy, had he done anything that else that was borderline? Like what what did he done? What did he what did he do? What did he done? What did he done? Did what he, he done? win enough? That's really the question. What he done did. What, <laughs> what, what, what him do? What him do? <laughs> Worst things, Mike. <laughs> yeah, you see what I mean? Like, like, like. I'll give it. I'll say this. I remember hearing about Bobby Knight, and the worst thing they could conjure about Bobby Knight is like, did you know that when they were losing? Johan Franzen, former NHL or rec- ex Red Wing, calls Mike Mike Babcock quote the worst person I've ever met. <laughs> that's, 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 he's a okay. person, the worst I'm not I've hearing ever met. anything. He's a bully who was attacking people. It would be a cleaner at the arena in Detroit or anybody. He would lay into people without any reason. <laughs> that's funny. It's that that's funny. cool. This the cleaner awesome. opportunity assholes. What I'm hearing. Let's get the him on the podcast. <laughs> what, yeah. what he Let's means was, on. I'll tell you what this guy means to say. Mike Babcock accepts nothing but perfection. He mm-hmm. he will not tolerate he is intolerant of imperfection imperfection and so we were all in his midst lesser we were weighed measured and found wanting and yet we strove to be winners and he led us that's what he should be saying i bet they won a lot of fucking games under mike you were weighed and, and in this the guy balance got his fucking found feelings wanting. hurt i bet he's from one of those scandinavian countries that that are slowly um changing demographics rapidly i mean rapidly changing their demographics because they're they're losers they're losers because, vikings. Because they're losers. vikings my ass Vi- how does it feel how does it feel that's karma isn't it <laughs> <laughs> used to just wave all o- just just sailed all over the world raping and pillaging here we are in the oh. 21st century i didn't recognize oh. him until i saw his picture this guy was the assistant coach when the red suckers. wings were good enjoy your yeah. loot of fisk yeah, Lutefisk. Yeah. Who's the assistant <laughs> coach that beat the Hurricanes in the Stanley Cup? I think. Dick. Son of a bitch. I offended that bastard. people. <sighs> I do. Wow. I do get you mean though, Kyle. Like there is sort of a, a brotherhood like team environment where I could see. That, but it's weird coming from the coach. If it was another player, like all right, we're going through your phone. Let's see what we got. Like you know, as a joke or whatever. Like that would make sense. But the coach is what makes it strange. I, here's yeah. what I think. I can imagine. And I'm, you know I'm his reputation is like shoes. sending people down for like not liking them. Like. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting myself in the shoes of a player who's got like a couple more good years left, and we ha- I haven't won a championship left uh, yet, and I blame that partially on the work ethic of teammates in the past, and mm-hmm. knowing that there were guys who weren't bringing their A game or 100 percent because they partied or been drinking or whatever. And here's this coach who's saying, "Enough, enough with the shenanigans." Did you win a championship last year? Did you win one last year? Is the cup at your house or Dave's? I can't recall. Who's got the cup tonight? Oh, Mm -hmm, none of you. None of you motherfuckers have it tonight. Here's what (laughs) we're doing. Give me your goddamn phones, all of you. It's like Mm. you can kind of start to see what we're talking about. And it's like, oh, look at this. Yogmir. Oh, how many titties did you? Wow, this was just last night. (laughs) Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. That's a lot of titties. (laughs) Two, four, six, eight, nine, nine. (laughs) nine. (laughs) If only you had as many saves as you did titties last night, y'all here. Phone's still ringing. They're coming in now. (laughs) Hey there, princess. Did you know Yagir has a save percentage lower than? his cock like, like that would be that uh, you could get on board with that if that that but but on the other hand if you're just like this is my first year here eh? uh okay maybe not <laughs> that's my baby what's this piece of shit frog headed thing that's my youngest <laughs> like, but the, the difference is like like what's the worst team in college football well, like see, the it's, second it's weird or th- I know, like multiple. <laughs> it, it, no. It's weird because there's so many different. Even though there's like, 
NCAA football, it's like, well, you you could probably play in a lower division, right? That's probably where right? you should be. Like there are guys Oscar that have it. It's team. more about who has the lowest expectations than who's the worst. Yeah. Right. But if you were coaching that team, you wouldn't give a shit about any of that. You'd be like, let's just not get embarrassed, guys. That's the no. team he's co- he coached, the Columbus oh. Blue Jackets. They oh. have no prayer. Oh, of, I didn't of know that was success. the team. They're the I Blue Jackets. I really dislike the Columbus Blue Jackets so much because I remember they the came Blue in. Jacket? The, it's supposed to be like a Union soldier. Like, oh, okay. Like that kind of shit, which is retarded. I don't like it. Columbus, I don't like Ohio? their jerseys. I was, yeah, Columbus, Ohio. I was so pissed in like 1998 or whatever when, when they became a team and they were like announcing their name. They're like the Blue Jackets. It's like, there's already a team called the Blues. There's already a team called the Blues. Where do they play? And the Yellow Jackets. There's multiple well, Yellow Jackets. Experience. Yeah, the yellow <laughs> the yellow jackets would have been a very much better name. I would have preferred the yellow jacket because they There's do too use many a yellow bee. jackets as is. Come up with your own hornet. fucking animal. Well, I guess it's a yellow or, jacket or entity. Like the Mets just made up a thing. I don't yeah. know what a fucking the Mets Flyers they is. made up gritty. Like it's they like just. A ma- Oh, he's the greatest. Everybody loves him. Gritty is a good mascot because he goes around and kind of just harasses people. <laughs> like, that's, so like, hey, it's a cell battery night. Everybody hit Gritty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to ask you this because this would make golf fun for me. In the movies, yeah. sometimes I see a scenario in which a ball man or and or boy is out on the range wearing some sort of armored protection and I'm allowed to drive balls at him. Wow. Yes, you can of, hit him. You know that whole bit at <laughs> mm-hmm. the carnival where the guy's like, come on, you pussy. Yeah. Is that as hard as you can throw? And you're uh, like, give me three more balls. <laughs> yeah. Because <Yeah. laughs> you're a big man. <laughs> mm. The worst. I, I'm sure those guys get beaten up occasionally. That's the TikTok videos I want to see when like, like Rot- Carney's getting I'm, what's coming. I don't know what that game is called. Call it, yeah, it's Carney's coming. getting their come up. <laughs> it's just a guy who was. They've had it too good for too long. Beating that guy up. <laughs> I'd knock out his teeth if he had me. <laughs> hey, you thought yeah. those multiple felony convictions were bad? <laughs> just <laughs> <insane>. <laughs> you thought it was hard to get a jab. Now who's going to not screw in the bolts all the way and the. <laughs> Portable roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> now he's not going to final destination of, of preschool. <laughs> like a that doesn't happen in America. I, I I swear to God. I think in America. Stop that jinxing us, man. On We're that, due. It doesn't happen because there are standards. Those guys like whatever. <laughs> at some point, they cracked down on the the USA carnies, and they were like, "Look, here's the here's the line. Here's where you are. Get above it." And they did. But whenever you see like a tilt a whirl and you hear and it's going faster and faster you know somebody's about to teacup <laughs> their last teacup like it's yeah. game over yeah. for somebody yeah. or if you look up and it's that tower that looks kind of like a sombrero and they've made it into a sombrero <laughs> then it's just all the swing people. sets thing yeah oh you know someone's dying when you hear spanish music and shit there's a mariachi band in the back and, and everybody's eating that corn what is it What's that? That Mexican street corn. Somebody's dying on that ride. American that, rides, I trust. I would get on a carnival ride, and I have. I've been on tons of carnival. That, rides. that is true. That every time I see a video of like someone dying on a carnival, it is outside of the U.S. Yeah. But yeah, uh, my fiance, she still will not step foot in a carnival because I want to say twelve years ago, eleven years ago, she was at a carnival. You know the Scrambler, the one that yeah, it's like yeah. it's like a tr- triangle shaped, three different seats of two. And they spin as the whole thing itself spins around. That's what I was calling the teacups. There's the te- yeah, 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 like the teacups yeah. thing. The, scra- the scrambler ones are the ones that are like hanging off the ground. You know, it's got mm-hmm. like the uh, the metal rod that suspends them. She was on that. And then at the same Ooh. time, a whole one dropped, just fell off. Like all of it hit the ground. Uh, and she was in it when that happened. And she hasn't stepped foot in a carnival since. Um, okay. So in the last, but, it, but in the last like 10 years, I think you're right. I've heard stories about that a lot less. Yeah, I, it's always like South America or I guess South America. I don't think I've ever seen like Anything, an African yeah. one or a Chinese no, they don't have the, one. They don't have that or, technology yet. Dude. <laughs> they don't have the scrambler yet. <laughs> they don't have You've never been to the that. Ethiopian carnival? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the Ethiopian think, carnival would be like I'm riding fun animals. There is, 
Right? There's I'm no deep fried foods. Everyone just hungry as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just hungry. I'm surprised there's no African safari rodeo. That would be what I would do if I was trying to like make my mm. mark in the, in the African, African safari rodeo. game. You got to get some of those skinnies on some of their native uh, uh, fauna and, and you know, see if they hang on to that thing for eight seconds. You explain to them what a second is first because they don't fucking know. And then, you they know, use metric digital... time. Yeah. No, they don't use time at all. They have no way of measuring time. <laughs> metric time. They should yeah. be a metric Oh, it's been time. one kilosecond. The, the, the seconds are shorter, but they're very precise. We That's should do metric way. time. We should have like 100 hours in a day. We should have or 10 and, you know, 10 hour, 10 minutes in an hour, whatever it is. 100 is probably better. I think we should go it's, 10 day weeks, three weeks a month, four weekends. Four days of weekend. Oh, I don't want to discuss this again. I thing. sent you both a YouTube <laughs> channel that explains why it's perfect the way it is. Time? It's, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, it's not. Well, how to explain leap years then? The Jesuits. Did it, the Jesuits it, do that? Because, hold on. Hold on. I want I need Wendigan to explain to me what the Jesuits have to do with. The, the Jesuits are the ones who built the calendar into like the years, how it currently works. And they're the ones who like reform. I mean, it came off of like the Caesarian calendar, but they're the one that refined it. Um, so as they were doing that, they were charting like, you know, solar constellations, how time moves and stuff like that. And the way they were tracking it was by the stars, you know, full rotations and whatnot, mm -hmm. uh, and found that there is a discrepancy of about a quarter of a day every year. So every 365 days after one quarter day or, or like after 365 days the stars had moved a quarter further within 24 hours than they should have mm -hmm. so they backtracked that through all of humanity's history and said okay well if we factor that in that every four years there's another day then this is what the timeline looks like so they were the ones who figured all that out and put it in the i calendar. didn't know that that's why uh, the calendar as we know it is entirely built around Christianity, AD, after death, Anno Domini, year of our Lord and all that, because the Jesuits were, Je Jesuit means follower of Jesus. So that's why it's all Christian based, because they were the Christians living in a monastery, effectively. It's why it's built out that way. This is one of my new favorite YouTube channels. It's called Be Smart, and they've got a six minute video called, I don't know, the brief history of keeping time. Yeah, and it's like nails exactly what we're discussing in six. Does minutes. it explain why there's 24 hours in a day? Yeah. It does all a... Well, all right. So there's 24. Why they break it down into segments of 24, I guess is what you mean. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's that's my focus. I, I feel like there could be a metric styled time. I think the visibility do... of 24 is a big part of it. And, and, and the way all those numbers come really close to making everything work in a in a full year the long calendar the show but um but yeah i love that channel he has a he, he's um i don't know it's called be smart for a reason they try to give you little factoids every every uh every video it's really fun so you uh, think that our jesuit calendar thing. is perfect i think it's as i think it's right. as good as it's gonna get I don't think it's perfect. It's it, it clearly could be perfect. Well, you you're somewhere. always raving about this Jesuit calendar. <laughs> Every <laughs> time I see Kyle. Every <laughs> fucking day I'm <laughs> getting texts about this calendar. Uh, our chat is filled with how great the second is, the minutes. Well, Mostly. originally <laughs> when the calendar was first set up, it was only 10 months, which goes back to like the divisibility thing, but then they added uh they added july for julius caesar and august for caesar augustus in honor of what they did so it was broken up to accommodate that the months made a bit shorter and went up to 12 in honor of rome i don't have a big problem with the year right we the earth spins about 365 times mm -hmm. every time it orbits the sun so mm -hmm. there's gonna be 365 days in a year roughly it's yeah, true. yeah. That you know, that, that's just what you're working with. Boom. But I don't get why every day has to be 24 hours. Why it can't be something like 50 shorter hours or 100 shorter hours. I remember, yeah. I remember having it explained why it's 24, but I forgot, and I'll just assume mm. Kyle's right with whatever length yeah, he, he was is. talking about. Yeah, yeah. Why is it 24, Kyle? <laughs> I'm too high to remember. You have to watch the <laughs> minute video. You have to watch the six minute video. Um, I, I genuinely don't give know me why your best guess. <laughs> okay. All right. My there. best guess is we're measuring time based on the rotation of a circle, which you know, a sphere, 
That's so what it was. It, it's yep. Um, yep. it's that you it breaks down perfectly into quadrants of of twenty four. That's it. Know. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it, would, it, it, it's about the math of a three hundred sixty degree sphere, like as it moves throughout the day and how to time it. That's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, because you've got multiple. Good job, hi right. Kyle. <laughs> Thanks. I do the best I can with what I've got. You know, imagine if I were on Adderall over here, I'm taking notes, I'm taking notes, like two hours from um, now, wanting to get in a huge argument about it, like, <laughs> like a, all it's of your, your like fucking flowers for Algeron or whatever, which is a movie I've never seen, but apparently it's where they give the guy medication, makes him super smart. I have seen that it's always sunny in Philadelphia like episode. Where Charlie gets the 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 same, he parodies it, but really he's just an asshole. Flowers for Algernon was the first book I read that I loved. I like mm. every school assigned book I had read previous to that was a chore that I endured, and Flowers for Algernon was just a page turner that I couldn't get enough of. What? Why are you recommending books? Well, I, I I always recommend. Well, I was a kid. I don't know if it's yeah. High school or middle school? Like what age? Middle. Group? Okay, middle. All right, never, never mind. I had a theory, but mm. continue. Yeah, I've never read that one. How long is it? Like, like <laughs> it was literally like forty-five years ago. No, forty years ago. <laughs> like, I don't know. Woody, how long was the book you read in nineteen eighty-five? <laughs> <laughs> right. I remember. Uh, like, like, it's it's easy to remember the books that I read as a kid because back then, you know, it was like, oh, it's like this fucking thick. Can you believe they're making me read this thick? I'm book? gonna look it up, but I'm gonna yeah. guess two hundred and seventy-five pages. Oh, that's, and then every that's once in a while in school, you got a book that was like, oh, we're reading Anne Frank's diary. Fucking, <laughs> whoop, fucking 58 pages. Those baby. Germans are efficient. <laughs> Firing through this. And I don't even have to read the whole thing. I just have to read the beginning, something in the middle, and then the end to make sure yeah. to, to, you know, write the little essay they want. It says if 336 the, pages on If the Nazis were worse at their job, can you imagine that bitch? Like, like year yeah. after year, the same shit. Because she's just up in that attic diddling herself, right? Like, Page three hundred seventy-five. You're not gonna. She's not gleaning any anything new about the world. Still in the attic. <laughs> they did. They did edit it down a lot because they didn't want the. If I get free, the sex I stuff I'm, in there, I believe. I munch a bit of carpet. Child, please. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> is the original it's version still available? <laughs> the original. Like, like, is there a version with all the sex stuff out there that's like downloadable? Oh, they did oh, not yeah. give us that version. They gave us. The, it, it still exists. You can still find version. it. Mm. Yeah, yeah which is like, which it's like, it's it, it's it's someone's diary, and they're just like, oh, we should tell the kids of this, and it's just <laughs> <laughs> the audio book has a little German girl that reads it. There's an audio book, of course. There's yeah, an audio book for of everything. Yeah, I audio book like, everything. Like yeah, the, the the diary of Anne Frank is my favorite audio book. <laughs> that was a quick read. I remember liking that book in school. Um, was it Into the Wild? Chris McCandless, the oh, guy, the one who, where like, the guy like. Yep. Dies yeah. in the woods. I, I made remember, a video. I made a video about that guy. Really? Did he I remember eat my poison uh, my... potatoes or something? He there's a lot of potatoes. there's a lot of theories. Uh, you're talking about why he died, right? Yeah. Uh, that's one of the main theories. The poison potatoes, or there was a kind of like beetroot in the area that he ate that there was like a specific strain of that would make you sick or whatever. I mean, really, what killed him was that it got a lot colder than he was yeah. expecting. But I thought like, you were going to say pride. Hurt. Yeah. I mean. In essence, it's, it's like Chris McCandless is an interesting one. He didn't really value his life as far as like the actual living or like the the longevity of it. He was very clear in his writings that he just valued the experience, like to, to do say, something others haven't. My favorite mm. of his writings is that sign he left by his van that says, please fucking help if you find this. Not a mm -hmm. joke. God save me. Very yeah. weak. Can't, can't, can't hike out. Foraging for berries. It's something like that. Yeah. Bears are yeah. salivating. Yeah, he yeah. Said, it says like, uh, if I'm not here, I'm out foraging, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did he... weak his, his journal's so sad, like the last few days of his life. Like, oh, man. Breaks I, my heart, I but... don't know his story very well, but I choose to believe his journal has story after story of him diddling himself in honor of Anne Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I can't spare the liquid, but... <laughs> Let's shake one out. Load's getting smaller and smaller. I'll, I'll forage tomorrow. It's me day. It's down, to my last, down to my last bottle of lock and load. Yeah, that I just remember like that guy wasn't a wildlife survival expert. Uh -uh. It would be like me going out there and starting a journal and being like day one, I'm avoiding the very colorful plants. 
but I'm starting to get hungry. It's, it's like it's like day one, hour four. It's hunger's setting in. <laughs> I haven't seen a sun barbecue one in an hour. Four. Yeah. <laughs> the twenty piece long. nugget I brought with me is running low. <laughs> what, don't you just hate it when you get a twenty piece? But they only give you one dipping sauce. And who thought that ranch, warm ranch, was a good dipping sauce? I, warm ranch. I wish I had service. I give them one stone. <laughs> that's basically what his fucking there. book was just fail after fail <laughs> we're going to hunt for rabbits today those fuckers are quick like, <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, craziest, the craziest thing is while he was in uh, he took pictures on a handheld camera all he had with it was a 22 rifle while he was in Alaska he killed a moose he like took yeah, pictures right. with it. Like how how on earth was this guy like hiding in a tree and like yeah. drop down on yeah. it? <laughs> You'd have to shoot moose. it in the fucking head or the heart or something. Yeah, but, like I, yeah. I don't, I don't even. I've never seen a moose in person, but mm. I understand from the internet that they are colossal beyond. They're like in their backs like you, seven feet high. Yeah, they can yeah. fuck. So yeah. I I don't yeah. know if a twenty two rifle can cut through enough thick muscle to get to the heart of a goddamn moose. So yeah, you might yeah. have to shoot it in the eye. I don't know. Because if you hit its skull at the wrong angle, I think it'll literally skim off. Like, it'll just ride mm -hmm. under the skin and d dink off its head. I mean, oh look at that. Gosh. Because big, like, keep parts <laughs> of its skull not. are extra armored by the, the antlers and, and, and where they grow under the skin. Shooting that thing effectively and killing it with a twenty two rifle, let's say we've got five shots, not 50. Yeah, it's not like a yeah. Ruger, if we got a Ruger 1022 with like a box magazine. I think he had a bolt have action. A bad day. I think he had a bolt action. Bolt yeah. action would be it would be like in the video games when you try to do something like that and it, <laughs> you anger it and it kills you, or more likely it just run away and you'd never see or hear of it again. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. A, well, it's a think crazy a accomplishment would get to the kill job that. Done? I mean, slowly, but where? Oh, it would run you away. You hit it in the eye or like you'd the hurt, side of the head. How far would it get with a bullet through its lungs? Oh, I think. I'm pretty You'd sure Chris a long way, a long yeah. way with a 22 bullet through its lung. It would run beyond it. You'd never find it. Like I've shot deer and and lost them, you know, with a bow hunting. Like and that was a deer. This thing will yeah. run further than a deer. I can run upwards of yeah. eight miles an hour. That won't keep up with a I, I think Chris <laughs> in, the, no. in the wilderness. And what if you catch it? <laughs> That's a wolf on the right. Like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and those wolves are pretty big um, with a collar. Yeah, the yeah. people keep pet wolves up there. That's a thing you can do. Yeah. Uh, Chris, uh, I'm pretty sure he killed it with a knife, if I recall correctly. Really? Which, like, uh, good on him. Like, I'm you know good. what I have seen that's really big? Bison. I've seen those in person. <clears throat> those yeah. are huge, yeah. Yes, I've seen those, too. Yeah. I think maybe uh, in the Smoky Mountains, they have, uh, like, a nature reserve park mm -hmm. thing, and they have bison there, perhaps. Yeah. Um, I, I may have been to the same place, but I've also saw them when I did that motorcycle trip on the Tat. They're just mm -hmm. wild, like they're yeah. and, uh, bison. And out in Texas, I've seen thought. a bunch of I, I don't even know the names of like <laughs> right the various the like the things that aren't antelopes but kind of are exactly. So the uh, according to like childhood like science or, or science class, there's like there's antelope and buffalo. Let's move along. <laughs> there's like there's like fifty species of hooved animal in Africa, and so. Mm -hmm. That dude had it's like, oh, that's a kudu, and that's a <laughs> that's a Himalayan kudu. You see how its horns are black and spire? It's like all these weird what, fast and jumpy or something deer. like that. That's what it, that's mm. what his name. So many different kinds of weird goats and deer and 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 stuff there that I've seen. The coolest what? thing was that fucking camel. I wanted that camel. It was eight thousand dollars. What are you gonna do with a camel, though? <laughs> What a where, where, where'd you see a camel for sale? <laughs> Eight thousand dollars, and then keeping Texas. it alive is a thousand dollars a month. Yeah, you can. So for eight grand, you could shoot it, and like that's what it's you know if you wanted to because it's on a hunting preserve. It's like I mean, if you want to camel hunting, that's exactly. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are they even um, good to eat? The, oh, delicious! Sure. It's what the most the succulent name? meat in Arabia. <laughs> 
okay. uh, probably, but are they, they good? They say a sultan like... would trade five slaves <laughs> yeah, right. for a camel steak. <laughs> a camel's not good. It's camel. I mean, it I don't might know. Be good. Horses probably know. good, and it's just like a shittier horse. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I, I still think horse horses would be awful. Dry. I, I, I thought, dry, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I I guarantee you, it's like jerky texture. It What's cannot in the be hump that good. Of a camel, really? is it just fat? It's it's fat. Yeah, yeah. it's fat. Yeah. Not with water. a lot of, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. you think it was like a canteen? <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Just... like a canteen. I mean, I didn't think it was literally like you could pop the side of it with a straw. It sounds but like I you did. But I thought it was some sort of. <laughs> yeah, you thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I was like, was so impressive. I didn't, with the I didn't hour think thing, that it was like a straw with the camel. <laughs> You're having your own chickens don't fuck moment. <laughs> That'll never happen. You don't. You still don't know where chickens come from. I'm Nobody almost has. positive. Titty. They come from eggs. Zach says they're vertical titties, and I'm no, they're they're not mammary. They're not mammary glands. Those oh, are still they on are. their belly. They no, are. No, 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 no. no. Yes, don't try that either, desert. Kyle. Yes, don't try are. that. The they will not like it. <laughs> Maybe um, they like it when you. So the, the but the camel's name was Sushi, and it was like Sushi, and the fucking thing would come running like a dog, and you could feed it carrots. And you it wanted to shoot pretty. it. No, I wanted to own it. I wanted oh, to okay. like live at my dad's farm, and like I wanted to go. I thought you said it was on a hunting preserve. Fifty. It, it was, was, but that he has his pets on the reserve too. Oh, know, okay. So well, that's a horrible a idea. <laughs> Why well, believe your pets on a hunting reserve? Well, no. But, all right, let me just say this: if you accidentally <laughs> shoot shoot the camel, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck, Dave? It's a camel. <laughs> <laughs> what were you here to shoot again, Mike? I forgot. I, I forgot. thought that's what you were describing. I thought you were you like, were it's here, a camel uh, hunting trip. <laughs> deer hunting. Mike, you're not going to believe here, it. Mike. I just killed the craziest boar you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Mike, think Zach's that? right about the vertical titties thing, because I bit it without foreplay, and it didn't go over. Yeah. <laughs> I camel was definitely lighting. mad. And for what I know of women, probably. <laughs> I, I don't know why you guys are down on horse meat. I bet horse meat tastes good. The French Dude, eat horses, no, and they're great no. at cooking. Isn't the fat content? Have you, uh, for one, have you like had like French cuisine, like true French cuisine? That's I've never like, been to France. I've yeah. had horse. Yeah, it's like they're the people who thought eating live snails would be a great idea. <laughs> like, I feel like that was just like arrogance on their part. They were like, <laughs> "We're so good at like, cheeses them. and and like desserts that we're gonna make <clears throat> snails good." And a, they're they're still they probably them. are good. I I eat snails. I would give them a go. No, um, you no, my, no, I don't. I, I don't think I could bring myself. I don't do think like I could bring myself to eat anything alive. I do like yeah, oysters. I love oysters. I, w- I would eat dead snails, but like the way I hear escargot traditionally served, they're always alive. Oh, really? Oh, hey. I, I would. I would prefer them to be dead. I, I thought they yeah. were all dead. Ah, oh, wow. yeah. we're gonna. I've had escargot. escargot. It was definitely not alive. I'm gonna check it. Am I wrong? Yeah, you I've, I've always alive. heard that traditional, like French so, escargot in the U.S. is cooked. I'd eat cooked escargot. I would yeah, wager, and, and again, I, I only know what the YouTube people teach me. Um, I would wager that snails carry some sort of weird parasites, and eating mm-hmm. them raw, well, you could end up with some sort of a fucking worm in your brain that tells you that you're the devil. Yeah, yeah you so should cook I'm going to only eat baked. And then, and then we've got out, got to get out the key of Solomon, and it's going to be a whole deal. And it's, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, you have yeah. to go through, and make sure you're not possessed. Imagine exactly, if yeah. Wendigoon went crazy, like legitimately, like wearing clown makeup and showing up crazy. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and and that crazy utilized all of the weird darkness that he's read into all the theology, all of the demonology, fictional and non-fictional. Not that some of it's real in the like brick and mortar way per se but some of it was meant written right right at, to mm-hmm. be real They're like yeah this is how i fucking call on demons and they mm-hmm. it really was you know he could be a real scary guy like if he ever <laughs> snapped and had that 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 cold sweat down his brow moment where he's just sort of fucking twitching so, out and then you would just scary I, uh, I googled it i couldn't find any source that said they were served alive they all talked about how they were like they, their intestines were cleared while they're still alive and they're cooked alive, but not mm. served alive. It, okay. All right. I don't All care right. about a snail being <laughs> cooked alive. They don't even feel, they just feel perfect. <laughs> <laughs> just put that True. quick cement in their mouth. Wait, wait, wait. What? Air escaping. Correct. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather have horse than escargot anyway. 
lots of cuts of lean meat are still good. Like, it, it's, okay. I'm not saying that horse would be. You in are the same on this world horse train. You're staying on it, bro. They look. use horse in sausages, like like hard salami like sausages. Like they mix it in with pork and lamb or whatever. In a lot of countries, I've had sausage, and then I was like, "Where'd this come from again?" I got like a sausage sampler, and it had horse meat in it. It said horse on the back, or or maybe it didn't say horse, but it said like the food industry word for horse. And it was like, <laughs> wait, what? What's that? Equine. What's that meat? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember. But I. Who I bet cares? Taylor, you live in a major city. You could get exotic food if you wanted. I could. I could, I could get meats. some some exotic meats. I would try horse. I don't even know how it's served. I doubt it's like horse steaks. I bet it's something something else. Zach, find us some horse steaks. I would like personally. I would like horse sausage, or like like I could do sort of a charcuterie with, um, or maybe some some sort of breakfast sausage with that's like fifty percent horse, thirty percent pork, twenty percent. You know, just pork fat or something. I don't know. I bet it Eat looks it. almost exactly like a. You know, well, you know what? Now that yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, of, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I can eat a horse. You, you, thank you. <laughs> um, I was, I was, like ragging on horse meat for being lean, but it can't be that much leaner than like deer meat, right? I bet it's like the same nothing level can, of lean. As nothing that. can yeah. be leaner than rabbit meat, though. That's true, and rabbit can be pretty good. So. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You got a sauce oh, up no. rabbit though. Maybe, maybe like you've nice turned me sauce. around a little bit, Taylor. Maybe I'll go on a horse. That's not uh, how you eat it. a brace of conies. <laughs> Jeez, that's <laughs> not how you eat a brace of conies. <laughs> a brace of conies. Right, add, I need to add rewatch that. Yes, add five. I keep saying, I, Thank you for the, the leanest meat available is Kyle's Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> he is lean. He's so I'd, lean. He's like, I'd, so I'd eat a, skin lean. I'd eat a slice of Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't I want, want to eat him alive all the, because all, he's probably rife with parasites. Like, all that want, test that you get in there, though, I don't know. <laughs> 2022 you know, Taylor is where the good aggressive. meat is, right there. That's that's what you oh, want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want that just an absurd amount of marbling, the kind of steaks that you have to turn right. on its side just to render down that <laughs> giant band. Is this human cheese fed? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's entirely cheese fed. It's like, that's cruel. That's cruel. How could you do that? It's like he did it to himself. <laughs> we found him this way, trust me. <laughs> you held down this poor man and fed him nothing but cheese for you, man. It's like, no, he's a free-range cheeseman. <laughs> we gave him all the freedom in the world, and he free, signed his own death certificate. Free range cheese. <laughs> I love, I love cheese. I can eat cheese all day. Anyway, this episode of PKA is brought to you by FaroDistro.com. Attention, PKA fans! Unlock a twenty percent discount on everything at FaroDistro.com, linked below. Whether you're a gummy enthusiast, starting with our ten milligram Cub Scouts and twenty five milligram Delta Eight is better, or HHC is better or aiming for the 100 milligram worms, or even our 500 milligram sour belts for the pros, we've got you covered. For those who prefer to smoke, explore our carts, disposables, pre-rolls, and THCA flour. And let's not forget the Dab X Go and our premium dabs. For the holistic enthusiasts, delve into our range of CBD products and therapeutic mushrooms. Just use the code PKA20 at checkout, ferrodistro.com, quality you can trust, ferrodistro.com, code PKA20, 20% off, Everything that includes all the edibles I listed from the 10 milligram all the way to the 500, the pre rolls, disposables, carts, the dab X, which is fucking incredible, and something else which uh, Sai told me to try our, our wonderful contact over at Ferro Distro. These, these double doinks, we all should have got some of these. There's like a, a joint in here that's THCA. I'll tell them to send you some, and it's got like crystals all over it. And I smoked like a quarter of one. There's two per pack. I, I smoked like a quarter of the other one the other night. And like it, I got like too high from it. Like it was so one. much stronger than I thought it was going to be. So if you get the double doinks, if you, if you get the THCA double doinks, these, uh, these pre-rolls what? with the diamond infused uh, crystals at the top, Take it low and what slow. What are the crystals? Because I think all our my jokes would make us lose our sponsor. <laughs> yes, don't do anything. <laughs> they are THCA diamond uh, crystals is what they are. It's THCA oh. crystals on there. Uh, okay. Glazed with liquid diamonds. That's what it says. Uh, maybe I just got so 
fucking high off of it because I pretty much only use Indica stuff like the mm-hmm. the more downer kind of it this is sativa and so maybe that's what uh got me so high but i was just sitting there smoking it like i would like a cigarette just like not really you know paying attention to how much i was smoking got maybe a quarter to a third of it down and was too high for probably an hour and I- so take it slow uh they are not fibbing when they say this stuff is strong um if you're lower tolerance, start out with one of the 10 milligram, the, the 25 milligram edibles, or get yourself a cart like this, a Delta 8 cart or a HHC cart. All wonderful products. They will get you pretty fucking lit. Uh, so lit, in fact, that start slow. Uh, start slow. It's, I, it's accurately dosed. They, these guys make the nerd ropes, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh. I gave a product sample to a family friend with a warning. And I was like, look, look, I... I don't know what gas station shit you've tried before or like fucking Mexican weed you've tried. This mm-hmm. is different. This is like pharmaceutical. This is the, the big shit. And all the warnings I could come up with, they didn't listen. And they, they it's not like they even did the whole rope. They, they did just like a bite of it or something. And they were just very, very high. They learned a lesson that night. They did. And now they know yeah. that we're telling the truth in these ad reads. <laughs> Accurately <laughs> dosed. This shit is strong as fuck. If... I, the I'm too afraid. Yeah, the strong ones are strong as shit. Like the 10 milligram one, that's going to be accurately dosed to 10 milligrams. The 25 milligram one, accurately dosed to that. Uh, so check it out. PKA 20, 20% off everything there. And the Dab X and all of their Dab uh, little drippers, all those things, 20% off as well. So check that out. Kyle and I smoke the Dab X rig every single day. I, I know I use it every day. And I would bet my house Kyle uses it every day, even more than me. Because I bet he's, he's using it right using now. It I bet I bet he is using it right fucking now. He's, he's, yeah, look at his eyes. He just, he just, uh, Kyle was oh, just, just hitting his dab X. As a noob, kind of, maybe not anymore. But if, if you don't have any tolerance, the number you're looking for is somewhere like 10 to 30 milligrams. That's about right-ish. Mm-hmm. So you can buy the powerful ones and then just take a third of it or a quarter of it. Like, do your own math. But it, I would want to hear that if I knew nothing. 10 to 30 is about your range as someone who's new. Yeah. What you want to do and, is you want to uh, get yourself a good movie. You want to get Mandy by Nicolas Cage. You want to get in a dark room. Okay. And two movie. hours before that, two hours before <laughs> you fucking push play. Now make it an hour and a half because you want to warm, you want to like ease into the movie as you ease into those edibles. You know, hour and a half before you hit play on Mandy. Eat a whole 300 milligram. What are they called? A cluster fuck? Yeah. <laughs> they that. are called cluster fucks. Yeah. And so if, but don't take a 300 milligram or a 500 milligram one unless you have Titan level tolerance because Joey you're Diaz. going to go to have some high tolerance. It says on there, caution, these fuck. And so <laughs> they're <laughs> unbelievably strong. There's 500 milligrams in each of these shockwaves. Don't fucking play with it and then tweet me it was too much i know i i'm i don't take whole 500 milligrams of these i'm i'm taking nibbles off seeing where i get 500 so. milligrams is about what i take and it is a hoss you really you take 500 a hoss of so, a so here's what i do so le- legitimately 100 i take two of the cluster fucks and i so it's a gummy that's covered with nerds like sour nerds i don't love sour nerds i'm looking to get hot so I pick as many of those nerds off as I can. I don't even want to eat the fucking sugar. And get get most of them off there. I munch it a few times and I swallow it kind of like a pill just to get it down. I'm not, I'm mm-hmm. not, this isn't the tastiest thing. You're not eating world. candy. You're getting fucked up. We're not eating candy. We're getting fucked up. Yeah. One whole 300 milligram down. Then I take the other, repeat the process, and I sort of stretch it out. And I take about half or two thirds of that. And I just like bite it off. And then I throw the rest away. And that's a very, you know, yeah, yeah, there you go. So one and a half, yeah. one and two thirds of those. And um, I get so fucking high. Um, um, I just get. I, 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 sometimes I'm afraid. Uh, I'll, <laughs> I, I have told people like, hey, I can't be with other people right now. I took too many edibles. <laughs> uh, I and, and people were like, <laughs> and I'm like, no, really, please. I need to be alone for a while. Like I couldn't be with other people. I was that high. I felt you you will be I fully vibrate. Like my whole body is sort of not literally trembling, but it's it's I'm trembling on the inside. My feet. Yeah. I'm having 
I'm having internal convulsions. <laughs> you're um, you're stoned out of your mind. You're yeah, it's a lot. It's a huge amount. I, so take it take it I don't responsibly. Like being that high. I yeah, I know we have I a lot of ads to go through. High. Um, I lost my train of thought. I, I, you I did don't like being that high. Oh, oh, like the candy. You guys have both said that as a candy, you don't really like it. You like it as an edible. I, I Maybe my diet's strict enough that I'm just like, and I just love sugar. I love sugar. I don't take any fucking sugar off these things. I'm the kind of guy that lets other guys shave him. I eat every <laughs> ounce of sugar on this thing and, and just lap it up. I, yeah. I It's a treat. It depends if you're, because they are sour. So if you're a sour candy lover, you will like the way they taste. And if you're someone yeah, who likes getting high, difference. you're going to like the effect of it because it gets you high as shit. So check it out. PK 20, 20% off. Yeah. This episode also brought to you by Blue Chew. Let's mm. talk about sex. Guys, shouldn't you always be at your best? 2023 is the year to maximize your performance in the bedroom. Listen up. BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online, so no visit to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Blue Chew wants to help you have better sex. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free. Try it for free when you use promo code PKA at checkout. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. That's BlueChew.com promo code PKA to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. PKA at checkout, just pay the five bucks in shipping. Take Kyle's recommended advice from years ago that we've never strayed from that's mm -hmm. helped us all. The Tadalafil is the Cialis uh, uh, formula. Uh, Kyle says that's the best one to go for. And I am inclined to agree with him. It works like a charm. So check it out. Bluetooth.com, promo code PKA. Just pay the five bucks in shipping. And I believe you get three uh, Tadalafil pills to to try out and see how much you enjoy it. And you will enjoy it. Dude, they're so fucking awesome. Enjoy your twice in a row day. today before the show. If the, our previous sponsor put me in a package, it would say, this guy fucks. And it's, yeah. thanks, to, <laughs> and it's thanks to Blue Chew. This guy fucks. I like that. We gotta, we're going to tie them all together. And when Woody's <laughs> fucking, he's coming like a man, folks, because lock and load. The premium, premium ejaculation increasing supplement taking the internet by storm. Let's start saying taking the adult industry by storm okay. because I bet, you know, we need to, we need to find a, a porn star who's, who's oh, using this, this so that we can, you know, interview him and he can be like, we need to sponsor an athlete. Wild. We need to sponsor an athlete. That's exactly right. Kyle, who are your, just off the top of your head, top 20 male adult film stars. <laughs> uh, I like, I like father long. He, uh, he does a whole Christian bit. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, his his uh, my favorite porno is called Come All You Faithful. It's uh, oh. it's a re it made a big splash at AVNs this year. Yeah. Are you making yeah, this up on the spot? Yes, I am. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <pretty good. laughs> I bet if you search that up, you'd find something. Not only did I offend a guest, but it was funny. Let's <laughs> <laughs> bustle it down so she has to. That's that was a yes. far floor. And we just I think that's an <laughs> eagle. That's <laughs> an eagle. Look at you using your golf words. <laughs> Lock and load, incredible product. Muscle down the nine pills a day because <laughs> that's what it takes to get an efficacious dose. You think that we went to Derek and said, hey, we want to spin something around real quick. No, we said we need these amounts in there because we need this to increase the nut. We need to be nutting more, mm. lots of nut. And so we got the formula down. All sorts of, of, of science goes into it using Derek's expertise along with Kyle and my uh, market research and you get this wonderful product, Lock and Load. Code PKA, code JIZ, get 10% off Lock and Load or mm. protein powders, energy drinks, weight loss supplements. There's a million products over there, each of them efficaciously dosed on Derek's site, linked below, GorillaMind.com. And you can get 10% off of all of it with code JIZ or code PKA. I'm almost positive code JIZ is still active. So go use code PKA and code JIZ. Make us, make us look good on Derek's site. And it's the best tasting protein around. Best one around. Now they've got new flavors. He sent me a salted caramel one. I think that's salted caramel. Is that right? I haven't tried it yet. I'm still going through my my last two vanillas. Code PKA, oh, Code Jess. Caramel. 
I like salted caramel too. 2,660% of your daily vitamin E. Yeah. Covered, boys. I'm That's what fuck. you need. Vitamin <laughs> vitamin E Jack. That's what it is. No more. Yeah. So That's check it out. Your me. your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your boyfriend. We don't judge. We just want you coming more. We don't care as long as you're having having a good time with your loved one. We want you. We want you busting hard. We want both of you guys having a good time. So check it out. Lock make great up. stocking stuffers. Halloween's just around the corner. Get those Christmas cummies. It's it's. Uh... You put them in the bowl for the kids. <laughs> well, <laughs> well don't do that. Loads. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Keep it an and adult, take it an as adult directed. Halloween party with other adults, men and women. <laughs> yes, or for adults. Uh, product for adults. So check it out. Lock and load, PKA, jizz, 10% off. Fucking do it. Also, PKA 20 if you want to get high. And what was the other one? PKA regular, no number if you want a nice hard dick. Yeah. Yeah. Are we finished idea. with the ads? And we're done. Oh. All right. You, you seemed like you had something you wanted to roll to. You're like, are we finished? Because I got like a thing. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was misleading. I, I didn't. Oh, well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, are we I'm done? Sorry. Is this over? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so is that uh, on horse meat? I, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, before we go to the horse meat, I sent okay. a video on the WhatsApp. Did you see Tito Ortiz on like TikTok or some shit trying Dude, to slice an onion? I watched it. <laughs> I was just, I, I got halfway through and I was so goddamn tense. I brought Jackie Anxious. over, full screened it, and we watched it together. <laughs> yes. I've watched it 10 times. I've sent it to everyone I know. So for the uninitiated, Tito Ortiz, former UFC fighter, he was he was Champion. smart. He was dumb before he got his brains beat in for an entire career. So he's a slow fellow now. And he's like, I'm going to show you guys how to, how, how I slice an onion, my style. And then he starts to like, Chop it, it's like slicing this onion that he's like poor, holding very poorly with this big fucking knife that you would maybe carve a roast with. And he's already been cut. But yeah. as the video begins, keep in mind the music, I think it's from 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's this music that's very anxiety um, building. It's <laughs> and it builds and builds with the with the, with this craziness and he's chopping toward his fingers and <laughs> at his fingers he's already been cut when the video starts and then he cuts himself and you're like wait did he, he cut, cut himself, himself? In the video? yes you're like wait did he cut himself i can't really and you see a little trickle of blood and you're like yep he's bleeding into the food he's bleeding into the food right now and this was his best cut of this video <laughs> 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 like he clearly tried another onion before this and cut himself and was like, ah, no good. Look no at good. him concentrating in the middle picture. So hey, hard. Both of the right picture. Yeah. This guy is using every point of IQ he has. And as someone onion. who knows how to slice an onion like the correct way, like both the restaurant way and sort of the home cook way, this is not at all how you slice an onion. It was so bad. He's and like someone... holding the onion and making like a checkerboard, basically, but it's very dangerous the way he's doing it. I've never cut an onion in my life, and I can tell that's not it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's, that's no. not it. No, Tito Ortiz always, always just hilarious. Uh, no matter what he's doing, he used to date uh, uh, Jenna Jameson, right? No, he's married to her, the uh, the porn star. That was one of my favorite uh, Chael Sonnen bits of all time. It, it, Tito says to uh, T Tito said of Chael Sonnen, ah, he made his whole career using his mouth or whatever, running his mouth. And Chael's like, the only person I know that made a career using their mouth is Tito's wife. And Tito, and all Tito could say was, ex-wife! <laughs> <laughs> I, and it's like, oh. I'm not sure I'm right. I remember it differently. He's like, there never was no wife or something. Were they not married? I thought, I think I got it right. Um, okay. I'm pretty sure they were married uh, and then divorced. But uh, But yeah. Yeah, Tito Ortiz. Just a real knucklehead. And my favorite home chef, if he got a cooking show, I'd watch it. I'd, I'd be way more into his cooking show than, like, I don't know, watching Emeril Lagasse or something. Mm -hmm. who's the only home chef I can think of right now. <laughs> My grandma was so obsessed with Emeril Lagasse back in the day. It was like, it was on all the time. Just, you know, he was the, he's, the, he's the guy who goes bam and throws salt on shit. So it goes a little farther. But uh, so it, I, I was on target. Tito said there never was no marriage or something. And uh, Jail corrected the <laughs> record later. It says Tito wanted you to know that he impregnated her, but never actually married her. 
he corrected oh, no. that statement. He wanted that known. We have kids together, but I never married her. We live in sin, goddammit. Okay. I did not marry her. <laughs> I'm sure he he tried to get alimony from her, but it didn't work out when he found out he wasn't actually married. The jail just continued to rip him. That's pretty wild. I did not know that. Um, the UFC's got finally like uh, got a little got made some plans. Uh, Leon Edwards is going to fight Colby Covington for the for the belt. I'm I couldn't be happier. Like this year in MMA is going my way, the Kyle way, if you will, mm-hmm. almost perfectly. Valentina Shevchenko got a 10 eight, and and it almost works in her favor because the fight was too close. The fight was too close. Um, that the 10 eight is what made it a you know the draw and not a Shevchenko win. Mm-hmm. But still, the fight was too close for comfort anyway. So nobody even is talking about how close the fight was. They're like, what the fucking judge was doing? Dana White's like, that guy should be investigated. They're having a seminar about 10, 8 rounds this week. I hope he pays attention. They're telling me that he's a good guy. You know, he's not a, nobody, what he means is he's not involved with the mob. Like, like mm-hmm. that's what he's kind of implying. They're telling me he's a good guy. So I'm going to believe that he was just an idiot. But, uh, but we'll see. And he's like, everybody's so mad about this that's all they're talking about it's like damn that was too close so they're gonna do the the three peat you know the third fight even though grasso has the first two wins that's the worst thing that's really happened everybody all my other guys are winning and like i don't care what race a fighter is if they're going to be a champion i really like you appreciate that they speak english and they be eloquent and if possible entertaining like like Funny, be boisterous and silly yeah. be goofy if you want whatever your bag is whatever your your shtick is like be good at it Colby Covington's that fucking guy. He's the guy who's just, he's been, he sat up for a year and eight months, I think, Woody. A year and six months? It'll be a year and eight by the How time they finally he fight. Hurt in the mass he wasn't hurt. Assault. His he was, watch he, was broken. Exactly. His watch was <laughs> broke. I think what, I think he struck a deal with Dana White that basically says, okay. you get a title shot next and don't take Jorge, Jorge Masvidal to prison. And uh, I, I think they made some kind of a deal like that or something because I don't I didn't know I didn't hear anything else out of that. And then Colby didn't fight for a year and a half. He waited until it's time to slide him in against somebody he can dominate because I think his wrestling is good enough that Leon Edwards can't handle it. I think he's gonna just I think he's gonna he's gonna take the belt. I I, I I'm gonna bet on him with my buddies if I can. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's going to be like so many. It, I think we talked about it before that most of the male champions might be white at the end of the year. If Stipe manages to somehow beat John Jones, then I know. Right. But, uh, but, but that would be the case. I am. Yeah, um, it's, it's been a great year with the UFC. I don't think Colby's going to win. No, here, I want him to win because he's better on the mic. He's funny. I want a champion. I want a world where Colby is champion and gets that much airtime, but I feel like he's a worse Kamaru Usman than Kamaru Usman is, and Usman lost to him. Okay, but I I feel like Usman and ring rust. Get caught. I feel you. All those things are true. Although it's not like Leon's fought lately. He hasn't fought since he yes. kicked that guy in the head. Uh, so I I like his I like his chances a lot. I think he pieced Masvidal up. I know you 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 don't think much of that, but mm-hmm. he also touched up. Uh, um, uh, Usman quite a bit, and his wrestling is fantastic, and uh, I can't wait to see it. I just can't wait to see it. Either way, but the lead up Usman to it, quite a bit. Score, it's a weird way of phrasing really lost twice, but true, true. But 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 you know, it, it's there's a, there's different ways to win to to lose. There, there's some losses where it's I think like, he got oh. knocked out the first time and decision the second time. I think. I think um, you're right. But you know, I'll also concede he looked pretty good in those fights at times. So. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I, I love him. Man. He's he's the MAGA guy, and it's MAGA season two. Like the time is yeah. perfect. Yeah. It's um, and, and while we're on the MAGA, uh, we we talked about it a little bit like the, the bet or anything. What is going to happen to Trump? Because I look, I don't pay much attention to it because I it gets tiring. It what it seems like to me is all of the senators and co- the Congress people on either side are very quick to to lie to you and tell you we got them. We got them this time. Everybody listen Hearing up. That for four we years. got them. Left and right will say that sort of shit about whoever the fuck they don't like. And then the news media is so willing to eat that bullshit because it sells every time. They be, they're like, oh, press conference. Senator fucking Hatch has got them. So we're going to all. And then so I, I, 
I feel like the the guy who's not impressed with the eighth version of swine flu this year. Every time they mm-hmm, come forward, it's mm-hmm. like, no, I've heard this before. You've always got them. You had aliens last week. You had um, a, a fucking senator. You had the president's son the week before that. You got Trump every week for the last 10 years, it feels like. You've had him. Uh, but but this time, it, there's so much Trump stuff piling up. Like It, it just feels like he's going to go to jail. It seems I, there's four cases. I don't know if I can rattle them off off the top of my head. There's the New York one, the Stormy Daniels thing, where basically, it, all right. So even if he loses that, I don't think there's yeah. much of a punishment, especially because he's Trump, right? For you know, sure. you, you got to be careful about locking. It's the up. document okay. stuff. Not just that. Um, the documents thing. He's got a lot of problems there. They one, he's guilty. He's just really guilty. The documents are there. He said they weren't. He, he just held on to it. And he's gone done. He's gone done. All these press conferences where he kind of admitted to having them and said, I'm allowed to have them. This is it's like murder's okay for me, but it's not. And so he's kind of admitted to it. And then they have text messages. And there's some dicey stuff like coded messages. Like there's a woman that worked for him who's kind of flipped on him and talked about the things he would say. So he would give codes like, Hey, Kyle, you don't know anything about those boxes. Right now, what I'm telling you is I need you to behave like you don't know the contents of those boxes, even though she totally fucking does. And we'll see what the jury thinks of his, you know, his sort of easily decipherable code. Oh, I see. I see. So what do you think, though? Like, like what do you... But, My pre- and- well, I've got one more case. There's the Georgia thing where a couple people seem to be flipping on him <laughs> already. Uh, one guy's Lynn Wood. He was like an attorney that got disbarred for his actions. Well, he was going to get disbarred, so he retired right before they were going to, you know, he kind of voluntarily yeah. disbarred himself. And uh, he appears to have flipped on Trump. And then there's Mark Meadows, who appears to have testified again. And uh, it looks like he's going to lose both those cases. So my question is, are we really going to punish him for breaking the law? That's not, I don't know. I wouldn't be shocked at all if he just got away with it. If they're like, all right, guilty of fucking 91 felony charges. Suspended sentence. Suspended, suspended sentence. sentence. You know what? Back Home arrest time. until Friday <laughs> or something like that. That's my question. I don't know. That really, even the people on his side aren't claiming he's innocent. They're claiming that an Executive ex-president privilege. should be able to do it. Like, you know, oh, it's Banana Republic stuff to prosecute him for his crimes. Mm-hmm. But they're not claiming he's innocent. They're just claiming that we should look Frozen. the other way. They're saying, let it go. Let <laughs> okay, go. yeah, yeah. That's so that's what, that's my whole point. It's like, yeah, he did it. Let it go. Just, just let it go. Let him run because that's the best thing you can do for the country is just let him run. Because he's going to run either way. And if you try to stop him, it, I, it seems like it could get messy. That try to stop is interesting, too, because in Colorado, they're trying to determine whether or not he should be on the ballot. So it turns out after the Civil War, they did this thing where like, hey, look, if you try to overthrow the government, then you can't run for government anymore. And there's an argument that that's what Trump is all about. So depending on how Colorado decides this, there might be a handful of other states that decide that he can't be on the ballot there, too. And that hurts his chances. Speaking of Colorado, did you? I'm sure you saw the video of Lauren uh, Boebert getting like felt up and like jerking her date off through his. I mean, pants I think the real crime there is she had a tan dress on. If I learned anything during the Obama administration, she can't wear tan clothing. Lauren no. Boebert's got some. I, big I had old really, I had really no opinion of her until that video, and I got to say, nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, a child that's, friendly. That's screen. my president. Oh, First of all, dude. I liked the vaping. Everybody's like, can you believe she's vaping at Beetlejuice? They allow children in there. Dude, everyone's wearing nightgowns and t- suits and tuxedos and shit. There's not a kid in that building. Get the fuck out of here. So the and pregnant look, woman I don't behind care her asked her to parallel stop. between that and that it. counts, right? The pregnant woman <laughs> behind her is like, hey, can you stop vaping? And she's like, fuck off. She's like, no, I'm giving a hand job right now, you dumb square. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See, if the pregnant woman had been and dress, in front of told her, you. That's it. So you can x-ray those. What are the tan dress is the perfect color. Is she Colorado? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a shame it they is, photographed yeah, her with a piece of paper. I don't know. What what, what is this? Did they, this is an artist rendering of what is this? Oh, 
because the a piece of there. paper probably security <laughs> camera this is like someone's <laughs> memory like <laughs> yeah yeah so i think everyone knows this story but here's the deal she went to this uh musical of beetlejuice it sounds like a movie but it was a musical and prior to the show she was vaping and after the sort of the lights turned down she was singing yelling which maybe is i don't know whatever you could let that go she was also getting felt up by her boyfriend and it's the felt up is funny because he starts grabbing her boob and she does like one of these things to like really give access. He's like, yeah, get get that titty. Yeah. And and she reached across and grabbed his dick over the clothes, but she was clearly grabbing his hog uh during the musical and doing he was side railing him. Yeah. <laughs> and uh I, I you know, like I think I maybe I'm a square. I thought a the movie Bangkok theater was a little packed for that. Like th- there wasn't an empty seat there. So He's on her, the end though, and she's leaning she over. He wasn't. Oh yeah, okay. So I guess he's on the end. You can grab the hog yeah. somewhat discreetly. And we're all right? fucking adults in the dark. So like, look. First of all, that's no behavior for a congresswoman, and certainly not for a lady in public. I will say it's not a good look because she's Mrs. Wow. Like do things the right way. <laughs> Most yeah, of the yeah. Time. That's that's my yeah. biggest issue. I'm glad you said that. She's been fucking Bible thumping me for four well. years, lady. If you want a good marriage, you chase Jesus, <laughs> and your husband will chase you chasing Jesus. <laughs> what are you do a Bible thumping? <laughs> and it, it, you're that? telling me that these people don't actually have sincere beliefs, and it's an act. Um, you're yes. telling me that she <laughs> she goes I, on and on about her love. For say Jesus. it ain't so. <laughs> and every time she takes the mic, and uh, you know, here she is, fucking grabbing the hog and at a Beetlejuice musical. I, I didn't Go know forth she was and apparently... be plentiful. <laughs> it's I mean, true. Look, and that and thine to... stroke thy man's cock at the Beetlejuice. <laughs> uh, Give him, make him hard as the Lord hardened. I, you know, that heart. must be Book of Mormon. I, I don't sure. like <laughs> the, the fact that she Bible thumps and maybe that's why I'm mad about her. I but I'm does, telling I you, if it was Hunter like Biden do it, hate. I'd just be saying how cool he was. So I, I'm you know, I, I can't go too hard on her. Wasn't now, wasn't the venue going to be chill at first? And they were like, oh, uh, well, you were just kicked out for the vaping thing. And then she argued about it. And that's yeah. why they released the tape. Yeah, she, she denied vaping at all. <laughs> wah, wah. Like, the, that's yeah, pretty bad. she said that she was kicked out for supporting the arts and singing too loudly. And uh, the audacity to know you were doing that and be like, show me the tape. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> like, it turns Actually, out they had to upload the tape. While we're it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I did yeah. not. Now I, I didn't know oh, also this part she, about um, her being rude and loud. That is that's much more. <laughs> it's a musical. They were kicking Damn. her out. She was doing the whole "Do you know who I am?" and flipping Everyone the bird to everybody songs. involved. So she was really classic. I sing all the songs. Really? I don't know the words. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's not very polite. <laughs> You're. It's not like a concert. I I don't go to musicals. But I imagine I don't want to hear to. it. First of all, the big the titted bitch in front of me singing. I want to hear the, no one can the gay man on I'm stage. Drowned out by the fact that I'm at a musical. It's a show. Like they're so loud. They can't hear me. Just... Oh. Nobody. Well, sings that was what jumped out at me. Is I thought Everyone okay. Sings. I'm I'm cool with no the, one. I, groping hand job. I am confident in rude? saying I've been to the most musicals. I don't know how many musicals I've been to. No, I've never heard anyone sing. Yeah, really? that's my thought. The- is like that seems rude. You're you want to hear? No, we all clap and stop. The alternative lifestyle <laughs> then, dancers sing. The and you know you got the plastic to keep the watermelon from getting on. You? <laughs> that, that, that Kyle knows. <laughs> you know, I would go to a musical if it was kind of like medieval times, and you got a Cornish game hen, and like everyone gets to eat <laughs> while you're watching. I guess that was the only part of medieval times I really have a, a strong positive memory about I'm is getting to man. feel like you, a just king. Just give me a chicken. Like, like, wouldn't that make you feel kingly if they gave? If they just went ahead and went all out? You know what? Give me a four dollar chicken. Just, just is, is that insane? Like, just give me the whole fucking chicken. Or like, put a, put a turkey leg in both my hands and then give me a servant to dab me. Like as I'm I would, ripping into both. Of I'll them. tell you what I would want. Here's my restaurant. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I want to be able to dip that turkey leg in the multiple gravies. Though I want like a big, I want large bowls of dip for the turkey, like because they're dry. Yeah, of course that you'd have gravies. I want to, I want like a spicy <laughs> mustard, and uh, 
maybe an au jus of some kind. Like this is my sauce. fantasy. You can have any sauce you want. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. What do you think, Lindy Goon? Did you, did you see him? Did you see her getting handsy with a handful of hog? And did you think Side railing. that's my president? Or did you think, I, I don't know about that? that. Term, she was mashing it. What it means. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm that's when your dick of, is hard and it's gone down your leg I she's, she's rubbing it against your leg that's side I, 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 was, I was perfect description I knew what it was <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> yeah, side railing, right? that's it yeah. that's why in congress she's always asking for a sidebar she didn't understand what, what she was <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm honestly kind of on the woody train of that initially i was like there ain't no way this is real like watching the video i'm like ain't no way this is this is impossible but yeah if it was like a dude like if I, if it was a friend of mine and like he got kicked out he's like bro check out the footage i'd be like that's the funniest thing ever yeah. i'm so glad that happened to you yeah but because <laughs> he's either. that's a pro maneuver <laughs> <laughs> treating it like a gong right like yeah right <laughs> But because she's well, been because harping on that stuff for so long. Lord, she has a career of Bible Like an archaeologist afraid a little bit of history might be lost if you're too quick. <laughs> there, there, there you go. Wait, is she a... She's, she's a big Bible one? Oh I my always, God, fucking yes. Who's that, yes. Uh, the the uglier one? Who's That's my girl. That's Marjorie your... Taylor I Green wouldn't want to see know. her jacking someone off. Of no, no, no. I don't want to see yeah, her I need doing to see anything. First Side railing. By, no, none of that. Yeah. Um, I see the Lauren Bober thing no different than if we saw Lindsey Graham jacking a guy off in a theater. You know it's happening. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like it's, it's, it's okay. It's not the first It's okay, time Lindsay. Just, last. just be gay, Lindsay. It's okay. Yes, I agree. <laughs> but yeah, I think Wendigo was going to say that it's the Bible thumping. It's the hypocrisy. Well, it's goes. it's like, you know, you're you're supposed to be a public figure you're supposed to be a representative for people it's different if my buddy like chuck <laughs> does it right like you're you're but your people chuck! are supposed to look up to you you want you want yeah. like, you know a place of power like don't don't act a fool it's fun for a teenager to do but like come on <laughs> i'm a little yeah i i feel like if it was like a matt gates or something i I'd let it slide a little more or maybe even think it was funny because he doesn't bible thumb me he doesn't sit here and pretend he's chased um if it was bill a younger bill clinton anyway like i would have that same vibe but you know it's I, I, I think i'm a little i think what it is what he like the only difference between like my opinion and yours is i'm a little skewed on politicians i just feel like they're all hypocrites so that part of it doesn't bother me that much oh not it's as it's more so just the office as a whole that i'm and like, that's not even the core hypocrisy up. the core hypocrisy uh in, in this case is that she goes after the um the the trans reading tour strip shows or oh, whatever gotcha. they take children oh, right. to these days to be hip and cool. Um, <laughs> she thinks for some reason that you shouldn't be showing children your penis while reading the Wizard of Oz or something. I don't know, some sort of crazy right wing. It was the Wizard of Paws, and and they're saying the Wizard of Paws. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. Um. I'm gonna yeah, yeah. She she goes on about like. What about the children? Protect them from the drag Write queens all yeah. the time. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make a product. I don't know what we're selling, but it's called the Wizard of Oz. Story. Wait, I'm going to come up with a character, the Wizard of Oz, next week. And we'll, we'll, we'll debut him next episode. But, but, by, but by the way, like of all the musicals to do that during, Beetlejuice is like top 10 funniest. <laughs> like, is it that, like Shrek, that? I think, <laughs> and like those, those are up there. <laughs> Get out of my swamp! And you're like jacking someone off. <laughs> Did you guys watch the Russell Brand thing at all? Yes, uh -uh. yes. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I don't, I don't really watch buy, any because stuff. as don't much buy, as I okay. enjoy the idea of 3D chess being played occasionally, and I do see it, I see it more in like, people promoting themselves online than anything else. But I don't think what has happened is, as some people would say, is that Russell Brand made this whole switch to a right wing um, sort of kooky, kooky guy on, on the internet calling out the left for COVID this and uh, freedom of speech that all because he knew that there were going to be a sexual accusers down the line, maybe even today, maybe a year, maybe five years from now. And when that day came, he'd be able to say, aha, you see, I told you the truth, and they came after me for it. They did what they always do. They mm. framed me as a sex criminal because that is the weapon of the left. 
That is the Me Too movement, uh, you know, gone awry and weaponized by them to silence me. Some people would say that he saw this coming when he made his sort of media personality shift several years ago now. In case you don't know, lots of stuff on YouTube where he's ranting in sort of an Alex Jones kind of way, but a bit more grounded and with his Russell Brand accent stick sort of entertainment kind of thing. In uh -huh. reality, I think he just raped four or five women, allegedly, allegedly, and they are coming forward now, um, you know, because the dam eventually breaks and your publicists can only keep them at bay for so long. Then your lawyers can only keep them at bay for so long. Then, like, the, you can only kill so many of their pets before they're mm -hmm. not just intimidated anymore. Now they're mad at you and they're proving a point and they don't care that you ruined your life, that you, if you ruin their life, they're going to tell the truth about you. I think a little bit of that happens every now and then. And sure. so there's like four or five women saying he raped slash did something else awful to them allegedly, allegedly. Some of the rape is a little bit um, fun. I, I don't. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to describe it wrong. That's and not like the word. Borderline rapey. No. But like, there's a girl he had had sex with before. She said condoms, and then what is it called? Stealthing or something? Where he like? Yeah. But this one isn't even stealthing. But he held her against the wall and forcefully fucked her. But oh, they had, had a relationship before and after that. So they're like, but she was like, no condom. I said, no, this was never okay. This was a boundary that you crossed. It's rape. But maybe kind of you could, like, I don't know. He had some dominant tendencies in his sexual behavior. And, but the no condom thing, I think is what she was like. That I mean, was always meant to be a no. Austin Powers said it best. Okay. Only sailors and homosexuals use condoms. <laughs> there was another girl <laughs> that he was face fucking hard enough that she had to punch him in his stomach before he took no for an answer. And That's she was subjective. 16. Objection. <laughs> how are we to know how old? much throat fucking would an issue, you know, call for a punch from this young lady versus any other? <laughs> I didn't like the fact that one of the victims was 16 uh, and a virgin. Um, so that what that country feels... was that? What country? Go ahead, Kyle. Happened? Make something out of that one. What Go ahead. Um, <laughs> make Russell Brand, <laughs> dude. Uh, he'll um, find a way. Like, I don't know <laughs> if you know this or not, but Russell Brand ain't from around here, mate. He's a little yeah. bit different across the pond, eh? It Perhaps? was legal. It's sixteen. Legal it's it legal was. there. She can consent to anyone, and uh, God save the queen. She argues she didn't, but you know, whatever. It it was kind of yucky. Doesn't but, he have like a? He's like admitted. Like what? what he, make one like up. Make one up. He can't fucking... maneuver around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to make a video. Um, all right. So, like, I Art first Kelly's of all, Kyle, there. I didn't know that there were people who thought that he orchestrated his current youtube channel as a defense against this eventuality that seems retarded let me jump yes. in his defense is that they're coming after him because he got too close to the truth that's probably what his excuse is going to continue to be yeah. like but it's a little silly they have a lot of text message it's damning wait what, what, what do you this? mean by what do you mean by truth are you talking like uh QAnon type like Plan government Dimmick, truth or he friend. did so you need to Plan ask Dimmick. him what he means by truth but he's an anti-vax kind of guy okay I and see, he's I kind see. of a so right yeah that that whole flavor of sorts yeah yeah i can't say he's QAnon, but he probably lines up with some QAnon beliefs yeah, yeah. Heard okay, that okay. Shit in forever QAnon. Kind of, kind of nostalgic, season. isn't it? <laughs> It'll come back. We got we got sure silly don't. season coming up. Sure we got don't. silly season coming on. Someone will start posting on. Someone will start hey, boomer baiting on fortune again. In Mexico, yeah. who cares about QAnon? Olé! <laughs> or maybe that's part of the QAnon. Those Mexicans. Yeah. Look, Mexico, get your shit together. First of all, mm -hmm. it should be telling to you, Mexico, that a significant percentage of Americans think that the term Mexican is offensive. All right. That's the left. They think it's offensive to say Mexican. That's what they think of you. That's the left in action, by the way. On the other hand, if you ask the right wing <laughs> what they think Mexican's of you, they offensive? think of you as hardworking, sneaky folk. And there's nothing wrong with either of those things. OK, I'm a um, little Mexican guilty of people. That. Go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like, hey, are y'all Mexican? You may like, hey, dude, keep it down. Not to the. I feel like Mexican <laughs> and Jew, for that matter, are things I have to use gingerly. But they're not mm. racist terms. No, you're just, just describing what people are like, Mexican, people are Jewish. But like, if you say that guy's a Jew, it feels. It depends a how like you say that. If you go, 
that guy's a Jew. I've been told I say things, things wrong all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I like tiptoe around and execute you. If you're screaming at, at the, the grocery store, pointing at someone with a yarmulke, that guy's a Jew. We get you. Dude, I don't say that. He's right there. It's just Jew. Right? That's fine. Yeah. But if you were saying Harley is Jewish or Harley is a Jew, that's not mean. You're just saying what he is. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Mexican and Jew. Like both. Dick Masterson is like Mexican. You use carefully. If I say Dick Masterson is a dirty Mexican, then you could say, oh, that's mean spirited. You, you didn't. But know. it was the dirty in there that made it mean. Depends if he's dirty. What if he's dirty? Then that would be a. Maybe he was just gardening or something. What There's if you were trying to say he's a dirty that? Mexican? He's a dirty Mexican comedian. Now I'm sure he showers daily, but he is a dirty Mexican comedian. He is. Filthy, see, there's a lot say. of ways you can you can say it and have it be totally fine. Hmm. Sure, I think so. How can we? I make forgot it where I was going with this. It wasn't about <laughs> racism at all. I promise it, that Woody took us there. Um, what does this did. have to do with Russell Brand? No, you did. You said people say Jewish is or Mexican is a. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. I, I definitely took us there with the Jew I, yell. I, like, I think, <laughs> I, said, I think I had a slam for Mexico. Oh, then, yeah, your fake ex aliens are so fake. You're like the Mexican version of fake aliens. What was that like, about? Like, like anyway, it's so embarrassing. Like, yeah. like I, I saw that video. What was that? They're you so claiming that's real and, and presenting no new evidences. They they fucking X-rayed him or, or, or like they they ran into a fucking scanner. The, the two the, little the plaster MRI. little guys. What like they're a metal like detector at the airport? Tall. Yes, it looks like Mini Me's skeleton, and they're they're like running it through an MRI, a Mexican MRI. Jesus Christ! And then <laughs> claiming that they're real and that they've got Mexican resonance imaging. I like to think they don't have like forty year old technology. <laughs> Imagine a it's Mexican a... X ray. Do they have those? <laughs> <laughs> Mexican resonance imaging. Let me take a good look. <laughs> and that's an alien. <laughs> that's, what, that's what they pulled out of uh, wings when he got his surgery down there. <laughs> oh just God, that's that. what it was. That's his calcified twin. Yeah. <laughs> that was Donnie. He was a good one. Donnie. A to be Those yeah, did, did you have so people fucking stupid and fake? Your skeleton behind you right now legitimately looks far more realistic as Sexier. like a fake body than that, that used alien live. they brought forward yeah yeah, yeah. did you have people in your community wendigoon being like do a deep dive on the alien when and that like, that you remember no. that senate hearing that happened like yeah. i want to say it was last month sometime yeah. and that you guys may have talked about it on the show but when that dude was up there like there's non what do you say non-human remains recovered in the ship or whatever that that guy that whole thing yeah. my yeah. Yeah, my mentions for like a week straight were nothing but why aren't you covering this what's your problem do you know something we don't why aren't you <laughs> talking about and it's it was literally just a guy like a dude who worked on a military base he's like a friend of a friend of a friend mentioned that um might be aliens you know y you ever think of it that way and everyone's like oh the government's confirming they're aliens it's like i don't know if you've ever talked to someone who works in government but they're not god <laughs> like <laughs> there's a pretty high area of a, a air chance <laughs> with things that they say so it, it was just some guy um but yeah, the like the, the the Mexican one, I still am having trouble believing because I've seen those videos. I'm like, this, I'm getting punked. There's something wrong here because it's literally like plaster ETs, like this big. It's yeah, I don't it know. It looks it's like, so like weird. Weird. and so fake looking. If they had just shown me like a big weird octopus thing that that didn't even make any sense, and and they'd been like, look at this. It's it had a glove on. Or, or like, look at this. It, it's it, it has meta. It has when in the X-ray you could see like it had implants or something around mm -hmm. its brain. You'd be like, oh shit, what is that? What is that thing? And this is a fossil. What? But they showed me those little Halloween store guys. Yeah. That look so fake that I know that a high school class could duplicate it or improve upon it. That wouldn't and even any be special a. effects group could could make something so much better looking. I saw this fake Russian video of an alien once and it was supposed to like dead in the snow, like fresh and like the leg was gone. So you saw like inside of it, like flesh. And I was like, that could be real. I mean, I know it's not real, but like that's what look a real, real one would look like. Maybe 
You know, I don't know what the inside of an alien looks like, but I'm buying that that's what it is because I can mm. see like muscles and bone and sinew. They used an animal in the making of whatever they did. <laughs> like, <laughs> that I looks mean, more realistic better. than the one they had at the Mexican. Yeah, government. my alien's yeah, no better joke. than theirs. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Woody set that hillside behind me there on fire one time. I did. It was how'd you set it on fire? I was shooting a. Sh- I was trying to shoot a paint can with mm. a shotgun that had dragon's breath in it, so that I the see. paint can would catch fire, and the dragon's breath was landing in the field back there. And I mm. knew that I was making little fires, but I thought they'd be easily stomped out. Yeah, I may have overestimated the difference between the fires and my cardio because <laughs> it was a challenge <laughs> <laughs> and it was hot. <laughs> and I'm running from fire to fire. And the fires are growing, right? Once a fire gets to a certain size, it becomes a real problem. And uh, <laughs> <That's a great laughs> is that from Glenn Beck's wave? Glenn Beck ran a fucking article about me on how I was an irresponsible gun owner. So <laughs> <like> a <parent. laughs> yeah. that piece of shit, Glenn Beck. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway, I think Kyle eventually came up with that cooler that had water in it. Because what was happening when fire gets to a certain size, it gets really hard to put out. Yeah. So, yeah, that wasn't me. So uh, <laughs> I would stomp it down to like 80% gone, like down to 20% of its previous size, and then move on to the next one. Why did I take it to zero? Well, the next one was getting too big to handle. So I, I was just sort of playing whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole. All sort of grew back up. And uh, once we got water involved, oh, they hilarious. stayed put out. After that, I started bringing... Um, my dad has a PTO powered sprayer for his tractor. It's mm, a big okay. tank. Call it. It's hundreds of gallons, maybe 300, maybe 500. And you've got a wand and it makes a ton of pressure and shoots forever. So we just use that thing as a fire truck after that. No matter how mm. big of a fire you made, mm. you could put it out with that thing. It's no problem. I, uh, I, my dad set a hillside on fire once with dragon's breath. That's, I feel like that's a pretty universal experience for people who shoot dragon's breath. My dad's was funny though, find out. because he was like, we, we, it was like a lot of rocks on this hillside. And then there was a hillside adjacent to it that like, uh, had like grass or whatever. So he, he I was shooting it the whole time and it was fine. He's like, oh, I want to see that. So he fires it at a rock over on the rock and you can just see like a little spark go boo. <laughs> lands mm-hmm. over in the grass sets it on fire so we're laughing at him and the only thing we had in our truck with us was golf clubs because we had just got done golfing so he takes a club and he runs down there and he's beating the grass with it so of course i'm laughing my cousin there he was laughing we we're all yeah. cracking up and at one point he's out of breath and he turns around to us and goes help me <laughs> So we all get golf clubs, ran out there, just we beat the, that fire into submission. It was a great time, but yeah, like a nine iron. That's, yep, a, yep. that's not a great tool for it. I feel like you'd just be chipping little bits of flaming <laughs> grass. That's what, it was like the, the firemen thing where they like build a ditch around a forest fire so that it doesn't spread. It was like that going on, but with grass, much less dramatic. <laughs> that's. I've hmm. I've never started a fire on a hillside, but I've never shot a dragon breath round, so that actually lines up. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the theory. I've started a lot of fires on hillsides that had nothing to do with YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were just I, bored. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, like just making fun. Fi- yeah, fire was always fun. Um, I I started a lot of fires growing up, not to in like a creepy way, like yeah, watch it burn, watch it burn, but just having a good old time, just wanting to see what would happen if. Because we would often have trash piles, um, or we'd pushed up a bunch of old trees and soak in those things with like five gallons of gasoline until the vapors sort of fill in all the hollow places in the trees and and everything, and then throw in a flaming torch at that. It's a crazy explosion. It's a lot of you feel it. It sucks all. It sucks the air toward it because it's just such a big instant flame. It needs oxygen. It's like it's real cool. Hmm. I, I didn't sound, do that, but as a kid, I used to start campfires all the time. Just random days after school, I go into the woods and start campfires. I loved it. it. I was a Boy Scout, and they taught me how to do it. And it was like, you know, you can, you don't have to even go camping. You can just do this anytime you want. Yeah. <laughs> and sure enough, you, that was true. Do I could do the fire way. without the camping part? No way. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. I, I still love it. I'm... I'm Ever since I was a kid, I was like, if you go camping, I'm the campfire guy. I like it. I always, I don't want to say I take control of the fire. That makes it sound like I'm an asshole, but it's it's more like a service I provide. I didn't It'll get to make fire one there. fire on the survival trip every single time. 
Woody's over there. <laughs> that might be true. I was, I was, was tipping. To? I was tipping once, and he, and he came and he ran like a baseball sli like sliding into home <laughs> and went and went. And it, it was, before I could even stop him. Didn't no, you no, also get true. like very <laughs> ill on that trip though? Uh, that's trip number one. And oh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, Woody put something in my water. Uh, Woody was in charge <laughs> of filling the shit. water bottles it's on that his trip. Fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he put turtle shit in my gotcha. water. I don't know. That was yeah. that was a was terrible, funny, terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I know when I finally, like six hours later, I stopped in Anderson, South Carolina, at a Jack in the Box, and I was like, <laughs> I finally felt like I could eat a little food and i just ordered french fries and when i ate them the top of my mouth broke out in sores and i spat them out and went well i guess we won't eat tonight <laughs> whatever's wrong with me is really bad <laughs> that must have been so terrible. Awful. yeah we made the, the right work. call to leave it was raining as we the walked true out. survivalist experience we were so. yes we're walking out because the river likely will trap us on the sort of finger that we're currently existing on our island or wherever we are and 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 if i get any worse then we're stuck and now we've actually got a problem problem like medevac him out or something but i, I or i die or i just i probably just try to man it up and probably be <laughs> okay die. but it would, it would Bro, be terrible oh my if fps I, I russia remember. died on the trip that wing skipped out of <laughs> oh. Oh. Woody would be a millionaire what would be a millionaire what he would have been like he, like, like, like he's hits that footage. He's got the blanket bundled around him and like a cup of steaming cocoa. And she's <laughs> I tried to get him off. <laughs> I stand until my hands went numb and I lost You're... consciousness. My Help sense me. of direction is so bad. If I went to get help, line. I'd be like, I don't know where I left him. <laughs> I'm just not good at that. It wasn't me. You're, you're being taken off in cops. It was the Muppet Man. It was the Muppet Man. <laughs> <laughs> muffin man killer. <laughs> and I still remember on the on the walkout, we'd already crossed a river at night um, to to get. We're leaving, and we crossed the river in the darkness, and we're we're walking up the other side toward our car, which is I don't know how far away, maybe twenty minutes, maybe, maybe ten 4 minutes, four thirty a.m. or something. It's midnight. I I remember it. I remember it being like midnight. I we the left at out. Like midnight. I don't know. Sure, it's the cars. Yeah. Yeah, but but we're on that walk, and I remember we saw some frogs in like mud puddles on the, and, and you were like, "Oh, look, frogs!" Because you're still in the mode of like, maybe we'll catch and eat one, and I'm just splash, 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 splash. splash. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm like, yeah, frogs. <laughs> I'm thinking like, I don't think I could eat bread. <laughs> I, if you had like, if you had some warm salting crackers with peanut butter on them, I think I would. <laughs> like, like gag right now and then these frogs in the puddle are oh look kind of frogs <laughs> you like that don't you boy <laughs> just flash 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 like the cars are this way woody i think the cars are right over <laughs> i still have never eaten frog legs but but that would have been if we'd seen those frogs earlier in the day they'd have getting they'd have been it um, the second trip was was interesting too. Um, I've always said I will never do a third one without. I don't know. You'd have to pay without, us. Wings. It, without wings. Without wings. Without <laughs> wings. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's that, you know what? On, honestly, after like the Lol Cow podcast, the boxing match, and all that, you might be able to get it. It's possible. He's had. I think he. Of course, I've never met the guy, but it feels mm. like he's had a change of heart a bit recently. You never know. Um, what I would say is that. That was, there are a lot better, um, there are things that would be better for video purposes and content creation purposes than mm -hmm. us going out into the woods. Because I'm telling you, we've done that a couple of times and we inevitably sure, get out there and sure. we're like, shit, yeah. now we're here. We're mm -hmm. starving. Let's conserve our energy by doing nothing all the time. Yeah, no, now we we're bring, here. We yeah. could bring board games. I could teach you guys to play Magic the Gathering. We could do that for hours okay. and hours and hours. Now, and if hours. you're talking about, wouldn't it be candy? funny if we were there with absolutely nothing to do and I still wouldn't learn Magic the Gathering? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, remember what game about it? We no. played the fuck letter game. Like, like yes, I say apple, the fire. And you say blueberry, and he says I spy something that begins with say, T. Three, fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's you, isn't it, Taylor? It's you. It's, it's me. No, Taylor you, or the tree. What would be a lot of fun, I think, may, again, may, Wings probably wouldn't be down for something like this, but just like content to a similar degree between creators. Yeah, Are you familiar with like the board game Hunt a Killer? Like how that whole thing works? No. Where it's, 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 it's a subscription like, service, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a game where you're given clues to a murder. It's like a game of Clue, only instead of it being a board game, you're given like notes that have like, newspaper reports you have to get clues been, from I've, done, your... I've done shit like that yeah it's fun something similar to that but i've wanted to do this for a video for a while and i don't know how exactly the logistics of it would work but if you had a game like that only instead of it just being like oh here's all the peeps is let's put it together you spread it over like a pretty large forested area you were to give like grid coordinates that people would have to figure out with like a compass and map how to get to and then there's like multiple red herring routes that they could track between stuff like that i think that would be a fun way to get woods content out of something what do you think you ever, i'd try it well so here's the thing <clears throat> You know, we would struggle with an escape room. So <laughs> sending us into the wilderness with a map and a compass. Remember when we I, did struggle with Woody an knows room? how to use a map and a compass. <laughs> I would wager that he has some training. But the average person so probably long. thinks they know how to use a map and a compass and navigate. Maybe a, like like not a geological oh, map, a topographical it, yeah, yeah, topography yeah. type map that's showing Correct. like elevate. Mm -hmm. You don't. I don't Correct. think you yeah. do if you think you do, unless you were in some sort of program. Now, I, now I've taken I've taken classes and training routes on how to do it, so exactly. I understand how complicated it is, which mm -hmm. is why it would be great content. You, you don't you, you misunderstand, Kyle. I'm not expecting people to do good <laughs> at this test. Uh, nay, nay, nay quite the contrary. Looking pretty you fun, can get that. <laughs> I won't do what, that well either. What what you would do, like like just just make us walk to the top of Kurahi, but there's nothing up there when we get there, and then watch us blame. <laughs> Like, no, you <laughs> translated it. You said you had all three pieces. Wings is like, there was four pieces. I had one. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that kind of shit is funny. We're like, we thought there were three yep. clues and there was a fourth and we've walked to the top of a mountain. <laughs> With wings would take an hour. Like, and, and, and look, I've hustled up that mountain before. It, it doesn't matter how fit you are. You, you know you just ran up a mountain. It sucks. <laughs> when did you yeah, guys that, do an that escape would be room? Cool. Uh, I I we there. went to Colorado, Colorado like oh. seven years ago Super or something. Bowl. I would love an escape room. I think it was like I'm not a, a particularly good at it or anything. I we were we were well way made... too high, and we <laughs> we it wasn't a good sense. escape room. It, it wasn't, wasn't a good escape, escape room. room. We were very high, uh, and I think all of us lost interest. That's their quickly. fault, not ours. That's the, there. The, there look. weren't like dungeons or mm. chains on the wall. It was kind of just like escape this Manila boring office <laughs> yes. room. It was bullshit, and yeah. and I, I immediately wanted out. But I was staying to humor everyone else, and I was kind of gauging everyone. Like, and at a certain time, the temperature of the room was that most people were kind of done with it, and then I just sat down. <laughs> because I did. You were a, a terrible for morale. <laughs> I, I, I would be there for people but nobody really wanted to be there to begin with and i think i don't remember whose idea it was but it was a great idea but that one in particular blew because like you said we're just in a room full of like like oh maybe we put a, co a coffee table here and under one of the cups would be a clue yeah yeah write that down fuck you send me to like a place that looks like a haunted mansion send yeah. me the whole place that has a wine orchard in the back and that I have to explore. Send me to a place with cornrows. Send me to a place that has it all three of those mean. things and a cellar. Make me work for it. I would love mm -hmm. to do a bed and breakfast and scavenger hunt, like like whatever the fuck type thing. Mm -hmm. That I'd be mm -hmm. into. But I don't want it to be way too easy. And I don't want to be way too hard. With she, at one point, she's like, she's over a microphone and like a speaker, like it's fucking high school. Yeah, you, you, you're running out of time. And I'm like, I'm fucking counting on it. <laughs> you, know, you, you, you want me to what you want to do is lift the the third candlestick it's like no nah, i'm good no nah, i'm good <laughs> I, I, I see people start lifting the candlestick and i'm trying to discourage everyone from playing along i'm like <laughs> no just fucking tell it do you care does anyone care what could possibly be at the end I of this other than this a room right now that says you that win. window yeah it's not was, actually locked guys 
Like we can just, <laughs> we can just leave if we. I was I, I do remember, most like it's from a western. Yeah. Kyle, she I do remember said, at the end you of want to know how. Yeah, Go at ahead. the end She's of like, it, you the person know how it came in and was like, "Do you want to know how how it completed? Like where you ended up because you were so close." And Kyle just went like, uh, "No." <laughs> like just no, like he had no interest uh, in it, and I I remember just kind of being like, yeah, because I, I mean I she out. was clearly excited about showing us, and so I'm I like, think I walked out. I you did leave no as soon out. as that door came open. You were like, let's go back to the Airbnb we had a and get much higher, better yeah. escape room experience. I, I liked it. it, and I I wish we did better. So I went with Chiz and there like some other Woodycraft staff. We did like a team oh. building thing. And uh, it was a pretty good escape room. Like you guys described yours as manila. It, this was like, I think they built this log cabin out of seemingly rustic wood. And there was like Ooh. a cadaver open and, and stuff. Like it was pretty cool. Mm. And um, uh, find old Rufus's gold. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Apparently we made it get away, but we solved about two thirds of it in like a quarter of the time. And she's like, these guys might get it. Like, we seem like we, we came out of the gate strong. And then the other third and the three quarters of the time, we couldn't get it done. We didn't win. Yeah. I, I don't I, even care what theme it is. There just has to be a theme mm-hmm. with like a, a backstory. I need a prize because we're all working together for a thing. It should be a thing we share. And <clears> it should be a discount or a T-shirt. If we get a lobster <clears> dinner <throat> after this, <throat> let me say this. Let's say Let's say average is 50 minutes on this thing an hour is a passing grade if we knock this bitch out in 30 this should all be free and we should get a dinner yeah there should be tiered rewards let me ask you this kyle would this be a suitable price because it was would have been ours okay this is a popular escape room a thousand groups have tried it and there are like two groups with their pictures on the wall that beat it oh shit you want to be one of them i mean yeah i guess not honestly no no, no, okay. I don't. Want, I, I kind of like, want picture, picture on the wall doesn't interest me in the slightest. But but like any sort of depends how fat I plat- am at the time. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that I suppose. Yeah, let this moment I'm in good live shape. In oh, I didn't get that with the picture. I thought it was you were choosing between a meal and a picture. <laughs> no, no, well, I don't want my big fat too. mug up on there. We'll go like, wow, that fat idiot did it. Why can't we? <laughs> because I'm not going to work hard to get my picture on their wall because I don't fucking care enough to care because I don't care that those pictures. Did you look at the flax and like, oh, look at it's him. just what a trophy. He, what was he thinking in that moment? <laughs> in that moment. <laughs> like, no, nobody cares. He was thinking but lift they, the third candles. <laughs> but if we well, he was thinking lift, look under the bottom, it, I, I'd need a prize. I need a prize or something or somebody to beat. You know, we're all working together. Ooh, yeah, for yeah. Thing. I need another team to beat. And I, I need someone to lose for my win to matter in the slightest. How about this? You get out first. They're trapped in the room for an extra hour. The, in their mirrored room. Your that's group a gets dangerous out first. fucking game. Now, now everybody's trying Six because you're going to straight up working. miss dinner. So like six teams are working and every time a team loses 15 minutes mandatory added to everyone's stay. Oh my God. No, every time a team wins. Oh, every time they win and do stages. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, like all right, now we're doing the vineyard. The this portion is the vineyard. Old Mr. Taylor has hidden a bottle of wine, blah, blah, blah. And then like they think they've got the clue, but they take off into the vineyard, but they don't listen to that last second, like your teacher from middle school. And it's like, disregard everything above. Here is the bottle you win. Like, like one of those. I always yeah. expect one of those. And never, I've never had that happen. I always read all the instructions. I've stayed at the end of every movie hoping never once have I been rewarded by the you stay to the end, Kyle. You read all the instructions. You don't have to do a test. Get a 100. No one ever did that to me. But I I heard that story in like second grade. And so I think that's a lie they tell you. So you read instructions. It is Hmm. total fibbery. They're not actually doing that. Wendy, have you done an escape room? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a uh, typically if I'm like hanging out with a group of friends and we're in a town or whatever, we'll go do one. I've done several. Ever I've be done one? Adam? Uh, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever lost one. What? Typically, I'm in a group of like five or six people. Uh, the, the only one I technically lost was there's one we did in Cincinnati, 
and we got to like it was like a serial killer's house i think was the theme so like you found like murder weapons cool. and stuff there was one part where like i was in another room and i pulled a lever and i heard one of the girls in my group scream in the next room and what had happened is when i pulled the lever a skeleton dropped out of the ceiling and landed <laughs> on her which was very funny um but we got to the last step and uh we opened up a box and there's nothing in there and then the timer ran out there's like three minutes left and we're like okay i guess we lost and then the woman steps into the room she's like yeah the key to the last door was in that box we forgot to reset it here you go and then i took the key and just opened it and it was like a button that was like you win and i'm like oh okay <laughs> well i still want that still counts <laughs> want, yeah, we, got, yeah. we got the box yeah. open so yeah that's I haven't lost administrator one. error yeah, exactly exactly i can get yeah. i can get frustrated with that stuff too I, like in video games like I really don't like puzzles most of the time. I've got to hmm. really care about this game if I'm going to sit here and turn knobs and pull candlesticks and try to figure it out. Baldur's Gate was the first game in a long time that I gave a shit enough to do about, do all that stuff. There's a lot of that in, that, in there. Well, the but, problem with like puzzles in games is often I feel like you bastards realized you didn't have enough content and so you added like annoying little things here to slow me down. Like this isn't fun having to wander around a Skyrim dungeon and like the difficulty being the darkness won't get light enough for you to physically see the icon above the, cause that's how it used to be like playing Skyrim in 2011 on my shitty little mm. uh, TV in oh, my college yeah. dorm. I remember being like, I don't know how many times I have to spin mm. these goddamn pillars with the whale and the crow and like, and <laughs> oh I didn't, my watch, God, it, I I didn't watch any videos of how to do it. And so I didn't realize there were pictures above them, right? Because you because you can't you couldn't see with the coloring of it. It it's was just you got too the dark. first puzzle wrong. The first puzzle is the one where they say set it so you can see this one, but not that one. You set the gamma. I can see all of them, bitch. Turn the lights up. I'm not here to play Skyrim in the dark. Now when I play games, I'm just <laughs> like it's like everybody's washed out. <laughs> because, because I, I don't I don't puzzles. want the whole game to be puzzles. Scorn. The whole game is puzzles. The no, whole no. game is puzzles. Mm -hmm. uh, if I it's know the weird whole game is biomechanical, puzzles. creepy. That's fine. It's a puzzle um, Giger like artwork. Everything's fleshy and disgusting. It's real gross. Scorn. Uh, the puzzle. It's nothing but puzzles. The whole puzzles game. in Doom are so easy. I didn't realize they called oh, them right. puzzles. It, it's like, oh, there's two levers. You have to press them, uh, like without much time elapsing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. Oh, it's the world's easiest puzzle. Some of the secrets <laughs> are hard to <laughs> press X twice. You you got it. Well, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know. There's tons and puzzle tons master. of secrets in Doom, but even most yeah. of those, like you'll you'll be like, oh, okay, just all right, I'll go over here. Uh, but Doom's such a good game. I, I wish they would. It seems like that's a series that you could easily make a good movie about, but they haven't. There is a movie. Do you think it's bad? There's a movie with Carl Urban and The Rock, and it is really, really bad. And it has almost nothing to do with like the source material. And the enemies yeah. aren't like Doom enemies. They just turn everybody into zombies. Basically, there's there's two or three Doom enemies, like real quick. But mm. but The Rock turns evil out of nowhere. Um, <clears throat> it's it's a bad, the, bad movie. The lore for I agree. The lore for Doom is really, really cool. I, it's a shame that no one's made anything like that because, like, the original Doom movie, like Kyle Sarnbot was just it was standard Even, like, trash two thousands film. Some internet person I watch said it was good, so I thought it, it it's good. good in the way that like there hasn't been a lot of just I want action, I want stuff to blow up movies in the past few years. So it's fun mm. in that way, but there's not like a cool plot or. It is it bad in every to... way. It is not a faithful adaptation in any way. Yeah, they shoot the yeah. BFG three times, once off screen. Um, it's not even the BFG anymore. It's like a plasma launcher. It just shoots go goopy acid at everything or something. Yeah. The, the whole story makes no sense. You don't have the enemies. You don't have the the, the, the correct story. It's just... And The Rock is... Pressure. The Rock looks small in that movie, too. The really? Rock looks beatable in that movie. Like, I feel like like, like he's like the third toughest guy at the he's in the not bar beatable. In it's movie. in his contract yeah, that's true <laughs> that's true but carl urban defeats him in the end uh, and in that movie I, I, who uh who of course i love in everything um he's he's in the boys as uh when does that come billy out? butcher really soon billy butcher soon right mm -hmm. Gotta be. Oh, yeah, it's got to be. I'm pretty sure because yeah. they're high, the the cycles for the advertisements are starting back up on it. 
So I can play as Homelander in Call of Duty, and I think maybe oh, even no. Mortal Kombat. You can in the yeah, it's in the first DLC pack. You can play as him. The new Mortal. It Kombat. says early 2024. Okay. Uh, okay, I found two sources. Early 2024, no confirmed date. That's not as soon as I thought. The more I see the way that like Call of Duty goes with stuff like that, like Homelander, Nicki Minaj, and whatever, the more glad I am I'm playing Tarkov and stuff because like it's, <laughs> they've gone so far off the mark, it makes me sad. Uh, see, talk- I got really. T- I got really turned off to Tarkov when I saw that sort of expose like video where the guy showed how many cheaters there were in his lobbies. Yeah. I have a theory about that guy. I, I won't, I won't say this like for a fact or whatever, because I understand people value my opinion for some reason. I feel like those numbers were fudged. I've been playing a lot of Tarkov and there's only been twice that I've ever died and been like, yeah, that, that was totally not my fault. That was a cheat. Okay. So I hear you. I have had the exact same experience. The cheaters aren't killing people. So the cheaters are by and large <clears throat> coming in and scooping up ultra valuable loot the or loot. ranking up yeah. or or in some cases they're just running through the task to sell the account, mm-hmm. but they're going through and sapping the resources and if it's some it it'll take you so long to find say a lead X if 60% of your raids have a cheater in them who will just go and vacuum it up and there's already That's only going to be one lead x and a hundred raids like mm-hmm. right. now there's right. zero you it really i've only been killed by one and like been sure of it maybe a couple times i have twice had cheaters come to me say hey, oh, oh, oh put it away i can see you through the wall or fly above me and go hey kyle <laughs> and, and i'm and and like are you the real kyle like like and and talk it out with them and and every time they're like i kill cheaters that's mm. what i do now you know they ruin tarkov <laughs> for me so i ruin tarkov for them you want some cheap shit? and i'm just like yeah and just <laughs> starts dumping out like <laughs> Um, whatever that green sniper rifle with I'm I'm blanking out, but like thermals and thermal yeah, goggles, yeah, yeah. quad nods, like like slicks, just a blip, 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 you know, making it rain. Just like take all this. And I'm like, I can't carry all that. He's like, <laughs> what's your extract? And he picks it off and carries it with me to, to extract while we chat about <laughs> his hobby of ruining Tarkov cheaters fun. You know, a lot funny. it's uh so that's how I know that game is so full of cheaters. So full. And a lot of them are kids who will try to ruin your day. That is the worst kind. And if you just get shot in the head in that game, you don't you can't really tell if it was a cheater. Sometimes it's like a good player. That's what it feels like. You just get turned that's off. Where I'm stuck. Yeah. I, I, I've had a time or two where I'm pretty confident I was killed by a cheater. Like like we were on interchange, hiding in the dark. And <laughs> if you if you know that map fear, at all, fear. <laughs> <they're>, <laughs> we, we were hiding in the dark, and we hadn't moved for like a long time. Call it 18 minutes. And uh, the guy marches straight over to us and headshots us. And I'm just yeah, like, I, yeah. that, I think I, I think that guy knew he's a Taylor. Nailer. Here's where you yeah. and I could have some fun with Tarkov. Um, All right. It's it's playing it not in the way that I traditionally play it, which is fucking nose to the grindstone, acquire, acquire, yeah, I'm not gonna do complete. That. Mm-hmm. No, fuck all that. You can do silly things in that game though, and, and bug people and bother people. And role play. There's a lot of role playing you could do in that game, and it can be really funny. And you can get some crazy reactions because you have voice. You can, Wizard of Paz. Mm-hmm. You can talk to them. You can be the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a song for that. <laughs> um, I mean, that would be fun. I've, I've been playing. I've been playing the it. game before and come across like groups of guys. We're like, tell you, oh, good sir. And it's like, mm-hmm. it's like, are you wilt thou fire upon us? Like, they're speaking old. And I talked to him, it's like five guys with the MP18, like the single shot. Uh, it's like the musket of Tarkov. And they're yeah. like, have you seen any red coats this way? <laughs> like, <laughs> they're colonial role playing in Tarkov. Yeah. Like, that's fun. I saw Pastilli dress yeah. up in the, uh, there's a flak jacket type thing that says press on it. And I forget what else he had, but like he, he made it look like he had a microphone and a little UN helmet, and he just interviewed players. <laughs> no gun or anything. He just starts interviewing people. I'm a, I'm a war photographer. Yeah. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor, if you have if you've played the game enough, then the silhouette of a player who's not who doesn't have a gun out is very recognizable. Like, mm-hmm. mm. It's like you've seen a hundred sharks look the same, and all of a sudden one of them's got like an extra fin. You're like it like really catches your eye. You don't shoot him right away. You're kind of inquisitive a lot. If you're experienced, most people probably just shoot him. I'm sure he gets that a lot too. But you can upset people tremendously in that game. 
And and you can also goof around and uh it can be scary. I've had some of the scariest like heart pounding and I've never been so angry at my friends as when they fuck up in that <laughs> game. Like fish, I've had screaming matches at fish. Like like all right, Aww. never again. That's it. <laughs> I'm never playing this fucking game with you again. No, that's fucking it. Never. Don't you let me play with him again. <laughs> he's he's not lying because I heard him do something similar playing code names with fish. Yeah, <laughs> where you yeah, were I'll like, have a goddamn that's meltdown. what that clue was supposed to be. <laughs> In what world was that the right clue for that? You Look, people said- need tough love. People need tough love. They they don't need this fucking uh, baby babying you around and tre- acting like dude. You can real time fuck up. like. Kyle is solid at code names, and so every once in a while, though, you know, what we do is we just randomize the teams, and sometimes you go on a good win streak, sometimes you go on a big loss streak, and if Kyle gets like four or five losses sequentially under his belt, you can like hear in real time the the exasperation of like, all right, guys, <laughs> all right, this is the one, this is the one, and then the, they'll send out like, ocean for one. Or or someone will send the same clue twice, Ooh. and you'll just say like, "I'm done." You know, after this game, guys, I'm calling it. I'm calling it a night. We I'll talk to all some of you later, and then <laughs> they just disappear. I get really invested in games. Like you I do. care, I care, and and so that means that if you let me down, I'm upset about it, and I'm going <laughs> to let you know about it. And 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 look, yeah. that's what. What's that coach that goes through your cell? I go through all my players' cell phones, okay? <laughs> before, we, before we play code names, I go through your phone, make sure that you're the kind of person I, I can trust to play code names with. If it's a bunch of memes and shit in there, that ain't going to cut it. Oh, I, I wasn't with our group. I had a, a couple really banger clues the other night with some friends of mine. That's such a fun. Have you played code names one again? I have not played code names. It is. What, what is, that, what is fun, the game? What is it? You got to come in and format. play it with us in our, in our Discord. It, uh, Basically, it's a word association game where there's okay. 25 words on uh, pieces of paper, and there's only one person who knows which words out there correspond with the red team and the blue team. And so if you're the red team clue master, you're attempting to give words, a one single word, that will direct your team to selecting the red words, but not the blue words. Mm, and so okay. there might be, if there's rabbit and fox and lion out there, and my words are rabbit and fox. I can't say animal because you might pick the animal rabbit. that lines up with them. I so you, you would need okay. to. It's like a vocabulary word association game. And if you know people who have like similar pop so, culture. So if you wanted to, to do like, say, you wanted rabbit rabbit out of that, you'd have to say like herbivore, right? Because you were tr- you're trying if I want to rabbit and, one. But we want rabbit mm-hmm. and fox. We want to double up because we're competing. Uh, to, I see. To do this. I see. So, so we, if it was like so rabbit, say, fox, and then so we whale, say American whale would be a bit wrong. So it, we want to say like okay, Amer- gotcha. we want to get to American animal or something like yeah, that. Yeah, or like yeah. you, it, or like it op- can only be one word at a time, right? One word. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it can't so be maybe, American animal. You'd have to be no, like, it can't. you have to find a word. Indigenous. Sort of so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. And so it gets yeah. hard quickly. And, I see how that'd be fun. Uh, it's okay. fun. Yeah. 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 That sounds like a fun. good time. What? People get mad at each other so quickly. And I like any good this, game. <laughs> playing, with random, <laughs> playing with random teams makes it more fun to watch us play mm-hmm. and to be there as a third party. Playing with a picked team makes it fun to play. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay, that I, makes sense. Yeah. Sometimes I'm just like, all right, who's the who's the oh, you're the code giver. Isn't English your second? Le- <laughs> <laughs> that, guy's, that guy's from the Czech. What's the Czech Republic called now? He's from there. <laughs> He's from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy's you, from you Myanmar. Definitely... Or is it Burma? Who are <laughs> Killing Fields Place? <laughs> the same level as us these memes and shit. He doesn't know which Batman is which. That, that sounds like a ton of fun. Absolutely. <laughs> it's really fun. Uh, alcohol would make it better if if we had to like drink on losses mm-hmm. or, or something like that. Um, especially if we played for word. That's like a negative like, feedback. Point, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> point differentials. That's how you play a game like that. Because frankly, if you lose by one, it's it's like you barely lost. It, it, it was so close if you lose by one yeah. point. It's like, oh, if you miss this word, then it's their turn, and they just insta-win. It'll be that close to the games most of the time. Every now and then, you'll blow somebody out by like six fucking points. And so 
That'd be six shots of beer or something like that. Like the game could get sloppy yeah. quick if you play point. And every once in a while, like someone gives such a brain dead clue that like everyone is working their head around trying to ra- like like a word out there will be Eiffel Tower and someone will like put Spain as the clue. And you're like, <laughs> OK, does this person maybe think the Eiffel Tower is in Spain? There's or nothing is this some elaborate here. multi-level like? <laughs> yeah. And did he misspell? Tell, yeah. Did he mean stain? Did he mean stain glass? And you're like trying to get these crazy reaches. Like maybe yeah, he didn't yeah. mean Spain because you can't ask him. That's right, part right. of the deal. Interesting. He's okay. got to sit there. Like I like it when we got our videos on because I got to sit there. Like they'll be like Kyle wouldn't mean this, and I'm like I absolutely meant that. That is exactly <laughs> what I meant. And like I'm thinking like. Come on, guys! Didn't you hear the one guy in the one guy in the background, the guy with the little voice who's not as socially like adept? There are big voices, alpha talkers, as what is Woody uh, calls them sometimes in these mm-hmm. voice calls. And then there'll be this little guy. I mean, he'll be like, "I know the right answer, Kyle. Say that." I'm just like, I can't say. Everybody, pipe down and listen to Little Joe. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I just gotta sit there like. Oh, so the person who gets the word can't believe, allow, can't say anything yourself, else. Little Joe. No, you can't say anything. You can't. Wow. Give feedback. You can't like, like off if, the one way no. or the other. Okay. If your gotcha, camera's gotcha. on, you have to sit there kind of like this. And if they're like getting it wrong, you have to try and not re- react it. to it. It's because, like Kyle said, sometimes like you'll mean to send them to ocean, sea, whale, and you know. Saw my biggest and error. then like, like someone will game. say all four of yeah. those things and you'll be Perfect. like yes they're in the mix josh just said all four of them and then someone else who's like more contentious in the game will take umbrage with one of them for the simple fact they want to and they'll be like <laughs> well, i don't know about salt for this it could be racket and it's <laughs> like down, no don't stupid. do that <laughs> they go like multiple layers deep like you got to imagine that the fr- if we're trying to get three words to associate one of them's gonna like, oh yeah, okay, fucking dolphin and mammal, okay, like marine mammal, like definitely that, and then like, okay, salt, because salty, salty, like salt water, but this last one is just hole. Did he mean blowhole? And I'm like, yes, I meant blowhole. Yes, do not start thinking about because over here there's this, and in this, yeah. the, over I've here there's had so- people- and a type of Dude. soldier is a marine. He- <laughs> uh, no, no, worse, worse than that. There's a guy on my team. He'll go, well, in and he'll say the name of it. In this obscure Japanese manga that I read, there's a character named Nidioko, and he has a sword named Red. Did Kyle mean that? <laughs> And meanwhile, <laughs> Kyle, is, Kyle is having an aneurysm on camera. Like, no. no, Kyle did not mean the obscure Japanese manga that you re- you and only you read. No, I did not mean that. What, do you really believe I mean that? Are you trying to raise my blood pressure right now? Do you have a bet with somebody? Who paid you to say that, you fucker? Like, are you, what's going on? I'm getting so you. mad now thinking about it. It's it was such a fun like game. That. It's so, it's 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 such a it gets you turned and frustrated so much faster than you think a word association game could. It's I'm down. It's a I'm down anytime. That sounds like that sounds excellent. Absolutely. We'll play. <laughs> and you get cool, the cool. beauty of it is is a lot of games like we're playing Monopoly and you jump in. You're like, yeah, in a couple hours, I guess, or maybe tomorrow. Or, but in this game, it's like, yeah, join the blue team. Like cool. join the blue team nope, right nope. now in the middle of the game. They'll catch mm-hmm. you up. And 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 it doesn't matter if you if, if if the teams are uneven, even dramatically. I'll play with my three against your six. I don't fucking care. Mm-hmm. It's it's more or less the same shit. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, tippers. The reason it's fun is because people get mad. I'm one of those people. I don't care. But some he people, get so mad. some people get real mad. Um, I don't think I get. Yeah, real you. Mad. I, <laughs> I, I get real mad, and I yell. And I curse and I call people names and I fucking mean it when I say it. Why do you think you've never done that any of the times I've been there? Um, you've probably just been there when things because he's winning. Well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no matter what you do, I will never give you a hard time or razz you. Um, so I might even turn to like family and friends night, like if you're there. Um, cause, and just not try hard because not because you're not good at the game. It's cause you've never played it before. I mean, there was one point where it was like your first time ever playing with us 
Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of reasons, maybe. It could have just went well. If it goes well, then I'm a real fun guy to be around. <laughs> yeah. But if it's going poorly, um, and, and, and a couple times it was my fault, which makes me even madder than if it's your fault. Um, a perfect example of me, it being my fault, I'll do a thing where I don't read the whole board. They'll be rushing me because I take a long time to give my clue. And I'm just like, okay, this, I'll give my clue. And I'll be like, oh my God, one of their words works perfectly. So, so they'll be like, well, of course, eyeglasses. Let's click that first. Let's just get that out of the way. And it's like Ben Franklin is the clue I, get, I gave because I didn't yeah. see eyeglasses. I've got like founding, I've got like founding father, lightning and fucking like Kite. syphilis in, in mine. Like three Benjamin. Yeah. But right there was kite and I didn't know it was there. And they're all going to. I look like an asshole. And then if they're not keen enough on the game, they don't go, OK, let's recover. He either didn't see it or he was okay with us getting one of theirs. It's still Ben Franklin. They'll get completely frazzled and drop the ball. Tw- you know, you know, you see it, you see it all the time in sports. They make one error, and instead of being like, "All right, fundamentals, pick it up and fucking throw it," or mm-hmm. get back in position, they'll make a second and a third, and now they're back there juggling, and yeah, now they yeah. know they're making the ESPN highlights. Mm-hmm. So they're even war, and they just keep just failing because they're so nervous and it's building you don't want that to happen and that's what makes kyle angry and that's when he starts using slurs <laughs> he does i call you ones that don't even make sense <laughs> i'll call you a greasy cantaloupe out of nowhere and you'll scratch your head trying to figure out if you should be offended or not so is that a clue yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, there was angry. on the board was something like policeman arm and nose and i was my clue was human I was like, yeah, that'll get those. And then I hear my team deliberating. They're like, well, he definitely means knight with a K and thief. And I'm like, fuck, I should have looked more carefully yeah. at all the other words. I remember that exactly. I was the one making the case for knight and thief. Um, uh, and every That's one thing I also probably do too much is I, I, I can lead the team astray. And it's not my fault that they want to agree with me for whatever reason, mm. yet more than say like, that little kid who who isn't socially adjusted back there, who's like, I have the right answer. Actually, right. it's ABC. You're charismatic, and you're on the show. Shut up, it Right every time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. It's it. I call it the game of games. I love it tr- so so much. Uh, <laughs> Taylor sent me the 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 home version. I've been goofing around with that. Um, is yeah, it a game? Is want... it? Do you like download it on Steam? Or Even better. Based? There's just a browser link. Oh, so, yeah. Um, okay. Cool. The free browser cool. game. Um, send, you know what I do that I wish everyone and number. Yeah, yeah. This. Dope, dope, cool. That cool. I wish everyone did. I take notes of the game, and then afterwards I debrief. And be like, all right, all right, this clue, I'm trying to get you to choose this, this one. That was just my fault. It was my first time being the word guy. <laughs> you know, human was a terrible <laughs> clue. You guys were right. This one over yeah. here, and it just, yeah, like, oh, I'll, I'll recap a conversation. Like, you know, Taylor, like, read my mind. You know, there's a, oh, it was, um, I think shoulder and hit was the move, but I didn't. You couldn't say hockey because of skate. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And and Taylor just like exactly outlined to the team why I was saying what I was saying. God, nice. Yeah. That that feels so, good um, when you get those. And and Woody is a much kinder manager of his squad because someone can say something retarded and Woody will be like, Okay, okay, I okay. don't think that's it. I don't think that one's it. And like someone will say that on Kyle's team and he'll be like, You shut up. You shut the <laughs> fuck up. You don't talk anymore this round. You shut up. <laughs> not like like almost that yeah yes. like, like almost that. because because i i don't um i don't have time for that it, it's like look I'm, i i know I you have time for, for because part of me thinks they're only saying something so stupid because they're not trying very hard at the game or they're not paying much attention and that's that now i'm a little angry at you if mm-hmm. you're stupid then you won't take too much offense to this anyway. You won't understand the insult. So we're good either way. So yeah, I'm going to razz him a little for saying something so stupid. I'll be, nope, definitely not that because ABC. And also, do you think he knows what that manga is? I don't even know what manga is. It's some sort of weird book that you guys read. Do you jerk off to yeah. that one in particular? It's like a oh, backwards the- comic book, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a backwards comic book. That. See, if that's our level of knowledge, you can't be giving manga clues to us. <laughs> oh, I've had that. I, there was a girl on my team, and she's actually really smart, but she wasn't paying attention. And when I asked her her opinion, 
it was clear that she was talking about the previous round and hadn't noticed <laughs> like that, that, that 10 minutes had elapsed. It was like, all right, yeah. That, we'll but, think about no, that one. Way to play maybe, the maybe game. this round. So as fun as it can be and, 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 and blood pressure rising as it can be to play with randoms, you literally jumble the team. It's like, whenever you mm -hmm. don't know who you're going. When we pick our teams and play for money, that is is so much Ooh. fun. That is so much fun. You, now, after we, we, hearing we them about... describing you get angry and then hearing you be like, no, it's best when there's something on the line. I think I see what the issue is here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, like, like if, if I can, if I've you can play like, money. like duos or trios, we've done a couple. Um, the last time we played for money, we they picked a judge who didn't know how to play the game very well. And mm -hmm. so they made a ruling at the end that cost the winning team the whole thing. They were only playing for like 50 or a hundred dollars or something like yeah, that. Yeah. But, um, but, but yeah, that it would be more fun to play for dollars per point differential. So like if I beat mm. you by three words, then your team owes my team $15. Yeah. Yeah. That would get ugly. I, I would be willing. To, <laughs> after I learned the game, I'd be willing to play for money. Of I think. course, I'm At not least suggesting once. we start gambling yeah. right away before you know the game. Well, sure, you're smart. Sure. You'll pick it up. <laughs> Although you will pick it up. <laughs> Taylor over yeah, here, like, ah, oh, come on, give me your money. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I've you never got played for money, but you know, Kyle can be. I'm the good cop. In the in the you uh, got ten dollars. That's room. one game away from twenty. Give yeah. it. If Let's I get if I get oh. furious, I just kind of silently and I'm like, hmm. We have the Patreon <laughs> hangout <laughs> on Sunday. We should play again. We yeah. Should. Oh no. Um. So what you want to? By the way, um, if you want to come play Code Names with us, join the Patreon. Not right now, unless you want nine days of access. Are you sure it still it works, works like that? It doesn't. I, you can't start mid month. I don't. I. I'm a hundred percent sure it works like that because you do these monthly campaigns. Um, mm -hmm. um it, it would have had to change pretty recently it depends on how you set it well ours is currently set the other way i'm 90 percent sure if it okay oh they just changed it on patreon so you can do it differently okay well we okay we well, work something yeah. out like that so when you join you get 30 days from them because that's so much better mm -hmm. yeah. that does make yeah. more sense and unless now every one of those hangouts the, like everybody's not a member on the day that we time. do our hangouts just know if you join that we do our hangouts on the end of the month so you want to if it is now such that you can join and then just get 30 days of access, then just know the hangouts are at the end of the month. Yeah. In any case, man, we're going to be blessed. If, if you want to come play some uh, code names with us, I, I would love an intelligent person with a large vocabulary. Oh, no. and, and it's, it's important <laughs> that you did well on that standardized testing part, <laughs> you, the word association part. Remember the part where, like, you didn't even know three or four of the words, but you understood the relations and the suffixes right, right. and stuff, mm, yeah. and you formulated a win, or at least you narrowed it down to two bubbles. Mm -hmm. If you're that kind of guy who could take six or eight words you've never seen before and narrow it down to a 50 50 on a standardized test, I want you. I want you. Counterpoint, I'm your Uncle Sam. If you're stupid and you're on Kyle's team, the rest of us think it's funny. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. <laughs> I mean, that's true. <laughs> can, everyone, can everyone hear each other even on the other teams yeah we'll go yeah. private occasionally oh, perfect but for the most part it's yeah all over so the like you're, you're great you're here's what happens that's great that's great yeah you troll the other team so bad exactly like, yeah yeah like, kyle will be like a color and i'm like you know people are colors maybe it's lewis <laughs> trying to make a case for terrible words to the Dude, every team. once in a while you get it good with like trolling where they'll be like all right he gave the clue kick i think he means boxer uh and you commit, uh, punch that, um, and then he need and then I, you throw in like sock sock is out there you sock someone in the mouth that could be i told them good. That and then you throw them sock is on your foot you kick i convinced it. your team that something was a nervous syndrome or something a, a disease of the nerves or of the nervous system oh that's what it was i gave the clue hepatitis to try and lead them to, <laughs> to try and lead them to uh to uh disease and vampire because it's a blood you disease. You told them it was blood a disease. nervous condition. I know Kyle it's a blood was on disease. the other I'm a, team I'm a whore. And, and Kyle was just like like uh they were like, I think that's a blood disease. Maybe he meant vampire, and Kyle troll on the other team was like it's a, it's a nerve nervous disorder. Disease. Yeah. yeah, and then they yeah. immediately went off of that, and I'm just like, <laughs> just curious, <laughs> trying to trying to look stoic so that I don't ruin the game uh, with my my perfect. facial expressions. I, I turn my camera off because I'm easy to read. Yeah. It sucks when you be... like feel like, man, this is a winner. 
hepatitis. This is a good clue for these two yep. words. And then immediately they're they're off the case. And yeah. then you have to, you know, realize like, if they my the favorite case, was two hangouts ago when Gum gave the clue ivory, right? I like ebony and ivory, ivory. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, league, right? Ivory league, which it's ivy, it's not ivory. Yeah. But he did mean that because we were both the same stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but neither one of them went to an Ivy League school, so <laughs> it was you got it right. And I was sitting there trying to show some people on my team how to play for the first time. And I'm like, see, that is an example of of just fuck what just happened. So wait, you, right, thought, right? you both thought it was Ivy League. Yeah. Ivy it's like, like League. Sink to retardation. Like, <laughs> you, you scratch your head and you eat the L. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. They got us. But anyway, it's a very fun game. We'll play some time when you do. We got to get you added. Dope, dope. Enjoy. In the in wonderful news stories, I saw mm, okay. the United Kingdom is looking to ban pit bulls. Yeah, XL American pities as they XL are American bullies. Oh, is yeah, that they're gonna yeah, yeah. they're gonna ban them. Do you know why? Because they're harming too many children and good dogs. Well, this was. There was a specific video I saw recently of two of them murdering a man as he screamed and people tried to get them off of him. And he's just like, ah, ah, and he's just bleeding everywhere. And they're just like, ah, ah, like one of them is on his leg. One of them is on yeah, his They're arm, monsters. They're so how do they enforce it? Are they just going to kill every pit bull oh, they see? I hope so. Typically, <laughs> typically when there's breed uh, bannings like that, they just outlawed the further breeding of it. Yeah. There's a few species what do they do in the U.S. that do that with, like, wolf interbreeds and stuff like that. Those are banned. You remember? I didn't know and, that. Uh, oh, I would be the one to capture the puppy, the puppy napper. Cruella. Come in with that big glove Krill. that goes up to your elbow. No, I'd go around with, the like, the guy in Death Wish just shooting pit bulls. Bang. You've done that with uh, pigs, haven't you, Kyle? Shot pigs? Uh, like, go around shooting them? In Texas, like, am I making yeah, nicer than pit bulls? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Apparently, in Texas, they have such a pig problem mm -hmm. that they've just legalized going around in pickup trucks and shooting all the pigs. Yeah, that you is see. not I'm, accurate. I'm, I'm going on a hog. Uh, hunt it's my story, and I'll tell in, it the way I want to. <laughs> in Houston, if you know the sheriff well enough, out in that county, he will write you a a piece of paper that says that you have permission to shoot in <clears throat> the city limits, and basically, oh. he's saying. You're doing something against the law <clears throat> for us. Now get after it. And so yeah. that is what we were doing. We we were oh. under written permission to do everything we did. You cannot drive in this in the city limits of Houston shooting uh, suppressed firearms in neighborhoods without permission. Right. Who's going to stop like you? That? A good guy with a gun. Oh, nobody could have. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was an M249 saw in the back. Of the there was like eight of us. We all had rifles. Like, like several of us had night vision with like you know IR lasers and stuff. Like it's That's in case hilarious. you don't know IR laser, you can only see with the goggles on, mm -hmm. and it's just it's like a superpower because now you can point and and you at fifty yards a laser is all you need. You don't need optics. When is uh yeah. when is your pig trip that you're going on? Uh, we're trying to do it end of next month somewhere around there. I'm getting married on the thirtieth, so I've got like this. Ah, oh, congratulations! Thank and thank you, thank sorry. you. Sorry, <laughs> that thanks and uh, I appreciate the condolences. <laughs> thanks for yeah. both. Um, uh, and then we're getting uh, so First like time? after I get back from the, <laughs> uh, as far as I know, yeah. <laughs> I meant for you. <laughs> as far as I know, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, uh, I. I that's not your honeymoon, is it? Sincerely, Pink congratulations. <laughs> no, no, I was going to say thank you, thank you. Uh, I was going to say after the honeymoon, after we get back from that, she's got some business trip she's got to go out on, which means I've got five days to go to Texas with some like other gun tube people and go shoot some hogs, so I'm looking forward to that. Nice. I, 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 I built out a rifle to do it with, stuff like that. We're going to do it under non. It'll taking? be fun. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, it's it's right in here. I can grab it if you want. Is yeah. it cool yes. to show stuff yeah, on stream? All right, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah. One uno momento. I Kyle, I'm, I'm predicting it is a 308. No way. He's going to have um, uh, probably a short. If he's doing helicopter, it'll be short barreled, but um, uh, like a short barreled AR-15. I bet he's two, got two, three like for pigs. I bet okay. he's got like a like a small um, like like scope <clears throat> on it, not a red dot. He's got like a three by nine um, 
I'm trying to think of the one from Tarkov in particular, like the Vortex uh, or whatever. Uh-huh. Vortex, yeah, like, like one of those on there. That's that's my guess, and maybe even a shell catcher. Ooh. So let's so see. I've got so this oh, one's we'll my my dad's going with me as well, so I built one out for him. Uh, so this is my go to my baby girl. It's an uh-huh. SR15, a Knights. I'm a I'm a Knights fangirl. I really like the CAC stuff. Oh, so cool. got my Night Force one to eight. Got all my little night vision doohickeys on there. It's definitely uh, a legal peck. Don't look for where a serial number is supposed to be or anything. I would never <laughs> do such a thing. Of course not. <laughs> uh, because like I can load this thing up with robot killers, like you know A1 ammo, and be fine against. I don't know SR15. So. What's the caliber of them? It's an AR15. Uh, the SR-15 is just Knight's model of it. Knight's are oh, the guys okay. who still have the original patent on the uh, AR-15, and they've changed a bunch of stuff to it over the years. This is currently like the Spec Ops uh, or like Special Forces gun of choice. So they've done a bunch of weird stuff to the bolts and the inside. It's just like it's a Gucci out AR-15, basically. Uh, and this is I've had this thing forever, so I'm just going to use that for my dad. I got him this. So this is an AR-10 308. Um, I actually found this on a pretty solid deal, uh, for like the upper, I got that built out the lower. It's a Nordic lower. Uh, it's got a SIG one to 10 on top of it. I'm not crazy about SIGs optics, but I also don't plan to be shooting anything from like, you know, 300 yards or anything. They're, they're hogs will be decently close. Uh, and my dad really likes 308 stuff. So I was like, eh, you know, he'll be right at home. He'll be when you weren't here, we were guessing the caliber. I said 308 and Kyle said 223 or 556. Well, you were both right, technically. I, it's <laughs> work out like that. <laughs> That's a uh, loud motherfucking gun. It that is, one's going to fucking pick is. up more. I've, I've got a couple of cans <laughs> uh, to throw on these. I need to get a, uh, a surefire break. This is a dead air break. I need to get a surefire because most of my 308 cans are surefire. Uh, so we're, we'll throw cans on them, but it's it's not going to help with a 308. So it's still, it's still going to be a real. It'll oh help. It's not going to make it quiet by any means. Um, a 308 Quieter. with a break on it is is something to behold. It is <laughs> it very is, loud. In fact. It's not uncomfortably loud. It's painfully loud. What are you? <laughs> There's a guy from? in the group hurting you. Hmm. <laughs> you from? That you hate by the end of the day because he's hurting. not by the end of the day. Three shots. All right. If we were um, standing shoulder to shoulder, and my head was turned to the left, so my ear is, you know, squared to more to your barrel than than just than to you, and you let off three, I'm in pain. I'm done. I'm walking away. Like, were well, you fucking asshole? Like, why didn't you warn me? It's not so with hearing loud. protection, though, right? You, yeah, you with know. hearing protection. Who fucking cares? You can be in a okay. bomb. You can be in a tank and then blow a house up on top of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's loud with hearing protection. Just checking. You know. Yeah. I mean, I guess some things are, but nothing I've ever experienced. I right. think you just look <laughs> high. You're like, you know, you just turn in, you just get that shock wave that turns your insides to jelly or something if you're hearing through your pro. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't you? What kind of hunting happens? are you going to do? I, you, you may have just said, and I didn't hear it, but are you going to uh, uh, or? It, nah, it's going to be probably stalk hunting. I got a buddy down there, Operator Drewski uh, on YouTube. He yeah, makes yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, that guy. Me and him are good Does friends. Stalk uh, hunting mean you're walking? It means you're walking. Is that, yeah. His Tarkov stuff's really good. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm in a couple of his Tarkov videos. Me and him play together. Yeah, I've sometimes. seen you there. Cool, cool. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Drew's a great guy. I met him on the movie set uh, we went to because he was filming all our behind the scenes stuff. And me and him hit it off really well. But he actually he doesn't do as much now because you know YouTube's kind of taken off for him. But before YouTube, he would uh, as like a summer job, he'd go to like farms around the area and be like, hey, if you pay me like however much a hog, I'll take care of that hog problem for you. So he does a lot of stalk hunting. So I'm gonna go with him. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be with the, that those nods back there wherever they're at the B and VDs. I'm gonna hook those up and do some uh, night vision shooting. Should be fun. It's definitely fair, you know. They're just feral animals, and I've got like you know forty thousand yeah, dollars of tech on me. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it's a fair fight. Him or me? <laughs> anyway, I, was, I was in defense of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I feared for my life. So, rape. I've been stalk hunting Seriously, twice. Anyway. I've been stalk hunting twice. Um, one more successfully than the other. One we only really heard them because they it was so thick that we couldn't stalk them. They would just hear us coming, mm-hmm. and uh, we were just stalk. We were we were walking through the woods with SKSs. And it was like <laughs> Vietnam. It was so cool. It was so thick in South Georgia and mosquitoes everywhere. And and I had an SKS with a bayonet on it because I was hoping that 
they had told us this place was infested with hogs. They're like, you can't throw a rock without hitting one. Mm -hmm. And so I'm down there with an SKS with a fucking clip in it, like a magazine in it, like a like mm -hmm. extendo mag. And we we never even saw one, mm. we heard them. But then in Texas, we were, I, I stayed with these guys once. It was supposed to be a fun hunting trip. And it ended up being like, man, I, I got lied to. Because <laughs> these guys just had, these guys just had this shitty fucking like house, I guess you'd call it, in the middle of nowhere, Texas. And they're like, yeah, that's, that's daddy's old land. We hunt on. And, and you just had to go out there and try to find a pig. And, the, one of the guys that was there was a wild man, and he hunted them in the daytime. So he would crawl on his hands and knees. In Texas, there are these briars and brambles, and he that's where they were bedding down, like deep in those. Mm -hmm. And he crawled hands and knees through that shit till he found where they were bedding down and glocked one. But with a Glock 19 fucking that, that on, a, on a hip holster, pull, draws, shoots one of them, Gets it. It's a goddamn piglet that weighs maybe like eight, 15 pounds. He cooked it in a hub, like a wheel, like the old wheel of a car. Yeah. He made a fire and sat that on top and he was drizzling pickle juice on it while it cooked on that tire. I ate a piece. It seemed rude not to after he went, <laughs> after he crawled through the fryers for it, you know. Was it good? And wasn't bad you know <laughs> i didn't ask for seconds or anything bro that, that, hard. did that guy know he wasn't literally in vietnam <laughs> like, no. so his youtube was a combination of uh bow hunting that was fake and real he's mm. like a lot of my kills real Kyle. a lot of my kills real like this one right, he's showing me his fucking videos. I don't give a shit. I didn't know people <laughs> fake hunting videos before this. And he's just like coming clean to me, like, 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 like that his videos are, are faked. And but he's putting these animals in pins and around feeders and stuff. And then he's like climbing the tree next to like a pin and 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 shooting these big pigs and stuff for, for his YouTube channel. And I'm like, dude, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking <laughs> care. But he really did crawl out there in those briars and glock down that piglet. That was bad. That's intense. Okay. <laughs> That's also where we, um, my, my cousin and, and I, like we were in a blind and the pigs all came out to feed. And it was just the whole, they come in a crowd, like yeah. eight, eight or 10 adults. And then you don't even know what the, what the ages are. It's just every size, like, like, Oh, this one's a year old. This one's a year and two months old and everything in between. They're just, we, but we just opened up on a fucking crowd of them. And I had a 308, uh, like AR-10, really similar to what you've got there. And uh, I think he had a bolt gun. He got off three good shots. And mm. we laid a lot of pigs out like that. you got to be fast, though, because once yeah, you start yeah. shooting... They'll start. They'll just scramble, yeah. Depending on where you are. And you wouldn't want to talk about it publicly, per se. But Tannerite can really maximize... Your uh, your killing, <laughs> your, your killing potential of your squad. Okay, as much I as a belt so. fed, a belt fed would would we get the same job done? But just 25, 30 pounds Does, of tanner right out it, there. Assuming you're on like private property or whatever, like there's no like state issues around it. Since hogs are pest animals in Texas, you could get away with that, right? With no again, like you said, you wouldn't yeah. to talk about publicly for social reasons, but legally. I've known lots of people who did it. I've seen it done. I've seen it done with high X and I've seen it done with Tannerite. I've seen it done with all sorts of, we'll say media added in to add like mm -hmm. extra killing power. I've seen debt cord used to chop their heads off at, at a feeding trough, you know, cause you, you got it set off. So they all have to put their head. Oh under man. A, yeah. A, yeah. A fat load of debt cord. So it's on the back of their spine pressed with a, yeah, to it. And they're all eating their bananas and peanut butter and grain or whatever. And, you know, just that breaks the trough off. too, right? No, it, that what imagine a string basically that they have to put their yeah. head under to get to the trough, and it's just kind of sitting on the back of their necks. That's hmm. deck cord, it's a string I, that's explosive. I have a tech question. Deck cord you, can get used to like breach doors and stuff, it's not that big of a like you know, are these things you're killing pigs, hogs, swine, or boars? Oh, it, it would be it'd be boars. Uh, the, the, yeah, a group of boars. <laughs> Anything called, I see, <laughs> a group of boars is called a singular. I didn't know that, but maybe you could be smart and say, and say, hey, counterintuitive. 
<laughs> if, I, if I'm out there in the that. woods and I, and someone's like, all right, let's go kill this boar, and I'm like, don't you mean a singular? I'm going to get shot. Oh, <laughs> Three or more pigs is annoying. Well, he's I'm, a bit of a smart ass, ain't he? Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's not true. A group of pigs is a drift or a drove. Hogs is a passel drove, or a team. Passel. I've, I've heard old timers say passel. Yeah. And a group of swine is a sounder. I've heard people no, refer to that. as drovers. In westerns, you'd call someone a drover. So that's like calling them a shepherd, but for pigs. I I'm putting together now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that I didn't know that. I'm I'm kind of. It'd probably be easier to shepherd sure. pigs around because they're much smarter than sheep. To right? drove them around, you mean? To drove them around, of course. Yeah, yeah it'd, be, it'd be more difficult, I'd say. <laughs> yeah. More difficult? Maybe pigs aren't afraid of sheep dogs. Well, I guess it depends on the domestic. And drove to your repertoire what, for code names. We're gonna need that. What's so freaky? <laughs> well. What's so freaky about pigs is that they can go feral in one generation, right? So they can go from like mm. a just pink and happy to like man killer and just their offspring. That's what is, I meant by all. Do you know, of the do you know how shocked yeah. those pig yeah, parents yeah, yeah, are? Yeah, fair. The pig parents who escape from the pen and they start <laughs> having pig children, and then they're, they're like, like, "What's, Harry, what's they got happening to this yeah. new generation of pigs? They're nothing, <laughs> right?" To us. Yeah, that, that's that's why the South has such a pig problem because in the Reconstruction era of the South, after you know all the all the farms and like you know plantations were destroyed and all the animals were released, you had all of these farms that have thousands of hogs on them that are now reproducing rapidly. I think the gestation time for a pig's like two months. So there could be, you know, hundreds and hundreds of these things in a year's time. Uh, and then they grow up and they start, they start killing kids. They start tearing up crops. They start wrecking people's houses. And that's why to this day, it's like a pest animal. If you can see him kill them. I, I, I went to two though. different helicopter pig hunting places. I think one of them was like heli bacon and the other was something else. But <laughs> heli bacon. I, you go through the same program everybody else does. And we sat there and watched a video about how awful pigs were to Texas. Mm -hmm. It was like pro they made a propaganda film to get you <laughs> ready for what we were about to go do. It was, that, it was that fucking grizzly. They're like, just so in case any of you who came here to pay $650 an hour or squeamish about killing pigs, watch this. It's like, dude, hmm. we're all here to fucking shoot. Like, we're, we know we're the down. score. Yeah. We're down to clown. And he shows us this video about like millions of property damage. And he starts telling me, do you believe that some of the Houston Texans players' yards were damaged? And I'm like, I couldn't give a fuck less about, about some millionaire football player's goddamn turf being bad for one afternoon until he got somebody to fix it because of a pig. I'm here to shoot, but no, watch more. And so we were making a video for Scott's channel. It's like silly hunter channel. And I was like, turns out they're not that bad. They just cause property damage and eat corn and shit. Let's say they ate a kid though. And everybody's like, what? Let's say it ain't a kid. <laughs> I was like, can you, can you say it ain't a kid with a straight face, Scott? And it took him all day, but eventually he could say that the pig had eaten the child. And, it ate a kid. Like, and then when he's out there hunting, he's like, this one's for Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pigs, pigs would eat a kid. It, it was opportunity that they didn't. I, yeah, I've, heard, I've heard they stories would. like... It's a story for where I was. Uh, uh, I lived up in Kentucky that uh, it was like the mayor of the town my parents were from, or like some sheriff, some boss hog. position. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> boss hog. <laughs> that, um, his children were killed by a hog. Like one day, uh, they were just playing on the front porch. Hog runs up, just gores them to death, just like tusks, <laughs> beats them down. <laughs> Do you like that? Can you imagine Christ. the story? I'm imagining the Kentucky accent. He said, My boy was killed by a hog. <laughs> <laughs> my girl's a kid by hog too. <laughs> my uncle Delmer, he's a kid by hog. All my eyes go by hog. Like, you, what you do ever you mean look you're into a hog, John? Yeah, you gotta imagine him picking a banjo as he's talking about it. Oh, my. <laughs> he's made it his mission to kill as many hogs what in the as possible. I bet he eats bacon twice a day. <laughs> he's, 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 done, he's always making like a, he's always making a whole slab. One just wants two pieces. Like, he's just, like, he just, he just wastes it spitefully. <laughs> it's what the principle, fuck? Taylor. It's, it's the, the principle. principle. He, he absolutely hates hogs. Having if a hog children. killed my children, I wouldn't. In the twenty first century, if a hog takes your <laughs> Crushes your bloodline. 
<laughs> if, a, if, a, if a hog ends your bloodline in the 21st century, then you should figure out which demon you have summoned using the key of Solomon. Because clearly, you it doesn't happen to good people. You when made someone mad. Mad. I, I realized I had forgotten to pray. And it, the, Lord, <laughs> the Lord play. What I learned that day is the Lord plays for absolute keeps. <laughs> he does not fuck around. That was he the means every God. word in that damn book. <laughs> sure enough, next day, money under my bed, just like that. Money under my bed. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, he killed that man's children. That that was that was always a story I heard that they they're playing out front. Came out of the woods, gored him. Jesus. Let me just, um, that's crazy. I did, I, that, that's crazy. That's awful. I hope that's not true. But it, however, look, <laughs> however, if you're dumb enough to like get gored to death by a pig on your front step, what a loser, right? What a yeah. loser. Yeah, they were four years old. Idiot. What a, what an idiot. <laughs> okay, if, you're, if you're a four year old, that's, that's a very valid excuse. Cause you, yeah, you, or you should have been able to get out of there. Like, it's not like a two year old. <laughs> four year old's uh, half a man. You, like you if, had a job at six. Why didn't he I square was, up with it? Why didn't he show down? If I like, but like your, your point, if I was killed by pigs, <laughs> that'd be humiliating. <laughs> hmm. The of all the things to get killed by, right? You have to a make pig. up a new story about how I died. Got <laughs> skydiving, anything but beaten by pigs and gored and eaten. In a case of animal revenge, the likes yeah, of which we haven't seen. <laughs> <laughs> then, they, then it like cuts to the making a murderer thing where the guy's like, they went after him in an organized fashion. I ain't never seen nothing like it. He was he was carrying around the charcuterie board till it killed him. <laughs> and put it down. You're you're infuriating him with your arrogance. There was a whole crew. <laughs> there was a whole legion of them. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> there was a drove of them. Right. If there were two, it was a sound. All right. Thank you so much for coming here on our 666th episode of Painkiller mm, already. Absolutely. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence and your your spookiness, your power beard and uh <laughs> and you, and your, you. your your ever present wisdom uh where Absolutely. could our viewers slash listeners go to 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 procure a bit more of, oh, well, uh, of you well I'm so, I'm so glad you asked kyle of course to everyone mm-hmm. thank you so much for having me on such a an impactful episode i'm glad i got to talk about everything from demons to hogs and senators having public relations at a play of Beetlejuice. It means a lot. The, truly the full PKA experience. Kind of I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people can find me here on YouTube at Windagoon. Uh, and th- thank you all so much for having me on. And thank you everyone for listening. Appreciate it. Thank you. PKA 666. Bye, cum pills. <laughs>